All righty, royal family. Let me know if the mic is way too loud. I think it might be. I was trying to do some... I realized that our streams were kind of like on the lower side of things. So I tried switching up some mic settings. Let me know if it's way too loud or let me know if it's like way too low. I tried tweaking just a little bit. So let me know if it's too crazy. All right, let me know. But we are back tonight. It is... Fr I'm like trying to whisper now. It's Friday. It's good? Okay, cool. Let me talk in normal volume. Is that all right now? Good? Good? <laughs> I don't want to like blow because on my side it kind of looks like the mic might be peaking which I don't like it's like in the red All right, let me see well, let me know because the problem is when the mic is I'm not always super close to it sometimes sometimes I'm kind of far from it So it's nice to kind of have it be a little bit louder uh, But anyways today is Friday. We're back again. We have our PSA return I thought this was gonna come in on Monday, but we were I was surprised to see that it did actually arrive today so this is our 10 card PSA sub. It contains JG, Richard, Christian, Casey, Brian, Danny G, Clue, Sunfan, and Brandon G. It's only 10 cards, so it won't be too, too bad to look through. These do contain some sign cards, some of our Neo cards. So I'm hoping we get some pretty good grades in here too. And as you'll see here, PSA did actually grade our sketch card. So that's really nice. Okay. Uh, want me to blow in your mic? Uh, I want you to blow something else. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, first in the building that we got Nar coming in at number one. We got Item, Corgi, CJ, Justin, Linda in the building. We got Cardboard, Eric, Alex, Trevor, Sendu in the building. We got my girl Six here tonight as well, Magma. We got Preston and Nick B. I hope Bill's all right, dude. Bill was, yeah, Bill was, uh, let's just say Bill had a rough time at work today for sure, to say the least. Andrew the villain. Yo, Andrew. Again, Andrew. Thank you again for hitting me up about that, man. Oof. That was that's that definitely saved me some headaches, Andrew. I appreciate that a lot. Joshua, what's up, brother? We got Tamu Gabe in the house as well tonight. Dominic in the building. Let's see if those Neos graded well. Hopefully. I think there's three Neo cards in here, I think. I know Rich, Christian, Casey had it. So I think we only got three Neo cards from our break in here. The other couple, I think you and Sunfan are in the next submission with them. So this would be a good kind of glimpse to see what they kind of could get hey golem what's up solo how you guys doing all right so other than the psa submission uh we also do have another poker deck break it's the same price 30 bucks for two cards so it comes to be 15 a card and there's 27 spots because there's 54 cards in the deck so 30 bucks gets you a name tag and then gets you two cards randomly out of shuffled from our ho-ho deck this time we did lugia last night and now we're doing ho-ho this time also, also, we got a restock of more Top Series 1 and the elusive Tops Series 2. So Top Series 2 is finally in stock. I only got seven packs. And just from a slight flex on these, I can tell you these feel really good. So I don't think these are going to be sticky at all. If they turn out to be sticky, I'll just either reduce the price drastically to where I'm taking a loss or just take them off the menu. But we only have seven and I'm pretty sure these feel good. So I'm sure just off my experience, these will probably be a good shape. So not sticky. Hopefully. And... For those who are crazy, I do have two separate options now. So whether you like Power Keepers or you like Legend Makers, I do have the three-pack blisters with an Unseen Forces, two Power Keepers, two Legend Makers. So now we got we got options. Now we got options for these two, which are nice. I opened the Heavy Fossil with the glue on the back, and it was a Hollow Articuno. Damn, dude, that's nice. That is really nice. Congrats on the Articuno, man. That got to you really quick, John. That got to you really quick. How much do you practice your voice? I swear it's addicting. Well, I'm, I'm happy for you to say that. I've had some people say my voice is annoying. Some people like my voice. And it's just it's just what my mama gave me, I guess. I don't practice it at all. So thank you, man. I appreciate you saying that. The Shining Hits from the Japanese Neo Destiny are actually super rare. Yeah, I was saying that yesterday. So, this is our Gauntlet. Also, I'm not really feeling this playlist. Uh, but this is currently up on Gauntlet. It's the Shining Kabutops 9. In Japanese, you might not even get one in a whole booster box. I think the pull rate is like 1 in 5 boxes for Japanese. 
and that's 60 packs per box whereas english you get like two to three per box so these shinings in japanese are like immensely rarer i don't know what other word to use gargantuanly rare it's really hard to get a shining i know it's only a nine but that's you know that's basically pack fresh right nines and tens basically are like pack fresh so yeah not bad at all all right so let's play switch the playlist and let's get into our psa submission because i don't think i'm ready i think i'm ready Voice doesn't make me half chub two stars. Damn, bro. Not even a halfie. All right. So starting us off with the PSA submission, we've got none other than JG. So Jared, pull this one uh, right here on stream. This is a sketch card from 2023 Star Wars Chrome, uh, which we do still actually open. We open up a lot of it still. This is a really great set. Really nice looking cards. And this is one of the chase cards in it, a sketch. So the sketch cards are essentially one of one. What these are is the artist for the, so Andrew Fry, the artist of it, he drew that basically by hand on the card. So that is a one of one card. I don't think there's anything else out there. And this is a pencil sketch, which is pretty cool. All right, JG, starting us off. Nice. All right, so that's gonna be a PSA 10 on the sketch. You know, I guess it makes you wonder, like, how would they even grade this? Because it was drawn by hand, so it's like... I mean, I guess they, if the corner is dinged or something like that, but that's really nice. So that's a one-of-one. One. Kasoka Reeves. Andrew Fry scratch, Sketch. It's not Scratch. PSA 10. Okay, that's a really good start to our submission there. Damn, alright, so then we go from a crazy sign card to a crazy shining... Speaking of shinings, this came from our Neo Destiny box break. Holy buckets. Richard pulled a shining, uh, not Mewtwo, sorry, shining knock towel from our Neo Destiny box break. So this is fresh from the pack. Fresh from a box, fresh from a pack. And the cards for Neo were looking really, really nice. The centering was a little teeny bit off on some of them, but they were looking pretty good overall. And this is a big card. Rich, this is a big card. All right, come on, baby. Show me a 10. Ooh, we even look at that. The triple star rarity on the card. And, ooh, okay. We'll actually definitely take that. That's actually not bad at all. PSA 9 on the shiny knock towel. Which was the one and only shining card that i actually pulled myself as a kid so there we go psa 9 on the shining noctowl we've got christian up next this is for christian g also from our neo destiny box break he got the light toga tick out of one of his packs now a really nifty thing about this card is there's actually like a pretty nice swirl right behind its wings right there it's kind of a nice place for it i think So there was at least three Shinings. Um, we pulled Shining Celebi, Shining Noctowl, and that's it. But for our Neo box break, we only opened up like half the packs. The rest of the people got them shipped out sealed. So um, there definitely could have been another one in there. It's not always three per box. It could be two, three, sometimes four even. Uh, so it could have been two, could have been three, but we only opened up like half the packs. So we didn't get to see everything in the box, unfortunately. So there could have been, we just don't know. Tick, Christian! Oh, okay, we got another nine. Now, like I said, on the Watsy stuff, even if it is packed fresh, getting tens is extremely rare. It is really, really tough. So when we got that PSA 10 on the base at Charizard for Cartage like a week ago on our last submission, that was like God sent. Now, this one is a little bit OC. Uh, it is definitely a little bit thicker on the top, a little bit thinner on the bottom there for sure. So I could say that is probably the reason why I got a nine. But still, even in a nine, this is a really, really nice pull. Light Togetic, hollow PSA 9. I did get the Kabutop shiny. Wait, Matt, are you being serious? You're telling me that you opened up your pack and it was a shiny at home? Matt, are you being serious? You're talking from our box break, right? Because I know you had a pack in there. I think you went off the gauntlet. You might have multiple. So you got it sent to you sealed and you pulled a shiny Kabutops? For real? 
Next up, we've got Casey. Ooh, this is a beaut. This is the Light Dragonite, also from our box break. Now, I guess we've seen PSA 9 so far on both cards, so I guess my instinct would tell me to say PSA 9. I would say it does kind of share the same centering as the Togetic, where it's like a little bit thicker on the top, a little bit thinner at the bottom. So I guess I'll guess a PSA 9 on this one. I posted in the Discord from the exact break. Wow! All right, Matthew, that is awesome, bro. So we did get three Shinings. We just didn't get to see one on stream. Damn, that means we got a Kabutops, a Celebi, and a Noctowl in our box. Bro, we didn't get Mewtwo, Tyranitar, Charizard. We got some of the worst Shinings. <laughs> oh, man. Still really cool, though. Casey. Oh, my God. Bro, we got a 10 on one of them. Nice. Oh my god. The Light Dragonite has a 10. Sheesh. That is big. That is big. Wow. I don't know what the price on this is, man, but that is really nice. PSA 10 Light Dragonite. Casey FJ. Of course, no, this is a hollow. Cobra, this is a hollow, man. What are you talking about? This is a hollow. Whew. That is nice. I got two tickets to Iron Maiden, baby. Come with me Friday, don't say maybe. Brian A is up next. He's got two cards, both of which are some signed booba cards. This is a secret rare Belfast from English Azure Lane. Now, generally speaking, the Weiss cards are usually grade a 10. They're usually in pretty good shape. So I'm going to guess, without not even like looking into it too hard, I'd probably say a 10. Although maybe it's like a teeny bit thicker on this side. I guess the chains, the black border here is a little bit thicker, so... I guess I'd say a little bit off center, but I'm still gonna guess a 10 because it's twice. Let's see. Yep. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> so when I look at it, I, I do want to say I think it's a little bit thicker on this side. Like the chains are a little bit. I'm gonna call that a chain, right? The border here. Definitely a little bit thicker on this side, in my opinion. But yeah, Weiss usually grades a 10, so we'll take it. Nice. That's Belfast for Brian A. Snagging a PSA 10. Nice. Easy peasy. Uh, no, we didn't get a single upcharge in this submission. No, we didn't get any upcharges in this submission, actually. All right, but Brian, we're not done because we got the Zara, also from Azure Lane English. Now, again, just like the other one, I'm going to say PSA 10. Yep, yep, pretty easy. The white stuff, like I said, the white stuff is fairly easy for the 10s. I have gotten a couple 9s back, but really it only is... It ends up being Max. I guess when PSA sees Max's name on the, on the card saver, they're like, yo, F Max, and they give him a 9. But other than that, Weiss pretty much always gets a 10. So that is really nice. Zara and Belfast do return, Brian. That is both PSA tub. I tried to catch some OPO6 being stocked today. Yeah, dude, it's tough. I've heard like LGSs are like charging like 200, 220, something like that. A lot of them are just charging market for it. The problem with OPO5 is even a lot of official LGSs are only getting in like one, two, three cases. So as a store, if you're only getting in like 24 boxes, aka two cases, you know, what's your incentive to flash sale them at MSRP when the market's way higher? So a lot of places don't, but if you're able to find a place that does, that's awesome. Danny G is up next. Oh, okay, this is actually an interesting one. So, you guys may or may not remember, but I think it was either a gauntlet or a slab bag, but Danny G got this slab from me. It was a CGC9. Um, I think he got his bag shipped, so I don't have the tiger anymore. Uh, but this was originally in a CGC9 casing. So I cracked that out for him, sent it off to PSA as a raw card again. So I'm actually very curious to see what this card did. So it was originally a CGC 9, not a 9.5, it was a 9 old label, which I guess new label means it'd be 9.5 CGC, I think, if that's the way it works. But it honestly looked pretty good. It did look pretty, pretty good to me. 
And this is a really nice card. That is the Rainbow Rare Lugia from Japanese Lost Thunder. OB6 boxes for 25. That's awesome. Yeah, you should definitely support that store, man, because they are doing God's work doing that. That's awesome of them to do that. All right, so CGC 9, 2 a PSA. show me 10. Oh, wow. Wow, I really was not actually expecting that. That's crazy. I was thinking that would be a 10 all day long. All right, so that's going to be CGC 9, now converted to a PSA 9 Lugia from Japanese Burst Impact. Wow, it looked really good, man. It did. So I wonder... Uh, What's causing the 9? I guess a little bit thicker on the top, I guess, but... Hmm. Alright, so CGC 9 to Lugia 9. Hey, Poker Deck, I have some of the old school poker cards. That's it. Uh, Joe, the Poker Deck is this box right here. Uh, it's this time around, it's the Ho-Ho Deck. And it basically just contains cards like this. So... I'm not going to open it yet, of course, until it's near sold out, but uh, that's kind of what it looks like. Today's a margarita kind of night. That does sound nice. I could definitely go for a couple brews, brewskis. Next up, we've got Clue, and he's got a Gyarados from CP6. All right, Clue, Gyarados. Oh, we snag a PSA 9. Wow, I guess our grader is in like a, a 9 kind of mood now. We got 9 on the Lugia, 9 on the Gyarados. That was for Clue. We got only two cards left. The next card, oh, I couldn't really tell. This is Sunfan's Mickey Mouse. Oh, man. All right, so this came from Topps Disney 100 Chrome. We pulled Sunfan the Mickey Mouse number 24 out of 25. Now, on the day that we pulled it, we had looked up comps. Raw, this card is going for $1,800 raw, according to comps on the day we pulled it. Now, I remember on the day we pulled it, too, I kind of already noticed that it was thicker on this side and thinner on that side a little bit. Like, you probably could tell. So... I'm not really sure exactly how the Chrome cards get graded per se, but to me it looks a little bit off-centered, but obviously I'm still hoping for a 10. At least a 9 though, right? Anything lower than that would be a travesty. So this is actually a really expensive card. Sunfan with a 9! Alright, I guess we'll take it honestly. Like I said, I do think it is a little bit off-centered. It's a little bit thicker on that border, a little bit thinner on that border there. So PSA 9. Orange Wave Mickey Mouse. So still probably a really expensive card. Probably worth a couple thousand if I had to guess. Still a nine. Are the poker cards worth anything or just more for collecting? Uh, they are worth a lot. Yeah, they're actually gradable. So PSA, Beckett do grade both of those cards. And like the bigger ones, like the Ho-Ho, the Umbreon, go for up to like 200 bucks and a 10. So yeah, they definitely do have a worth. They are gradable. Our last card in the submission, Brandon pulled a secret rare Albedo. Now, I think this card is like a thousand bucks plus, probably more than a thousand. Secret rare Albedo from the new Nazarick. Oh, baby. That's true. Sunfen does have the Steamboat. He's got the Steamboat and the Mickey Mouse now. That's true. Brandon. Oh, nice. That is a PSA 10. Beautiful. Gee. All right. So, Brandon ending off. Dude, oh, I think all of our Weiss cards got a 10. So, this goes to show you, you know, Weiss is pretty easy to nail 10s on. But that is nice. So overall, I would say pretty good submission. It was only 10 cards. The Lugia was kind of a shame. I was hoping that'd be a 10. Weiss got all 10s. The Dragonite's great to see in a 10. Nines on the Neo, I think, are quite reasonable. 
And 10 on the sketch is pretty nice too, because our last submission, they did not grade the sketch card we sent in. So that was nice. So there it is. That is the PSA submission that just returned. If you have a card in the submission, you should probably request shipping for this weekend. So make sure you go to Instagram, Discord, either DM me or post in request shipping channel to get your slab mailed out to you. As a reminder as well, I am going to Dominican Republic, uh, not today, but this coming week on Thursday. So Wednesday, so this week and Wednesday are the last two days to get shipped before I go on my little uh, trip to DR. I'm going to my cousin's wedding. So for those who want to get shipped out before I leave, either make sure you request shipping this weekend uh, or by Wednesday at the latest to get shipped out before I leave. And to be frank, Wednesday, I'll probably be kind of running around getting all things ready for my trip. So definitely try to get shipped this weekend, okay? So if you have cars with me and want to get it mailed out, because Wednesday, I might not be able to get it all done, depending on how my schedule goes. So if you do want to get shut down before I leave, this weekend is your best bet. Wednesday, I'll try to do some, but no promises, depending on, you know, my scheduling for the flight and stuff. But anyways, that was the PSA sub that just came back, and I'd say overall, pretty good subs, pretty good cards. No way this is live! Damn, DR, have fun, bro. Yeah, I plan to. My cousin's getting married there. And a part of it is we're kind of also staying at like a resort type of thing too. So hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Joe, they're not on the list uh, just because we kind of, they kind of fill without them being on the list. So I don't know if you put it on it, but it's 30 bucks and you get two cards. And I think John was asking that earlier too that I forgot to answer because I was doing the sub reveal. Uh, but 30 bucks gets you one spot and that gets you two cards. So it comes out to be 15 a card, but 30 bucks. Eric S says four OP07. He says it's my birthday today, so let's pull the boat. Oh, damn, Eric. Happy birthday, man. She. Well, Eric, I'll let you know, man. We are whew, we are low on OP07. This is my 10th case of it. I did order some more. Uh, but if we don't pull a MOA in this case right now, we will be at, we will be scarred. We will be scarred to say the least. How long are you there? Uh, I'm going to be going there Thursday uh, up until Tuesday. So I'll be back like Tuesday, Wednesday-ish. And then we'll probably be back streaming on Thursday. So it's going to basically be like a week. Thursday to Thursday, essentially. Sucker's leaving us. Well, it's in the DR, which honestly is a nice place. I've been there before. The DR is pretty cool. And uh, it's for my cousin's wedding. So I felt it made sense to go. Only thing that sucks is uh, Temporal Forces. I think I might have it by Monday or Tuesday. So we are going to have Temporal Forces before I leave. So that's really nice. The new English set Temporal Forces will have it uh, probably by the early next week. So we will be get to open up Temporal Forces before I leave. But the thing that does kind of suck is I will be gone for majority of the release week, which is the most popular uh, time for it. So that does kind of suck a little bit, but we will definitely be able to open it, I believe. Ericus. If PSA finds a serial number to match a card, they won't grade it. That's probably why the other sketch card didn't get graded. Well, um, that might be true, but I believe the sketch cards are one of ones and the one that I sent in last time for Kevin H was not in their directory, which means they don't have it graded. So I don't think that was the issue, as in, like, there was another um like copy of it or something like that i don't think there was i do believe they're one of ones dominic says happy friday can i add this to my credit dude dom you're up to something man bro we got some crazy big credits right now some huge credits right now this is crazy moe's got a 950 credit for something he traded in solo's got a 15 nick's got a 35 bill's got a 275 Solo's also got one that's pending Richard's got a 190, Darius has got a 700, and Dom has a 100. Oh my god. And now it's up to... Bro, there's like thousands of dollars in credit. You guys are scaring me. You guys are scaring me! But Dom, we put you up to 200 there. My god. This is a lot of credit. A lot of credit. Hopefully the bank doesn't collapse. Kyle says, who said you can take off? 
Sammy, so sign me in for the poker deck. Sammy. Oh, okay, cool, Adam, sounds good. Yeah, so I've got them separate, and as soon as this box is done, I'll start cracking into those boxes, and I'll just kind of see. Because that was kind of the main concern, really, with it, is just making sure everything was good. Because I've, I've gotten resealed boxes before, 151. Luckily, I was able to get my money back for it, but it's happened to me, too. And it was a sealed case. The guy resealed a case, too, which is crazy. Alex B says two spots in the poker break. Damn, we got a lot of people in the queue for the poker break. What's up, John? It's 30 bucks. You get two cards. Six, says Polka Dot. The six is in as well. Sheesh. Matthew says two spots in the poker deck. Wow, this might, like, go really early tonight. People excited for the Ho Ho deck? And he says, let me get one slabby patty. Matthew Z. Ah, uh, there is a new gauntlet. Yes, let me show off the gauntlets as well. Matthew. Star you. Star you. All right, so our three gauntlets. We've got our Neo Rev box break. That gets you a pack in the box break for Neo Revelation. We got the Shining Kabu Tops, which is actually way more than halfway full. That's the PSA 9 Japanese Shining Kabu Tops. And the new one that I decided to do was a blister out of 20 spots for EX Ruby Sapphire. And that's this one right here. So those are the three gauntlets. Where's my one million credit? Millions and millions and millions. Solo says sign me up for the poker deck using up my credit. Okay. So Solo, let me just... Fish that 15 credit out of here. There we go. All right, cool. So solo, that credit's going in the garbage. Now let's get you a spot. I just sent you 30 times three for poker. Can you do put me in the blister gauntlet? Uh, yeah, yeah, John. Sure thing. Sure thing. Okay, so Solo, you are all set. We got you in the credit. i uh, using the credit. We've got Corgi. Bro, this break is going to be full super fast. Corgi. Christopher S. Says, let me get one V-Star Universe. One shiny treasures. Chris. I'm trying to get four spots on layaway. All right, Chris, something that's not the poke. Not that I don't like the poker deck, but Chris, finally some packs to rip into. V-Star Universe and Shiny Treasures. Can we get a God Pack? What's up, Ben? It's 30 bucks for two. 30 bucks for two. So you get two cards for 30 bucks. Oh, Andrew. I see it, Andrew. Chris. Ditto. Cyrus. Magneton. Got a champ. Uh, yeah, so Ben, we were doing 15 for one originally, but that just got a little too hectic with the, all the bags and stuff. So it's just 30 for two. That way, I don't have to grab... I, got, I get to grab half less of the bags, essentially. By doing it like that. Well, would be tough. And I do think most of the people that joined up originally got more than one anyways. So it just kind of made it easier on me. Do it that way. Christopher S. The Wigglytuff. What's up, Sean? 30 bucks for two. 30 bucks for two, Sean. So I had a really bad day uh, today. I woke up, I woke up, was eating some food and the worst thing happened. I mean, it's not terrible, but when I was young, 
I was I did a pretty bad job of taking care of my teeth and I got a crown really really early in life like when I was probably in like middle high school I got a crown and today my crown fell out so yeah there's that my crown fell out so luckily I called my dentist and they said what's well, probably the issue is that it needs to be like re-cemented so that probably just means they gotta you know like glue it back to my tooth um but yeah so now i gotta go tomorrow i gotta go in at 10 to the dentist to get my crown re-put on which is not ideal but just says you came out of the closet andrew d says let me get two of the top series two so if there is any lesson for the younger people in the chat, man, take care of your teeth. Brush your teeth, floss your teeth, make sure you take care of it. All right, Andrew, top series two. Holy buggets. Now, I've been really excited for this because I'm a big fan of top series two. We're looking for the clear cuts, the Gengar hollow, the rainbow cards. Andrew, you guys excited? Same here about a week ago, but I broke a back. Ooh, a back tooth? That's gotta suck. I just had a root canal, three canals, no insurance, had to pay. That seems cheap. For a root canal, that kind of seems cheap, actually. That seems, or for three of them, that seems like a good... All right. For, oh, they're not sticky at all. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Okay, where's the hollow in this pack? I don't know yet. Oh, they're not sticky at all. Let's go. We got Showdown in Pewter City. Magneton. Electra. So the nice thing about series two is we're gonna get to see So it broke down in three series series one two and three series three has like the later end of the pokedex This one has like the middle end of the pokedex Electrode Seedra Team Rocket Cassidy Oh, this might be our hollow. Is it a coughing? Oh, it is Hol Oh my god, the hollow looks really nice Dude, okay, these are really clean. So that is a really good sign. We got coughing and we also got wheezing. And another coughing. All right, we got a whole lot of coughing in there. Nice, but these are looking flawless. So that is a really good sign. $30 for the whole break, two cards included. That's correct, soy sauce. Yep, 30 bucks, you get two cards. That's correct. Cassidy. So we're gonna shuffle up the name tags. We're also gonna shuffle up the cards themselves too a little bit. Uh, but those are not gonna be shuffled super well. The name tags will be shuffled up a bunch though. What's the big chase in series two? So series two, the bigger chases are actually like the clear cuts. And the really big hollows for like the better Pokemon, like Gengar, for instance. Uh, but there's clear cuts, there's the rainbow cards. I believe this set even has die cuts in it too. And then there's also the like hollows for the big boys, like Gengar. Actually, keep me in for the three. Uh, okay, John, sounds good, man. You got it. Okay, come on, baby. Show me a clear cut. Show me something fantastic. First two packs of Series 2. James. Pokemon Scent Station. Kangaskhan. Chansey. Oh, I think that means our Hollow is going to be a movie scene. Oh! Oh my god, we got a clear-cut Bulba. What's up with the dupes in these packs? We got another dupe for the Hollow. But this is the one I'm excited about. Oh my god, you got the clear-cut Bulbasaur. Nice, dude. Yo, your sound is lagging, is it? Let me know, guys. Is the sound lagging? Oh, nice. Clear cut Bulba. Nice. The sound is fine for me. Okay, cool. I know people were saying that last stream too, so I don't know if that's like an issue on my end or 
Maybe a YouTube issue, I don't know. Primeape goes bananas. B A N A N A S. I close and it's good now. Okay, cool. So yeah, if that's an issue, just refresh the stream or something like that. I don't know. Don't know why that happens. Wow. Okay, that was nice. Clear cut Bulbasaur, Andrew. First person tonight to open up some top series two. Nice. Now, I would say that as far as the clear cuts go, the Charizard is definitely going to be the most expensive one, but Bulbasaur is not bad. Not bad, of course. So, other than the sound lagging, how is the actual sound in the stream? I did try to turn up the mic and kind of readjust the sound settings a little bit to kind of make it uh, a little bit louder. Because I feel like usually, whenever I watch my stream and go to a different stream, I feel like mine's always super low and theirs is always super loud. So, I feel like mine's usually kind of low. So, I tried opening the volume tonight. So, hopefully that's not the issue. For, yeah, because maybe the scream that I let out for the Bulbasaur is what broke it. Yeah, that might be it. Andrew D. Tops 2. That was nice. That was actually really nice. It's because all the other streamers are constantly yelling. But, uh, okay, sounds good, Ben. Next thing we know, sounds good. Uh, also, Hector, I see you're up next in a couple of orders, Hector. You sent in for enough for a top series one. So, Hector, let me know if you just wanted a tops one or if you wanted to send the remainder for a tops two. But yeah, unfortunately, the tops two are way more expensive. Alex B says two spots in the Kabutops. Sheesh. All right, Kabutops is getting ready to burst. Alex B on 23. And you said random, so I'll give you 33 as well. So you get two spots. Your streaming compared to others has always been low, to be honest. No, I agree. I, I think that's true. Because I feel like whenever I check it out, it's kind of like that. Okay, so Hector is up next. So Hector, you sent in enough money for a top series one. Did you want a tops two, Hector, or do you want to stick with series one? Because I know in your note you said series two, but they are more expensive. Hector! Man, we only got five of these left, too. Oh my god, everybody sold out of these quick. But Hector, let me know if you are here, Hector. Okay, Ron picked up a series two. I'm trying to keep an eye out on this, because we don't have too many of these. Yo, didn't know? Let me send it. I see it. Okay, sounds good, Hector. I just wasn't sure if you meant one or two or not. Okay, sounds good. So, I think Hector might have gotten two or maybe one. I'm going to see another order coming up. But, if you do want a top series two, I think we might have like two packs left. <laughs> so, we are almost gone. Uh, but we should have more of these pretty soon too. Probably by Monday. But these are way harder to come by than series one, two. So, these are, these are pretty hard to find. Especially in good shape that aren't sticky. If you see a bunch of clear cuts sold on eBay, that's me? Alright, so Hector sent in the remainder. Hector, here we go. Yeah, so Hector's got two, Ron's got one. I've got two of the top series left. That's it, only two. Alright, Hector, this is for you. We saw one clear cut, although we could definitely see some more. There are rainbows in this set too that I like to see, some rainbows. Okay, okay, we got it. Actually, we've seen this card earlier too. Showdown in Pewter City. We got Dodrio. So we're so used to seeing all the Series 1 Pokemon. Now we're getting used to seeing the Series 2. Seedra. Cassidy. So I think our next one's the Hollow, and it's going to be backwards. 
Oh, a Ponyta? Nice. That is a Ponyta Hollow. Being very gentle, only touching them by the corners there. And the one thing that I've noticed too about these ones are these are like smooth. If that makes any sense. The Series 1, I feel like they, not like they were rough, but they kind of had like, I guess like a, a pattern or a texture in them. These ones are straight smooth. Smooth like a baby's bottom. Ponyta. Ash Ketchum. And we got the Sussy Baka Hypno. Yo, Matt, I got it today, Matt, but honestly, bro, I was kind of running late, and I had a lot of packages arrive today, so I actually didn't have a chance to open it, but I did get it, Matt, and then after stream today, I'll actually open it and go through it, uh, but I did receive the box, and I have it upstairs right now, just kind of didn't have time to go through it. I got in a lot of packages today somehow, a lot of them, which was nice, though. it's always good when you get mailing seed drip. Now, there is also a Series 3. However, with a Series 3, there is no way for me to source good packs of them. So, I'm avoiding getting Series 3. But Series 3 is also pretty nice. It's got the Mewtwo in it. And they, those are like over 100 a pack. Actually, that was like a year ago. So, they might even be way more than 100 a pack nowadays. But I don't have a good way to uh, get Series 3 in. In a good fashion where they'll actually be like in good shape like these are. So, Series 3 may never come to the stream again just because last time I bought a whole box of it and they were absolutely disheveled so I lost a lot of money on that one so been burned on it before so I don't know if I'll do series three again although maybe if we do it maybe it'll be like a, a box break fully sold out and if it is sticky then I guess people can just keep them sealed maybe I don't know Hector Glad a fan actually pulled it. Wait, what'd you pull, Mo? Wait, what'd you pull? Yeah, no, Matt, the box looked pretty good. Yeah, it was in pretty good shape. Like, it wasn't roughed around or anything. It looked pretty good. I didn't open it yet, but it, everything inside, or at least the box, was in good shape. Logan H says, let me get one spot on the Kabutops. She. All right, Kabutops, man. This is going to probably go tonight. Logan on 25. Even takes forever. Yeah, I get the benefit of just buying direct from Japan from my guy. So he sends it to me with like express. So it's nice. Quinn says, let me get a spot on the poker deck. Quinn, you are in for the poker break. BD Kick says, poker slotting. Can you open up my GX packs as well? Oh, what's up, BD? So BD, do you have a, do you have a uh, credit, BD? Because it's 30 bucks for a spot, BD. If you got a credit. Nope. Okay. So what I'll do, BD, is I'm going to make you a $15 credit. Because uh, it's $30 for a spot. You get two cards. So there is no just single spots anymore. We did that for the first one, but that's just too much. That's grabbing 54 different bags. It's too much. So to cut it down and just be half the ba bag grabbing, it's 30 bucks. You get two cards per spot, though. So, BD, I put in 15 credit for you. If you do want the spot, just send another 15 if you haven't already, and we'll get you a spot, all right? That'll be for two cards. But he also says, open up the GX pack. Which was pretty crazy, because... We got the SR from this box break on the first pack. Check the Pokey non-flex. Freshly pulled in sleeves. Oh, nice. You got the Zoro. And then Matthew got the Shining Kabu Tops. Bruh. Damn, bro. That's nice. Samo, congrats. That's actually sweet. And then Matt, congrats to you, bro. You pulled a Shining Kabu Tops from your Neo Pack. What even was the weight? What even was the uh, the weight of that pack, Matthew? Ooh, Blastoise Hollow, Weavile, Ultra Necrozma, Fire Energy, and a Cherish Ball. BD Kicks. 2063. Ooh, 2063, you say. 
can't remember from the break if that was kind of what we were in the alleyway for, but 2063, huh? The reason why I'm getting a little excited is because I think I might have one that's around that weight in my weight bag, weight box. 2063, or maybe mine's 2053. Hold on, before I get too excited. Okay, mine's 2060, so not as heavy, but kind of close. 2060. What Pokemon was the last one? Ah, uh, that wasn't a Pokemon. That was a Pokeball. That was a Cherish Ball, I think. Joe G says two spots in the Poke. Joe G. Damn, Joe. No shout out to Naria today on your order, bro. What? Joe G. Is five available? No, the whole left side of the list is full, Rodney. So just the stuff on the right side. Joe G, two spots. Benjamin T says, let me get five of the OPO5. Uh, one on the Ho Ho Poker. Five OPO6. And one on the Kabu Tops. Okay. So, five OPO5. Let me just double check the math now because I know you said that there was something wrong with it. Uh, one on the Kabu Tops. Plus 15 sounds good. You said you sent the extra 15. Which you did. Okay, cool. Sounds good, Ben. We got you the whole order then. Okay, so Benjamin T says 5 OPO5, 5 OPO6, no OPO7. And OPO7, we need a new box for. Man, OPO7 is almost sold out. Sheesh. Uh, yeah, here's the Kabutops, by the way, too. Especially that I get Ben a spot on it. So here's the list on Kabutops. Just these numbers left. Benjamin, 26. Hey, Jakaka, it's $30 for two cards. So one spot's 30 bucks, but you get two cards for it. So, Ben, you're on 26 over there. One, two, three, four, five. The math wizard? I'm not really a wizard. I just use a calculator. Yeah, I got a calculator on my computer that I just quickly punch it into. So no, no, no math wiz here. Although I am pretty decent at at least I was. I took AP calculus and stuff like that in school, so I like to think I'm good at math, but the older and older I get, the more and more I forget about it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. So, Ben, we got you in for the uh, Goblin. We got you in for the deck break. And let's get into your actual One Piece packs. And actually, you know, Ben, weren't you telling me to remove your One Piece hollows? I don't know if we did that. So. So, Ben, I can only assume what you're telling me is you don't want the regular R's, kind of like what Mo does. You just want the SR's and up. Is that correct, Ben? You just want the SRs and up, and the Dawn cards are, I think are worth holding on to. Suicune! That is really nice. Dawn card. Just correct me if I'm wrong, though, okay? You just want the SRs and up? I think you said that to me last stream. Which, you know, I guess makes sense. Not regulars? Okay, sounds good. Cool, cool, cool. And then these ones, I've got into a... So these will just push out. Judge. Cool. All right. Sounds good, Ben. You got it, man. So I'll probably try to remember that and just do it for you, like, automatically whenever we open up Japanese. Because I totally get it. The non hollow rares, you know, I mean, they're Japanese, so they're harder to kind of sell off. Because you can't just use TCG player and stuff. So I get it. Okay, cool. So, Ben, thanks for that. Freed up just some space in the bag there, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, Ben, I appreciate that a lot, man. I do. If you guys know, you know, if you know you're going to get it and then just, like, throw it in the trash when you get it, you might as well just have me throw it in the trash, you know what I mean? So, thanks, Ben. I appreciate that. And let's see if, after clearing up some space, we made some room for a big booty. Oh, uh, wait, big booty. A big mango. <laughs> Why did I say big booty? Well, there you go. 
You can ruin my rares too when it's up in my our next. Uh, okay, Nick, sounds good. Cool. All right, yeah, you got it. For the English one, I'd recommend keeping them because even sometimes like the regular rares in English are like a buck or two. But with Japanese, you know, there really is no easy way to just kind of move them for a buck. There is no like TCG player kind of deal for it. Don card. Shakes. Um, I don't think you got a bag, Linda. I think you got the marbles, though. So I don't know if you got a bag, Linda, but I think you got marbles. So I think I shipped out your bag with the break. So I think you just have marbles, I think. Ha, a little bit. Vivi. You got some OP05 in there. Come on. Zoro. I feel like the TCG player is missing out due to not selling Japanese. I wonder why they don't support it. Yeah, um, I couldn't tell you why. When I was at card party, TCG player had a booth there, and I was, I don't know who I was talking to. It sounded like the guy was kind of high up on the chain. And he made it sound like, because I said that to him, I was like, I was like, dude, why do you guys not sell Japanese cards? Or allow Japanese cards to be sold on the site? And he was like, that's a great idea. He was acting as if, like, they never heard about idea before, which is ludicrous, because as a company that size, there's no way they don't know that they should be selling, ja or they could be selling Japanese cards. So, yeah, I have no idea. John B. Three for the polka. Cool. And John did say just to keep the three spots, you got it, John. I am excited, though, to kind of see what's in the Ho-Ho version. 12 left. Bro, this filled really quickly. Nick B. One English. OP05, two OP07. Nick B. Dude, we're on my last case of OP07, man. We're on my last case. Ah, uh, Looney, the OP05 is probably the most expensive English or One Piece set. The English is 15, and I think the Japanese is 7. But to be honest with you, the Japanese one's probably even worth more now. Uh, so when I go to buy another case, that might change. So if you do want it, I'd say today's a good day. But OP05 has probably been the single-handedly biggest mooning set in One Piece. Rah! Uh, hello, event. And then Nick, you said you also just don't want the rares. Let's check out the OP05 English. Uh, yeah, so I think um, recently, yeah, TCG Player got bought out by eBay. But you got to remember, that's just kind of like jargon for you know like the parent company so even though they yes it's owned by it i don't think they necessarily are operating as the same company right so they're still probably operating separately as different groups maybe there was some people that got fired or let go as a result of it but for the most part it's probably still just the same team of people you know same company just now a new owner The nice thing too about eBay is that eBay lets you, so Nick, you'll set remove these. We're gonna keep your Dawn cards, SRs, and up. That's English. Okay, no SRs in these. These are English, some more Japanese. More sense than I thought. Yeah, I mean, there's cheaper sets. Because it's kind of like, I mean, how, how to reason it, I guess. It's kind of like, Evolving Skies is going to be a lot more expensive than, like, a Silver Tempest pack. Similar to that in One Piece, right? OP05 is like the Evolving Skies of One Piece, essentially. But if you do want to get in on entry level, I would say definitely just open up Japanese. All of English One Piece right now is crazy expensive. So if you want to try out One Piece, I would say just give a shot to the Japanese. If you pull a mango, yes, it will be in Japanese, but it's oh, they are still pretty expensive. So the mangoes in Japanese also do command a huge premium. 
Ryan H says one Royal Five Pack. He says a first time for me on that and a Star Wars Chrome. Okay, Ryan, let me go and let me grab the Royal Five Pack. And Ryan H, I'll have you choose, Ryan. Do you want to pick a number one to five? Two, four, five. Okay, Ryan says five, so you get the bottom one. What's up, Arthur? Uh, yeah, sure, Arthur. If you ever want to do that, just try to put in your note, okay? That way there's no chance I forget it if it's your note. Ryan, we saw a sketch card come back today from PSA as a 10. Can we get another sketch, perhaps? You have a fossil pack? It's possible. Refractor. Can I change my order to two poker instead of Eevee Heroes and I'll send the rest? Stavos. Ah, uh, Nick, I think so, yeah. How far up are you on here? Damn, bro! This poker deck might be sold out in the queue. Holy buckets. So, Nick, I don't know, Nick. Just because it might, <laughs> it might even be sold out. We'll see. Because, Nick, I think your order is, like, way up. Oh, no, 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 you're a couple away. One spot in poker, two EV heroes. I just didn't see it. Okay, cool, Nick. I think we can do it for you. But yeah, poker deck might be fully sold out in the queue, honestly. Hey, Gustavo! What's up, man? Shout out to you all the way in Brazil, bro. I appreciate you watching. And... Come on. Oh, nice. Ryan H with a tier two black and white dragons exalted. Nice, dude. So, as I say to everybody, Ryan, that pulls a vintage pack, uh, usually I let you swap out of the box. I mean, that still is possible, but there is only two left. So, if you do want to swap your pack, you can, just to prove to you that they're all unweighed from the box. But, let me know, Ryan. Open, sealed, do you want to swap or keep it? It's kind of like deal or no deal. Do you want to keep the case or swap the case? So, Dragon Exalted is really nice, man. That is the set where you can pull a Shining Rayquaza from it. If you're really lucky, though. If you're really, really lucky. Magikarp. Altaria. Wow. Okay, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you got a hit. Uh, as far as the tier 2 goes, because the actual packs inside were absolutely disgusting. So I'm glad we got you a vintage hit. Am I able to keep it sealed? Absolutely, Ryan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you want to seal, brother, we can have it for you. That Roaring Moon Vino is crazy. Yo, that was, dude. Yes, that will be coming. That will be that will be becoming a short. Ryan H drags exalted. And if you do change your mind, Ryan, I want to open it. All you gotta do is just let me know. I'll be here chilling in your bag, right? But if not, and you request shipping, I'll go to you sealed, okay? Thanks again. Not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, the Royal Packs are 50 bucks. Just keep in mind, though, it is a 1 in 5 chance that you actually hit, like, a vintage hit. Kind of like you saw there. John E says 1 for the poker deck. So it's 50 bucks, you get f uh, 5 packs. 
tier one and tier twos. Tier ones have a 151 or a Paldean Fates as the extra card, or as the extra pack, the fifth pack. And the rest of them, 20 out of 100, have an extra vintage or more expensive pack in it. Brandon G says sending extra just to ship the slab and a tip because you my dog. Thanks, homie. Yo, Brandon. Yo, Brandon, I appreciate that, bro. Thank you, man. So, Brandon, I appreciate that a lot, bro. Thanks for the tip, man. That was a big tip, too, Brandon. I appreciate you. He's like, you pull me the albedo, I treat you well. Brandon, thank you so much, dude. Dominic. So, we got John E in there. Dominic H says, put me down for 11 on Ruby Sapphire. Dominic. So, yeah, the Royal Packs essentially are about a 20% chance of hitting something, which is pretty nice. All right, so Nick Y is up next. He says, one spot in poker and two EV heroes. I think Nick told me that he's just cool with chilling with this order. Uh, especially because I do think the poker deck is full in the queue. So, Nick, let me know if that's correct, right? Two, ja two EV heroes, Korean, and then one spot in the deck. Is that all right? And we do need a new box of EV heroes. Sucker appreciate fake. We all do. Who doesn't? Sure. Okay, sounds good, Nick. You got it. I'm honestly excited to see more tops, too, man. I'm excited for the tops, too. What's up, Nick? I sent 24. You can add that as a credit. Uh, okay, so just give me a second here. So we got how many spots left, Nick? Let me just try to... The queue's not too bad, so let me just check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you want 2. If we send the rest, you want 2. So that's going to be 9. Justin... Eight. Trumpin, seven. William, six. Chikaka, five. Okay, no, Nick. You can definitely do it, Nick. So if you don't want EV heroes, Nick, and you want to get two spots, there will be space. I just kind of combed through. I think there'll be space for sure. So is that what you want, Nick? We can totally do that. So, Nick, there will be space. So do you, I mean, I just opened a fresh box, but that's all right. Sure, it's whatever you prefer. So if you prefer two spots, I'll do that for you, Nick. Okay, cool. So Nick, you got two spots then. And the credit is also done. Sounds good. Nick Y. Uh, that's Korean. Yeah, that's Korean EV heroes. Justin B says, let me get a spot for the poker break as well. This is going to be happening really early tonight. I guess a good question is, is who wants to battle? We could do three pack battle if people want to tonight. We could do a battle. I feel like it's a Friday. We should try to do a big battle tonight. Justin B. Joe F. Says, let me get spot two or seven on the Ruby Sapphire. And one Evo Skies for Dominic. Ooh. All right, so Joe, you're on number two right here. And one Evo Skies for the big doll. Do a Deoxys battle. What's a spot cost? Uh, for what, though? A spot for what uh, item? Oh, we'll take it. Gyarados VMAX. That is going over to Dominic. Gyarados VMAX. Courtesy of Joe F. Uh, yeah, Brent. It's the Ru It's a new gauntlet. It's for this blister right here. Ruby Sapphire EX Ruby Sapphire. Seal blister. Okay, Dominic. We'll yeah, we do take those, brother. Absolutely. We take those. Dominic. Oh, yeah. The Korean EV heroes are three a pack for the Korean EV heroes. Dominic. Dominic. 
Got some brotherly love in there. Hector says, let me get a top series two. All right, Hector, which pack card do we get for you last time? Because there actually are multiple pack cards. Let's see if we can get you a different one. So you got the Ash Pikachu. We'll throw you a Jesse James this time. Yeah, I think those are the two only different. Oh, there's three different pack cards. Wow. Okay, there's actually quite a few pack cards for this one. Hector going in for round two. Come on, baby. I want to see a rainbow. So we saw a clear cut. I want to see a rainbow now. Come on. Hey, Flame, what's up, dude? We could do an LOB battle, man. Yeah, we definitely could. Oh, look at this. We got a Ghastly. Come on, brother. Be a Gengar pack. Ghastly. Jane. Ponyta. Horsey. Lickitung. Come on. Next card, I think, is the hollow. Oh, I think we got a hollow episode. Yes. Hollow episode nine. The School of Hard Knocks. Zard incoming. So, yeah, this set actually does have a Zard. There's a clear cut Zard in this set. And there's also a hollow Gengar as a possibility, too. Seal and Coughing. Yo, Ryan H. Bro, Ryan, you've been actually blessing me up with the gifted recently, Ryan. I appreciate you, man. Thanks so much for the five gifties, homie. Yeah, we did an LOB battle a couple streams ago. I thought it was pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, we could definitely do it again. If there's some people in the chat that'd like to do a Yugi battle, we definitely could. Yeah, as you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of opening up Yu-Gi-Oh, so I never turn it down. Dude, Ryan, I appreciate that again, man. That is really kind of you, bro. So thanks a lot for that. Five flipping gifties. Yeah, we didn't get a Gengar that time, Hector, but we got a Ghastly. So we're kind of like working our way in the right in the right direction. I will say, though, getting a hollow um, trainer is, you know, kind of like not what I ever want to see. But, we'll, you know, we got to take it, right? We'll take it. Oh, and we're not done there. Ron with a top series two as well. All right, so Ron, we only got three left. If you want to pick Ron, you're up next. I'll let you choose one to three. We are almost out of these. Oh my God. Although these are a lot of fun. So I'm very happy to be able to open up at least a couple of these. Sheesh. I got a package to send your way to. Really? Bro, Ryan, why are you so nice to me, man? What's the newest box break? Uh, the Neo Revelation. Neo Revelation. Maybe I'll open up a gym challenge for Gengar. Dude, gym challenge is my favorite Japanese set that I have on, on for sale. Yeah, easily. Um, I think I got two left. Let me just kind of comb through real quick. Yeah, I got two left. I don't think anyone else ordered one. Yeah, so I think I still have two packs left. What's up, Matt? Uh, there's a lot of different hollows in there. Uh, I could show I could show them off here in a bit if you want to wait a little bit. Oh, what's left? Hey, Forge, what's up? I'm like trying to save you the pack cart, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to like bend the corners, so maybe it's just better to open it all the way. Okay, we got a hit, Mon Lee. Come on, baby. Gengi, slow bro. Jesse. Merwick. Krabby, Koki, Koki. Oh, we got a hit one chan for the hollow, I imagine. Oh, nice. There we go. We got hit one chan. Bro, the hollows on these are just so soft. I kind of like it that way. Hit one chan. Oh, 
Episode 11, Charmander. Oh, and we got, dude, we got Ghastly and we got Haunter, bro. Where is the Gengar? Yup, this is Top Series 2. Yes, sir. Top Series 2. Haunter. That's the episode where Charmander is, like, left out in the rain and almost dies, right? I think this trainer's name was Damien. Slowbro was nice. Yeah, I've only got two left. Slowbro. I'm drinking Tito's. I, you know, I, I'll like, I'll drink Tito's, but generally, I already, I took a, a nice shot of Jameson. That's why I'm so relaxed. I took a shot of Jamo tonight. I was like, you know what? My, my crown fell out. I'm. A <laughs> My life is going to shit. My crown fell out. I might as well just start getting drunk. When in doubt, pour one out. Is what they say, right? Send for another one? Damn! Okay, so Hector sent in for one. And if Antonio did send in for one too, then I think they're sold out. Which, I gotta say, was very, very quick. Uh, but, we do have some more coming in pretty soon. So we'll have a little bit more. Not a lot. No, Ron, thank you, bro. Thanks for, indul thanks for indulging in the top series two tonight. We got Ghastly. We got Haunter. We just need the Gengi, man. John B says Ruby Sapphire. Number 20, John B. Hector sent here's the difference awesome Hector. Thanks so much Jared says one Evo sky. Oh Dude, they got a lot of tops cards uh, pretty soon in I'll be getting in a tops uh, It's actually one of my favorite generations gen 3. They've got a lot of top stuff They do the biggest risk though about tops and why I don't buy every single tops They have is because tops can be very sticky now, the packs that we're opening up, they're really clean. Nothing's sticking. Nothing's getting damaged. But generally speaking, if you buy a pack on eBay, if they were not taken well care of, they're left in extreme heat, even extreme cold. Uh, they could be sticky, and then the cards are all damaged. So at that point, the pack is basically worth zero. If the cards come out, you know, stick, stuck to another one another and tearing apart each other. Jared. One Evo Skies. So it's hard to get the other stuff in good shape, which is why we kind of stick to Series 1, Series 2. But they got a lot of tops. Oh my god, dude. We'll be getting in some tops the movie 2000. Oh man, that's going to be crazy too. That is going to be crazy as well. Damn! Alright, so then top Series 2 is sold out. So let me take that off the, me uh, off the menu for now. Mark it as SO because we will be getting in more. But Series 2 is sold out. Trumpin says Poka Poka. My girl's tops always make me. That means she's doing a good job. <laughs> William B says Poker Spot. William B. Chikaka says Oho oh, Deck. Alright, so we got William B. We got Chikaka in. Rodney is up next. He says Shining Kabutops. 34. 34. Awesome. Rodney, you got it. Man, Shining Kabutops is almost done. There's more people in the queue for spots, too. Chi to sign me in for Ruby Sapphire. Okay, Chi, you got it. You'll be on number one. Chi. Hi, right, Jamie. Um, honestly, it's pretty close to full in the queue. It's pretty close. Arthur B says, "Let me get one XY evolutions." He says, "Can I keep the bulk?" 
You sure can, Arthur. It's gotta be this one. So yeah, I want to say there might be like five or so spots left for the poker break. Arthur! Come on. Uh, yeah, Justin, we got a Ruby Sapphire Blister on Gauntlet right now. 20 spots total. Nine tails break. And Starmie! Oh, nice. You actually got a secret in there, too. Nice. Dodo is the secret. Nine tails. What can I purchase? What's up, Gabriel? Uh, everything is down below in the description. So we got a Venmo, a PayPal, a Cash App. You just simply send in a payment to those. And let me know in your payment note what packs you're ordering. So it sounds confusing, but it's pretty simple. Arthur B. Yeah, I mean, we could do a Deoxys Gauntlet too. That definitely would be an option. Eric S. says, and he pulls the Mango Boa. I hope so, Eric. I hope so. Three. OP07. Yo, Looney. Yo, you guys are really treating me nice tonight, bro. God damn, Looney. Thank you so much as well. Damn, bro. What I deserve all the kindness for. You guys are awesome, man. I appreciate you guys a lot for that, man. Looney, thank you. Ryan, thank you too, man. You guys are awesome. Sheesh. And if you guys just got a gifted membership, make sure you guys give them a big old thank you as well. Because if you guys don't know, every month, uh, m along, you know, during the month too, there's usually some kind people in our community that donate stuff for members too, usually. But I personally also do a huge giveaway, usually vintage, every month for our members. So if you just got a gifted membership, that means when the at the end of this month, when we do the giveaway for this month, you will still be a member. You'll still have a chance to win it, courtesy of them, by giving you a gifted. So make sure you give them a thanks. Because they might have just won you a, a giveaway, perhaps. Ericus. Is that what it is, Dom? Is that what it is? You're saving up for the Deoxys? Dude, is Solana coin up? So, my girlfriend's name is Solana. And I honestly was thinking about buying a shit ton of Solana coin just because that's her name. Kind of more as a meme, if anything. Matthew says towards the Neo... Damn! Matthew, three spots in Neo Rev? Oh my god. Alright, so Matt, you're already on four. So let's put you on 14, 15. I still owe you one spot, which will kind of splatter it around for you. Damn, Matthew got the Shining. Now he's trying to get another Shining from Neo Rev. We'll put you on 18 as well. Matthew, three spots in the Neo Rev. Brennan B says one pack hitbox. Brennan B. Brennan B. <gasps> Whoa. Brennan. <laughs> no way. Oh, well. I would, I would say, I would say a one pack snipe, but obviously that means people were buying in before him for this to come out. So that was perfect timing. Brennan B, base set to Gyarados pack art, weighing in at 20.53. Nice, dude. Holy buckets. So, Brennan, uh, that's the weight of it, 20.53. If you want to open it, let me know. If not, it'll be assumed that you want it sent to you sealed, okay? But that's a base set to Gyarados. And from my experience, base set to is one that's kind of tough to weigh. So... It doesn't weigh super, super heavy, but you never know with base at 2. Okay, and it's even showing a little bit lighter on this scale, too, which is a weird thing. I don't know why. I reweighed it all with this scale, too, and still it's showing a little bit lighter. So I don't know if the calibration is off tonight or the calibration was off when I weighed it that night or whatnot, but 2050, 2053 is looking to be about the weight on this one. Brennan B with a base at 2.
I'll keep it sealed. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty nice, though. Even for a, even if it is a light 20 bucks for this, that's still a fantastic hit. So I'm not going to be too upset by it. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie and say, oh, it's an unweighed pack. You know, that's the weight of it. Whether it's heavy or light, there it is. Yeah, it's probably pretty fairly too. Shee. So there you guys go. You never know, man. With the hit boxes, you never know. It could be pumped up right, waiting for your order, right? So you never know. Jared L says a royal pack and one Evo Skies. Okay, Jared, you want to pick a number one to four? Let's grab you that Evo Skies. Ah, uh, yes, Matt. Sorry, you were asking me earlier. Let me show it to you. So, this is all that's left. This is all that's left uh, as far as these hits go. These are all the hollows that remain, and all these hollows are basically in there. So, you pull an energy, you'll get one of these hollows. So, that's all that's left, and here are the hollows that remain in there. They're not all hollows. Like, that's a first dead Tangela. So, not a hollow, but still a good card. Foss two fossil dragonites still in there this used to be way bigger at the start still some good stuff in there ride from fossil first that magneton still a dark zard in there fossil moltres very quick research well no so yeah generally speaking 21 grams is usually what you're looking for however However, every single box is different. So every print run is different. He says number one. I've you're, you're talking to someone who's done over 15 now, probably 15 to 20 different box breaks. So I'm pretty, you know, well experienced in this area. I've done many base set breaks where some packs, 21 grams were lights. You wanted like a 21.5, 21.2s were lights. I've done base set two breaks where we got hollows out of packs that weight and, and lights out of packs that were weighing more. So there's a lot of variance to it. If you really want to be safe, yes, 21 grams over is like the general safe option, but you really never know. We've opened up plenty of packs that were light on the stream, and we pulled an Umbreon Neo Umbre. Actually, check this. Testing, 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 testing. Okay, I think we're back. Yeah, okay, we're back. All right, cool. That was weird. What the hell happened there? All right, so Mike just died on me. I guess I guess even my microphone didn't want to hear my stories. If my microphone turned off because they didn't want to hear my story, then you guys don't want to hear the stories. We'll, just, we'll, <laughs> we'll throw that away. Even my goddamn microphone didn't want to hear my story. So I guess it was a bad story. We'll just leave it there, I guess. All right, so Jared L, we've got a royal pack. Let's see what we got. Oh, you hit a tier two. Nice. XY flash fire. Nice. Okay. So, uh, Jared, you let me know. That's an unweighed flash fire. I actually got that out of a blister. You let me know if you want to open it or have it mailed to you sealed. Nice. 
possible? Yeah, it's definitely possible, Looney. Yeah, you got it, man. Let's open up your other packs, though. See if you got something nice here. Glissopod. What's up, Mike? Uh, Nero's going fairly slow. I think we're at four packs sold. So not much. Not much, unfortunately. Tandy Mouse. Either way, what I was trying to say is that slab, uh, that came out of a light pack. So that Umbreon was pulled on stream by Scott P uh, in a light pack that weighed super light. And he pulled a hollow Umbreon. I bought it from him because it has a really crazy air swirl. We're like right on its chest. There's actually a swirl. And generally you can't see swirls above the Pokemon. So this is an error where like the hollow layer or something was mixed flipped or something like that so this is a really cool emery so i bought it from him i paid a premium for this so um yeah so that's kind of the story with that so you know you never really know what the weights you can always try to be safe oh we got a poppy nice we also pull you an sir poppy No point in calling them tears. I, I guess that's true. I guess them. I guess that's a good point. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I don't know what I'd call them otherwise. You hit a chase pack, I guess. I don't know. I guess that's true. Rob says creepy and pincer. All right. Well, evolving skies continues to disappoint, as you'd expect. Nice. All right, so Jared L pulling a flash fire, and that is going to be going out to your seal. You got it. A premium pack, a common pack? I don't know if I like that terminology. I, I totally hear what you're saying, but I don't know if I want to be saying a premium pack. Will, so sign me in for the poker, William. What's up, Zeus? Ah, uh, four. Four, and we're about to be at five, too, because this gauntlet seems to be almost done. Mo says, uh, 325 for the cover of Blaze Game. Also, my package is a giveaway slab as well. Also, what other slabs you have for sale? Uh, yeah, Mo, thanks for that, Mo. I actually have it right here for the giveaway. So, we'll do that at some point tonight, Mo. Appreciate you. So, I actually bought some slabs off of Mo, and he actually sent this Duralot and PSA 8 Ult Art in to be given away. So, we'll give that away tonight as well, courtesy of Mo. Uh, but Mo says, use my credit. Let me grab that Blaziken slab. So, uh, we had 950 Mo. We're going to minus 325. That leaves us with 625 on credit for you. Let's also grab you that Blaziken. And, I'll sh and actually, I got to grab the uh, Entei too. I think Jeff bought that. Hector with the four months says, I can't wait it's been four months. Been hooked since I won the Blasty Slab Gauntlet on the first purchase. Keep it up, bro. What does this mean? You're taking me to the DR? <laughs> you guys are welcome to come, man. I'm sure my cousins will let you go to the wedding. I'm sure they'd be like, the more the merrier. Okay, so this, this I believe Jeff is buying. Yep, so Jeff bought that one. So I'll keep that out because that one's sold. Uh, so I guess really what I'll do, Mo, is because I got to flip them all over, is I'll just kind of do it fast and... If anybody's interested in one of these slabs, they are available for sale. This, the sticker tag on the back is the price, of course. And we got some pretty, pretty nice stuff. Uh, but Mo, for you, we are looking for that blaze again that you bought, which is right here. Magikarp PSA 10 first edition Magikarp from Web Series. The sad truth about it is a lot of you guys probably have no idea what the Web Magikarp even is. But that is a really nice card. Gengar 10. I've got two more Blaziken, so I had three at the time. But Mo did pick one up. Charizard, Tyranitar. Base set 10 Zapdos. Holy buckets. Charizard Evos 10. McDonald's Pikachu. Rayquaza 10. Shining Mewtwo. Beautiful. I want the Skyla. I believe the Skyla was a 9. I believe the Skyla was a 9. There's Iron Hands. Zapdos, PSA 10. 
I got two Lance's Dragonites. They're 165 a piece. Lance's Dragonite 10 from VS Series. Shining Mew. Red's Challenge from Tag Team All Stars. A special delivery Charizard. And Espeon PSA 10. No, I think it was a 9. I think that Skyla was a 9. Yeah, here it is. Skyla was a 9. That's 75 if you want it. I'll keep it out there in case you decide you want it, all right? It's 325 for the Blaze again. So I have three of them. One just sold to Mo. I got two more. It's 325 bucks for it. Which I'm pretty sure is literally just the last sold prices. Or like the lowest buy it now and, and the last sold too. So really, really fair price, I think. Especially for this. Okay, sounds good, Eric. Skyla is sold to Eric. Skyla is gonzo. You got it? All right, Mo. Thanks so much. So, Mo, you still got a bunch of credit, too, on there. And Blaziken is now yours. Okay, cool. So, that was for the homie Mo. Uh, then, we've got Antonio. He says, spot in the poker deck. Which, this is about to be done pretty soon here. Holy buckets. Yeah, there's some really nice slabs there, man. Yeah. I've got a lot of slabs. I got a bunch that I bought from Mo recently, too. So I'll probably make another slab bag round pretty soon. Just a lot of the slabs that I have, as you can see, are really expensive ones. I don't have a lot of cheap ones left because they've been getting eaten up by the slab bags. Nelson is in for the poker deck as well. Oh, yeah. This is definitely full in the queue. Jeff says, trade the Morty's Gengar for the difference on the Entei Ten. Okay, yeah, Jeff, sounds good. So, Jeff, let me go. Because I think the Gengar is here. Yes, it certainly is. Okay, and then Jeff just traded me the Gengar plus some cash in trade for this PSA 10 Entei. Dude, this card's so nice. Now, I like the Gengar a lot too, Jeff, but I know you have two of them, so, you know, I know you didn't really want it, but this is a beauty, man. This is so nice. Look at that swirl. Yeah, Mike, we're doing another poker break, but that's full in the queue for sure. So that poker deck is full 100%. Now, I do have more decks, so we could do another round, but I don't know. Maybe we'll do Lugia next because we just did Ho-Ho, but that is definitely full in the queue now. Okay, cool. So, Jeff, thanks so much for the trade, man. Entei is yours, and I will take the Gengar. Okay, cool. So, thanks so much, Jeff. I'll take that. Honestly, I might stick that in my own collection, because I think I sold my Gengar. So that might be one that I stick back into my personal collection. Hector says another top series two. All right, Hector, I'll let you choose because there's only two left. Do you want right or left? Which means the other one you don't pick is going to go to Antonio. Also, Brennan B was next in the queue and he wants two spots on the Kabu tops. All right, so Brennan B, you got 27, 28. Nice. So, Shining Kabutops is almost done as well, guys. There's less than eight spots left, I think. Right. Okay. Yeah, Jeff, we got that for you out of the VS pack break, which honestly is dope because I pulled that for you, got it graded for you. So, I've been a part of its life cycle, which I kind of like a lot. see another ghastly I'm gonna try to keep your pack as sealed as I can but you know getting the cards out it's a little bit more important but the packs in good shape come on baby we only got two packs left let's see one more clear cut let's see a rainbow we haven't seen a rainbow yet ghastly dodrio we got another ponyta horsey getting a lot of the same commons I note lick a tongue Oh, I think we got a uh, hollow trainer. 
Magnemite. Oh, we got a hollow James. James from Team Rocket. Magnemite. Oh, and the ultimate raw card. Onyx. Onyx. So, Series 2 is fully sold out. We actually are going to be opening up the next one right after this for Antonio. So, we got... So far, we only got one clear cut. We got a Bulbasaur. Hoping for the rainbow at least, or another clear cut at least. Rock Solid. Onyx. Dude, I feel like I could be a Pokemon voice actor. What do you guys think? Guy Fu, yeah, I guess so, right? I'm pretty sure James, if I'm not mistaken, I think James is like a rich dude. He like comes from a rich family, but he like left something like that. There was some episode with his Growlithe and his Arcanine or something like that, and he goes back home. Actually, a pretty decent episode. Antonio is up next. He says the last top series two. You can voice act while being a blackjack dealer, bro. <laughs> What's up, Joe? Uh, how's it going? Pulled up? We haven't pulled it in English, though. We pulled it in Japanese, but not in English yet. Okay, Antonio. Last pack. Come on. Show me another clear cut. Or a rainbow. Or a Gengar. Yeah, I guess so, right? He was tired of the rich life. Kingler. Oh, this is the episode where um, Pikachu versus Lieutenant Surge is Raichu. And then Ash is like, Pikachu, we gotta get you evolved so you can win the battle. And Pikachu's like, no, I will not evolve. I refuse. Water Flower is a Cerulean City gym. That's Misty Sisters, I think. Tangela? The Ghost of... I remember that episode, too. The Ghost of Maiden Peak. Ooh, I think you got a hollow. A hollow horsey! Horsey. And of course, some out of sleeves. Horsey. Unless you got a Rapidash. Ooh, and a Dugong. I actually like this one. I like Dugong a lot. I feel like Dugong is a pretty nice looking Pokemon that never really gets much respect. So I like Dugong. Rapidash. Alright, so that is all of my series too. Happy to report every single pack was pristine. The cards are looking great. No stickiness at all. You could, you could eat food off of these. They're so clean. But Series 2 is sold out. Uh, we'll be getting more of them. Just as of now, that's all we had in for today. Kingler. Hey, I like Dugong a lot. I feel like Dugong doesn't get much love, but it's a good Pokemon. It is. I think so. Yep, everyone back to top. We do have a decent bit of top series one and probably like 15 or so packs of top series one, I think. So we got a decent amount of it. And Sonio. Eric B says a poker deck spot. Eric B. All right, so I think the last next person in the queue gets the last spot of it. Fernando says one you Nagaba. Oh, okay, Fernando, you got it. Now, obviously, as a fair warning, I just got in a fresh supply of Unagabas. We haven't really opened up any of them, so I can't say if there's Umbreons or not. But this is a fair warning. They're priced really competitively. They're pretty cheap. 
Uh, you know, the cards alone are like 20 bucks raw anyway, so there's not too much to lose. But just a, just a fair warning, these are coming from a new source. And obviously, if you don't know, Yunaguas are supposedly able to be searched through by looking in a flashlight with them. So we'll see. I mean, I got it from a trusted place, but we'll see. So hopefully Umbreons are in the mix here, but I guess we haven't opened up enough to really tell. But just to let you guys know, that's always a concern of whether or not the person searched them or did not search them. Or sometimes you buy some and the person you bought them from searched them and you didn't even know, and then you sell them again. Oh, okay, we got Eevee. Fernando with the Eevee. They're talking about OP09? Is that going to be with uh, Gold Roger? Oh, Fernando, you already got an Eevee. So what do you got? You got Eevee, Sylveon, and Glacy. So you did dupe up on the Eevee there. Yeah, I saw the Crimson Haze leaks, and um, yeah, the cards are actually pretty nice. I'm sure Crimson is going to be really, really cheap. So when we get Crimson in, in stock, Crimson will be $3 a pack, which is pretty solid. So Crimson will be getting in $3 a pack. And I saw the leaks of it. It doesn't look that bad, actually. I'm liking the cards in it. Jamie says, Poker deck and if full, put me in the Neo Gauntlet. Wow, okay, Jamie, you actually got the last spot. Nice. Okay, so this poker deck is full. We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, and 27. Perfect. So if you are in the queue for a poker deck, what I am assuming is, is the... So I do have another deck. I do. And these are my last two decks. So this is all I got left. So... We could do another ho ho, but it'd probably be smarter to do a Lugia because we just did it. We're just about to do a ho ho. So what do you guys think? Should we do a, should we should we do a Lugia deck for si oops? I just dropped it. <laughs> should we do a Lugia deck next for signups? What do you guys think? But anyways, let me get to shuffling these. Because honestly, I think it was perfect. I don't think anyone in the queue is actually in. So I think we perfectly sold his spots. Big deck in your hands? I do got big hands. That's a small deck to me. Yeah, no, dude, Kevin, for sure, bro. I mean, back when these came out, they were probably a couple bucks. So you probably had a bunch of people buy them to use them as actual playing cards, right? Yeah, I could see it. I would do it. If I went to the store and that was like a $5 deck of playing cards, I'd be like, shit, I'm a Pokemon fan. I'll buy it. All right. So that is a pretty good shuffle, I'd say, for these name tags. That's the most important part that these are really well shuffled. All right, so there's the shuffle. Now, I'm going to put this one back. But you guys let me know if you guys want to do another sign-up for another deck tonight. I would say Lugia. And let's open this up. BD Kicks, you still got a $15 credit. I'll leave you up here. And actually, before we open it, um, Fernando... Sorry, no, Eric. Eric's the one who bought this. Eric bought this. Oh, Ben bought one too. Okay, so Ben bought the Blaze again. Okay, cool. So, Eric, you are all set. This Skyla is yours. Let me just mark your order is done and get your name on it so we get this off the table. So, Eric picking up the Skyla from Breakpoint in a 9. And then, we'll, well, I don't have the Blaziken out. So, Ben, when your order is up, we'll get you that Blaziken that you bought, too. So, thanks for picking up one of the slabs. See all the cards you just shuffle? I think we can do that. Yeah, and then we can also go through all the cards too. So I think that's a decent idea. So let's let's like open the deck. We'll go through all the cards and then we'll shuffle it up. I think that's a good enough thing. All right, so let's open it up first. With these decks in particular, there's kind of like an X. So you can kind of just get in there, which is nice. The official Nintendo seal, the seal of approval. 
All right, so here's our poker deck. We have 54 cards in here. We start off with the Pikachu Joker. This is probably like the biggest hit in the box. Unless we get an Umbreon as well too, but that is really nice. Ho-Ho Ace of Spades. Sudowoodo. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to like slightly split them up a little bit already. And then we'll shuffle it up again too. We got Pinsir. For it. So, you know, now that I'm looking at it, I feel like these are a lot of the same cards that we got out of the Lugia deck. But only difference is this, of course, has the Ho-Ho for the back. So, it kind of seems like they're pretty similar. Yeah, we got hop it on the other deck. We got Starmie on the other deck. So, is the really only difference is that you get a Ho-Ho? So, maybe the deck doesn't even matter, guys. Because it looks like you get a bunch of the same cards. Yeah, Aerodactyl, Horsey, Raikou, yep. Uh, well, we did a shuffle last time, Brandon. I just, when I say shuffle, you know, I did a very soft, soft, soft shuffle. Ooh, a Heracross? That might be new, actually. Raikou. Did we get a Heracross last? Oh, yeah, these are new. So, Heracross. I don't think we got a Blissey. Or a Dawnfan. Okay, I take it back. There definitely are new Pokemon popping up. Okay, nice. Chikorita. Ace of Clubs. Snubble. No music today is Friday. We got music going on. Is it not is it not uh loud enough? Can you not hear the music? Venonat. Skip Blue. Primate. Star me or star you. Meganium. Furrits are like not even a pet anymore. I watched this guy, a streamer, his name I think is Pirate Software, and he has like a, a furret sanctuary or something like that. It's pretty crazy. He's got like a whole stream just looking at all the furrets they got. Shuckle. Oh, this one has a Quagsire in it. Okay. And a Whooper. Yeah, there definitely are different cards. They're few and far in between. A lot of them are pretty similar, but there definitely are some. Oh, a Scizor? Bro, I actually really have grown to like Scizor. King of Clubs, Scizor. That is beautiful. Totodile. Hey, what's up, Rich? Yes, the sub came in today, Rich. We looked at the grades at the start. So if you want to go back and check it out, you definitely can. Start of the stream tonight. Togetic. Seal. So we're just leaving them all up. That way it's going to be a little bit easier to shuffle them a little bit nicer. Nicey. Nicer? Nicely? Nicer. Magikarp. Parasect. Sunflora. Execute. Meryl. Pick it up the speed here a little bit. Spinarak. Oh, yeah, Spinarak's new. Eridos is also new, too, for this deck. Oh, there it is. Nar has been wanting to see this. King of Diamonds Togepi. Togepi. The Ho-Ho deck better than the Lugia deck? I'm trying to think what the main differences are. The Togepi, for sure, is definitely the, one of the main differences. Uh, the Quagsire, definitely. Aridos is different. Sneasel. I wonder if there's an Umbreon in here. Oh, there's an Eevee. Meow. Eevee. Ooh, Feraligator. Oddish. Jump up. Clefa oh, there is another Umbreon. Dude. Wow. That is so nice. So good luck to whoever gets that. Umbreon, Ho Ho for sure. Totodile, Chikorita. Oh, they got a Mill Tank in here. They might have one in the in the Lugi deck too. 
Oh, they got an Elekid. I like Elekid, too. Elekid for the King of Hearts. And the Joker at the end is going to be a Pikachu. Nice. What's up, Lance? Uh, it'll be the same price. 30 bucks for a spot. You get two cards. So it's two cards for 30, essentially. Alright, so now we can shuffle these, especially because the sleeves are bigger than the cards, so there's a lot more room to grab these without damaging them. So shuffle these all up. You, oh yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys like, just not talking about the decks, but the actual Pokemon, do you guys like Ho-Ho or Lugia more? Let me know. I know Lugia had that movie, right? Lugia was like a star of the, what was it? Pokemon 2000 movie? The 2000 movie or whatever? Okay, everyone's saying Lugia. Hell yeah, because I picked Lugia too, man. Lugia is one of my favorite Pokemon. Alright, so we're going to cut it like this. And this is going to be the arrangement. We already shuffled up the name tag, so let's get into it. Every name called gets two Pokemon. Two cards. Six is coming up first. All right, six we got for... Wow. Six, these are both really cute. Six. Oh yeah, six, that's right. We got in the ship zone. Forgot about that. I was looking, looking in the wrong area. That's true, right? The shining or the shining ho ho. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, that is right. Not bad, six. Starting us off. Two really cute ones. Two really, really cute ones. John E. Alright, John, you got. Oh, nice. Blissey and Chikorita. John E. Blissey, Chikorita. Everybody's favorite song is on. I go back to back. What's up, Aaron? It's $30 for two. So the spots are $30 a spot, but you get two cards. And these are all fresh from the deck. No searching, no pulling out the better cards, the good centered ones. They're just fresh, all from the same deck. John B. Okay, John, I think we gotta make your brand new bag, if I'm not mistaken, so let's get that done. All right, John, you are snagging. Oh, we got four and two of clubs. Snubble and the jump plus. John B with the snubble. Joe G, Naria G. Marowak and star you, Joe G. Three dollars? No, no, thirty dollars. Add a zero on the end of there, man. Yeah, these are really expensive. Three dollars would be crazy. That'd be nice, though. Chikaka. All right, Chikaka. Oh, oh, nice. He got a king and a queen. Yeah. If this was poker, that would be a nice hand to get a king and a queen. Not suited though. That's gonna be Elekid and Whooper. Not bad, Chikaka. Chikaka, we might be making you back. Let me see. Yep, that is a new bag for Chikaka. It's just a low hand. I, I mean, if I was playing poker and I got that, I would probably raise. Raise before the flop. I think I would. What do you guys think? Mid hand? Really? Why? Because you didn't get an ace? 
If I, I mean, it's not suited either. I'm a poker player. I play a lot of Texas Hold'em, so I'm pretty familiar. But I, I, I would, I would probably raise the flop on that. Really, maybe I'm a bad player though. <laughs> maybe I'm a bad poker player. Okay, so that was for the homie Chikaka. Then we've got Nicholas Y. All right, Nick, here we go. Oh, nice. Ace three suited. Now, that's, that's a little better. I don't know. I still like King Queen personally, but Ace three suited. Nicholas Y. Not bad, Nick. I'm like thinking more in terms of a poker hand than the actual Pokemon you're getting on your cards. But not bad. Totodile and Togetic. Ace three suited. Solo! Alrighty, Solo, here we go. Two for you on the front. Oh my god, bro. Scizor! Damn, Solo. You selling, bro? You trading, Solo? <laughs> you trading? Scizor, king of clubs. That is pretty nice. Solo. Eric B. Coughing and seal Eric with the with the low pair or not low pair, but low low hand suited Eric B. Scizor, yeah, Scizor is cool, man. I like Scizor. He's really grown on me. I like Scyther. I like Scizor. They've really grown on me. Joe G. Alrighty, Joe. Here we go. Two more for you. Oh, nice. You got Feraligator and Clefable. Not bad. Joe G. Feraligator, Clefable. Feraligator is a cool one. Joe G. I had 250k crowns. I gotta get them back. Yeah, that's a long road. Nelson. Okay, cool. You actually got 5 6 suited. Golduck and Hoppip. Nelson. Did I ever see the new Pokemon Horizons? I heard about it, but I haven't seen it. Is there episodes out? So Pokemon Horizons, that's what the new uh, protagonist, right? I walk this lonely road. Corgi! Sunflora. Oh, and a Magikarp. Six and eight, Corgi. Sunflora. John B. John B. Oddish. And oh, I like Shuckle. Nice. All right, John B. Offsuit, Shuckle, and Oddish from the deck. Shuckle. She got the same card twice. The centering's looking pretty good on these, though, guys. Like, check that out. These look pretty nice centered. So hopefully, 10's on all of these. Sammy. Sammy boy. Oh, nice. Joker Pikachu. <gasps> Sammy. Bro, you got both of them. Oh, my God. Sammy, how? You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. That is crazy. Sammy, those are two really nice ones, bro. Congrats on the double Jokers. Whoa. Double Jokers. John B. I think this is John B.'s third and final round. John B. Pinsir. And Sudowoodo. Sudowoodo, John B. So I guess overall, John, here is everything you've got. 
out of this round of the poker deck for the ho-ho one. If you cut the deck at first or put them next to each other. I mean, I shuffled it all up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it. it's fully random. I shuffled it all pretty good, and the names are shuffled too, so it's like double random. Nick Y. All right, Nick, here we go. I think this is also your last spot. Venonat and the furry. Venonat, Nicholas Y. Yeah, these are all gradable. Yeah, PSA grades these, Beckett grades these. I don't know if CGC does, but PSA and Beckett, and honestly, FCGC. So Beckett, PSA does, and that's really all that matters. Jamie! Oh, nice. Jamie with the Meganium and a Primeape. Jamie. Yeah, I mean, that would be really nice. That's like, that's not bad at all. I'm sure those Pikachus are worth a decent chunk and a 10 too. And this deck looks pretty well centered. So I'm hoping these will all grade pretty highly for you guys. Do you plan on opening Lugia today? Uh, I would definitely be down, yeah. Same price, just Lugia deck this time. Yeah, I'd be down. We can start signups for it. If people are interested, same price. If anyone wants to hop in for the Lugia deck. And if it fills tonight, we'll do it tonight. Alex B. Oh, Alex. Nice. I don't really care for Hypno, but Raikou is worth it to me. Nice. Alex B. And just because I don't care about Hypno doesn't mean there's not someone out there who might really love Hypno, but Raikou is a dope one. Raikou is a very dope one. Alex B. Justin B. Here we go. Justin. Dawn fan. And Heracross is cool. Elsa, not a bad hand. King Jack suited. Not a bad hand. Justin B. Honestly, Justin, you have some really good luck on these. Look at that. You got a sweet coot in your bag. Holy buckets. Okay, that was for the homie Justin B. Matthew C. Matthew. Oh, Matthew. There he goes. There he goes, Lugia, Ace of Spades. Or sorry, Ho-Ho, Ace of Spades. Oh my God. Matthew C. Bro, Matthew, didn't you pull the Lugia? Oh my God, you did, bro. You pulled the Lugia in the last deck. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Matthew C. Wow. All right, that is really nice. Matthew C got the ho ho. He got Lugia last night. Crazy luck. Alex B back at it again. Alex B. Oh, we got Ariados and Merrill, aka Pika Blue. Missing the jack there. How can I check if a bag there still? What's up, Straw Hats? Uh, what's the name on the order? All you really gotta do, Straw Hats, is just go into your go into your PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, see when you last ordered something from me, and see what the date was. That's about it. If it's been six months and you have not paid your shipping yet, it's most definitely gone. If you have not paid your shipping, if you did pay shipping and it's been over six months, I still I still probably have it. But if you have not paid shipping and it's over six months, it's long gone for sure. Ben T. Oh, we got the Sneasel. Oh, an Ace of Hearts Cyndaquil. Nice. He says, my name is Mike P. Uh, Mike, you don't have a bag because it looks like you ordered three things and we already shipped you on January 8th. So, Mike, I don't think you'd have a bag here because we shipped you last. So, you got three orders and then a ship. So, you wouldn't have a bag here, Mike. I think you've been shipped out already. Ben T. 
Not bad, Ben. That's going to be Cyndaquil. So hopefully that answered your question pretty quickly there. Quinn! Alrighty, Quinn. Here we go. Horsey and a Starmie. All right, Quinn got the water types here. St uh, Starmie, Horsey, Quinn. All righty, Quinn. That looks like that's going to be a brand new bag for you. I love living in the ghetto. Wait, are you trying to imply like you never got it? Or you think it might have been stolen or something? Because we shipped you out a while ago. Yeah, it looks like you were shipped out over a month ago. Two months ago, actually. Okay, so that was for Quinn. We only got a couple more spots to go. William B. Oh, we got Quagsire. And not bad, actually, Will. That's going to be Aerodactyl Quaggy. William B. Matthew! Alright, Matt. You got me scared, Matt. What, what is left to be sniped? Oh, Umbreon is still in there? Umbreon is still in there? No way, Matt! Dude. Dude. Bro. Matthew C, you got to be the luckiest guy. You got a shot in Kabutops. You got so, bro. Matthew C is crushing it. Literally crushing it with the poker stuff. With the poker stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Trumpin! Trumpin! Picks up Mill Tank. Shout out to my boy Pat. And a Gligar. Queen Jack suited. So you calling Matthew Sunfan Jr.? <laughs> no way. Antonio! Alright, Antonio, you're the last, second to last to go. What do we got left in here? Oh, you got the eggs! And a Parasect. Antonio. You got the eggs. I bought a case of Hidden Fates tins last year and looked like they were ran over by the delivery truck about 10 times, so the other tins were crushed along with my heart. Damn. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, it definitely happens. You know, life life sucks sometimes. Things happen. And William, our last person. Oh, not bad, Will. You got the Togepi. I forgot Togepi hadn't come out yet. Okay, Bill, not bad, actually. Togepi and Spinarak. Spinarak. Nice. All right, so that was the Ho Ho Poker Deck break. That wasn't too bad. Thanks for who joined up. I think doing the two spots rather than one spot per person definitely saves me a lot of effort, which I appreciate because that was that was not that bad. Fifty-four cards was like torture. Juggling all those bags and everything like that was torture. This was not too bad. So thanks for everyone who joined up. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the cards that they got as far as the poker deck goes. And if you guys want, let me know what you guys are thinking. Do you guys want to do another one tonight? We can do a Lugia this time. You guys want to do another one? Such a nice sound. Gabe H says, let me get four OP07. Gabe H.
comes in a royal five pack. Uh, you get five booster packs. They're all Scarlet and Violet era, unless you hit the one in five chance of a more expensive pack in it. But honestly, Fernando, I think we got one coming up uh, pretty soon here for Looney. So you get to see one opened up here in a couple orders if you want to just kind of see what it looks like. Okay, Gabe, here we go. Four, OP07. So I said it earlier, but I'll say it again. For those who don't know, next week I am traveling to the DR. So this week and Wednesday are the last days that I will be shipping again before I leave. Um, plus, Wednesday might be kind of tough because I got yeah, the pack and all that stuff too and whatnot. Coordinate the flight and stuff. So uh, if you do want to have your card shipped out before I leave for the DR for a week, make sure you guys request shipping, all right? Post a message on the Discord server. You can DM me on Instagram or Discord or email, whatever's easier. If you do want to have your card shipped out before I leave, this weekend's probably your best bet. Probably your best bet. So for those, and I'll repeat it again, for those who want to make sure, double make sure you guys are getting your stuff shipped out before I leave so you don't have to wait a week till I get back to ship it, make sure you request shipping for this weekend or at the latest Wednesday. But if you do request it for Wednesday, keep in mind, if I don't have enough time, I might not be able to ship everybody. So if you want to be safe about it, this weekend is the best time to request because you definitely won't be missed if you request this weekend. Gabe H. On a serious note, Dick, we just take a minute to appreciate this man, Sauger. Yo, bro, I appreciate that. You don't gotta appreciate me, man. I appreciate you being here. Matthew V is up next. He says for two vintage singles. So, Matt, you're gonna get one from the front and one from the back. Matthew V. We got base set Machoke and a fossil gambler. Matthew V. Gambler. Are you doing the Lugia break? Two for 32? Uh, yep, Aaron, that is correct. Yep, that is correct. Just keep in mind, though, if you don't have a bag with me, it's $5 to get it shipped, too. So eventually, you have to pay 5 bucks for shipping, too. But that's not that bad. Um, Yeah, Looney, I sure can. Let me go post in the Discord. I'll just write your name. And I'll, that way, I know it. you'll be on the shipping list. I wrote Jamie, Jared. Jared, you are all set. I've added you to the list, Jared. You're all set. You get shipped out this weekend. Speaking of Jared, he's actually up next. He says a Royal Pack and one Evo Skies. But, oh, for shipping to Canada? No, sorry for that. I know you're in Canada. Yeah, it's five in the US. Canada's 20 bucks. Canada's 20 bucks for the lowest weight and upwards of like 30 if it's a really heavy weight. But generally, most people, if you don't want like your hollows and stuff, will get in the $20 tier. All right, so Jared, let me know if you want to pick a number one to three. He's going back in. And one Evo Skies. Pokemon employees stole my crowns. Tropius and Sharp though. One again. Okay, he's going back in with the lucky number one. Ah, uh, you can keep a bag here for up to six months. Six months. All right, Jared, can you do it again? Oh, all right. It's a tier one of Paldean Fates, Jared L. I'm rich. Who wants them? You got, dude, 10k crowns ain't bad, man. That ain't too bad. The crowns originally are used to buy new avatar. Oh, nice. You got a Dendra for the giveaways we do. So when your Pokemon shows up on screen, the crowns are usually used to get new avatars. And it's 2,500 crowns for an avatar. So you can basically get four new avatars with that amount. Collate all. Linda, I'll probably end up shipping your marbles this weekend. Just because I do kind of want to clean up around here for my trip. So I'm going to also be trying to ship as many people as I can this weekend. Because I don't want it to be too... Because I'm going to be gone for a week. 
So when I come back, I don't want it to be like super, super full, super hectic. So again, if you guys have stuff here, would be appreciated if you guys request shipping for this weekend. There's a lot of stuff here and I kind of want to get most of it shipped out before I'm gone for a week. Because when I get back after DR, my brain's going to be in a different place. I'm going to like forget a lot of stuff because we got so many things. We got the marbles down there, all the bags. We got a special box with people's vintage box break stuff in there. We got the slabs. So there's a lot of stuff to kind of check when I go to ship somebody. I got to check like four different places. Jerry. Temporal forces. So I'm pretty sure my temporal forces will be here Monday, if I'm not mistaken. So Temporal Forces, I believe, should either be here Monday or Tuesday at the latest. So we should be opening up Temporal Forest, or Temporal Forest before I leave, actually. So Monday, Tuesday, we should get the new sets in. Or the new set. Brent says, Kabutops, 11 is long gone. So Brent, 11 is gone, so I'll put you on the next one. That is number 30. Brent V on the cover tops. Maybe I should have 31, because it seemed like you might like the number one, but I put you on 30. Hope that's okay. Jared L says vintage hitbox. So Jared, that's gonna be three from the front and three from the back. Uh they're not exactly the same. The main difference is you'll get a Lugia out of the Lugia deck, and there's also a couple of small differences in the actual Pokemon too. Cool. Oh, it sounds good, Brent. You got it. Thanks for confirming there. Neorino. Murkrow Rare from Neo Genesis. Gambler. Ponita. Misty. Oh, Jared. No chase in those. Although Murkrow is pretty cool. That's a rare from Neo Genesis. Jared L. Uh, I don't think so, Linda, because tomorrow I got to go into the doctor or the dentist and get my tooth fixed. So we'll see. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a pretty shitty day, honestly, for me, I think. Although, I don't know. They might have to just put the crown back on, so maybe it's not going to be too bad, but we'll see. So I'm not planning to be live tomorrow, but maybe. If Temporal Forces arrives tomorrow somehow, I'll definitely try to go live. If not, then we may just wait for Monday. That way I can get a bunch of shipping done, too. And also, I got to clean up the house. I gotta do so much crap now that I'm leaving. I gotta go, after the stream's done tonight, I gotta take all the shit to the dump that we have because there's so many cardboard boxes and stuff like that. The trash, then I gotta go to the dentist at 10. So we'll see. It's gonna be a long night for me. I'll, maybe I'll just stream all night if we can. <laughs> Benjamin T. Ooh, okay, Ben, you got it. So Ben picking up one of my Blaziken slabs. Awesome. Okay, Ben, thanks so much. So, Ben, you just picked up the PSA 10 Blaziken from Chilling Rain. So, that is for Benjamin T. Ben, thanks for your purchase. I can see here, too, that I believe Mo bought the uh, Pikachu. So, that Pikachu is about to be sold, too. So, Ben, thanks so much. I do have one more Blaziken left. I had three of them, two already sold, one Blaziken remains. So, Ben, you got one of them. Thanks so much. If I get a third Sun Floor, I'll give it away. Dominic says, let me get another spot on the Kabutops. Okay. This Kabutops is almost done. Dominic on 31. Damn, there's six spots left on a PSA 9 Japanese Shining Kabutops. Gabe says slab um, spot 11 on Ruby and slab gauntlet. Okay, so 11 on both is what you're asking for. 11's gone on both. So Gabe, I'll just give you the next available. You got three on Ruby Sapphire and 35 on the Shining Cup of Tops. Awesome. Gabe, sorry about that. 11 was gone on both already, actually. 
Wow. Okay, so yeah, this Kalpatoss is about to be gonzo. Nick P says two Star Wars Chrome's my dude. You can ship whenever it's convenient to you. Okay, cool. Uh Nick, I've shipped you before, right, Nick? The reason why I'm asking is because that means your address and everything's up to date. Nick P to Star Wars Chrome. More who's that Pokemon? Matt, are you asking about like a trivia event? Nick P. Any here? Nobody doing it like you. Yeah, what's up, Jonathan? Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you, Jonathan. Thanks for watching, man. Return of the Jedi. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so, Nick, the only thing that I would wa or want you to give me is your email. The nice thing about giving you you giving me your email is that way when you I ship you, you get the tracking number. So, it's actually a nice email. You get the email. It tells you the address that it's going to. It also tells you the tracking number. That way, you can double verify it's going to the right house. If you have an apartment or something, it's not missing your apartment number. And it also gives you the tracking number, most importantly. So if you want, Nick, just contact me, Instagram, Discord. Just let me know it's you. Confirm your address, give me your email, and then I'll put you in the contact book, and you'll be good to go after that. Or I can do it either way, and then just won't get a tracking number, but I think you'd probably prefer to get a tracking number. Okay, cool. Yeah, Nick, that would work. Yeah, that'd work. Yeah, once you, once you like, get shipped at least once, you're in the contact book, as long as all your information is the same, you can just tell me in the stream you want to be shipped out, and I'll put you on the list. But if it's the first time ship, I just try to, like, gather some extra information, like, verify the address is right, and also get your email. His teeth are messed up, sucking on his thumbs. No, when I was younger, I just like, I don't know. I like, I drank a lot of soda, ate a lot of candy. And even though I brushed my teeth regularly, you know, I, it was still just not good, right? Cause soda, soda just basically destroys your teeth. Um, so yeah, just bad habits as a kid led me to have bad teeth. And as a result, I now have a crown. I, a, I got a root canal and I have a crown. And my crown uh, fell out yesterday. So my crown fell out of my tooth, and now I gotta get it re reattached, which is weird. Just brush the one showing. Yeah, I mean, you know. When you're younger, I guess you don't really care too, too much about it. You know, you kind of feel like you're invincible, right? That's like the saying. You kind of feel like you're invincible. It's kind of like one of those things. I'm just like, oh, I'm young. Who cares? I'll start brushing my teeth better, you know, or stop drinking soda or stop eating so much candy when I'm older. But, you know, like they say, old habits die hard. I mean, I drink soda all the time still, so, <laughs> so it's not good. Nick P. Yeah, for sure, Corey. I think so, too. So I still have the crown. So as long as I have that, I think it's okay. Kevin says, hey, Saggy. Yo, Kevo. What's up, Kevin? Kevin, two for the Shining Kabutops. All right, Kevin OG on 36 and 37. Man, Kevin once sent me some Vincent jerky. It was pretty good, actually. I remember that still. Joe says, can we start a Deoxys Gauntlet? If not, just credit it, please. Okay, sounds good, Joe. So, Joe, I am going to keep it as three for now. When the, when the uh, Ruby Sapphire or the Kabutats finishes, we could put a Neo, uh, sorry, a Deoxys pack up next, okay? Um, hold on. So, wait, they're a thousand bucks, firstly. So, let me just see. How many spots is that? That's going to be a huge list. That's a 40 spot gauntlet. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, let me ask you guys a question. So we have some unweighed. Well, I say unweighed, but it's two heavies, three light, so it's better than unweighed. Uh, we have some EX Deoxys packs in stock right now. They're $1,000 a pack. And how many of you guys would be interested in a gauntlet for EX Deoxys? Because it'd be 40 spots. It would be a lot. Because Deoxys packs are not cheap. 
The Oxus is probably... That and Legendary Collection are probably some of the most expensive boxes out there. So we could do it, but it'd be 40 spots. So, you know, if it's going to take forever to fill, then I'd rather just not do it. Uh, Joe seems like he's down for it. How many guys would be down? What's in the Oxus that's so good? It's the Gold Star Rayquaza set. So that is a set that has a chance for the Gold Star Rayquaza. Mo says, I'll take the Japanese McDonald's Pikachu plus a box of OPO7 with the credit. Okay, cool. So, Mo, that's going to be 550 uh, plus 120. So that's 670. Ooh, okay. So, Mo, um, you won't have enough to get a whole box of OPO7 with the credit. So you got 625 left. So 550 minus 625 means you have $75 left, which means I get you 15 packs. So if you want, Mo, you can use the rest of your credit for the Pikachu McDonald's, PSA 10, and 15 OPO7 if you'd like. Do a poll. I mean, it's a lot of spots. That's why I'm kind of thinking like, man, that might take forever. Okay, Mo, no problem. Yeah, I actually, someone was reaching out to me to buy this, and 550 is the last sold, and I think the cheapest one was like 600 on eBay. Uh, so I like to think that's a pretty fair price for it. But Mo, sounds good, Mo, so thanks. So Mo, you basically traded in a bunch of low-end stuff, and you got some really nice slabs back out of it, Mo. That was not a bad trade, I think, on your half. Not bad, Mo. Okay, and then 15 OP7, and that'll use up the rest of the credit. Fourteen and fifteen, right? Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking, right? That's a lot of spots, and we really only have like three, maybe four more streams before I go on my trip. And could it fill in those streams? Absolutely, but it is a lot of spots, so I don't know. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, cool. So no, we are all set. Credit is complete. Uh, yes, Joe, we already did. Yeah, so Joe, if you missed it, uh, we already did it. You can just kind of go back and find when we were opening them. But yeah, we did, Joe. And we did put up another sign-up, same price, this time for a Lugia deck. So, yeah, pulling Gold Star Rayquaza would be a dream. But if I'm not mistaken, I think Gold Stars are one in every two boxes. So one in every 72 packs. Uh, which, to say the least, is kind of crazy. So that might... <laughs> but then again, even if we don't get, like, a gold star, we could still get some really nice EXs out of it. Dragon. Hi, hey, Dylan. Um, OPO7, I got a couple left. Maybe, like, half a case. Oh. Oh, we got Frankie. And... OPO5, Dylan, I think I got one box left of it. One sealed box left. Yep. So OPO5 is almost sold out. I got one sealed box left, one open box. OPO7, I've got plenty, though. I still got, like, more than half a case, I think. So OPO7, there's plenty. OPO5, or sorry, OPO6 is almost gone. Watching the stream while opening my package of bags and slabs I got from Saga. Everything was good. Nice. Again, I'm glad to hear that. Nothing wrong with a package is a good thing. John Cart. Packing peanuts. I do use a lot of packing peanuts. Yes. Uh, maybe it's annoying to get your stuff in packing peanuts, man, but it definitely protects your bag. It definitely protects your bag. So there's that, right? Hollow event. So I know some people don't like it. But I will say, if you know, if, if anything, if you want to be like more eco-friendly, just reuse the packing peanuts. I do that. Whenever I get a package of packing peanuts, um, I just kind of dump them out in this big cardboard box that I keep my pack of peanuts in. So a lot of times, the pack of peanuts you get are reused. Reused. Dom says he's sending for the ox if it happens. So how many, how many of you guys are excited for a Deoxys Goblet? Because I don't mind doing it. Dominic says, I love your package. Whoa, my girl's on the sap, Dom. Chill. 
My girlfriend's gonna be like, yo, why are people saying they like your package, huh? Do I gotta be worried? Mo! Joyce, let's do it. Prentices, let's do it. That's only a couple people. But I, I am tempted, though, because I would love to see a Deoxys opened up. Then again, the prison will probably keep it sealed, but we'll see. Eric S says four opio seven. He says, "Okay, where is it at? It's not funny anymore. I couldn't find any more couch change, so I sold the cushions. Not the cushions, Eric. <laughs> not the cushions, bro. No, Eric. He said I couldn't find any more change in the couch, so I sold my cushions, Eric." Trade for spots. Uh, Brennan, the base set pack that you got for me, I would not take back in. Yeah, that is not something that I would take back in. I've got a lot of vintage packs, so I wouldn't take that back in, unfortunately. If you're looking to trade that in for spots or something. And unless you're willing to do, like, a really lower price than, you know, what it was marked at. Louie. I've got so much stuff, guys. My slab inventory is huge. My vintage inventory is huge. I'm buying a booster box of EX Hidden, or sorry, EX Legend Makers this Sunday. So in a couple more days, I'm going in to grab some sealed vintage from a guy. Erica! Money back guarantee. MGB stands for money back guarantee. So on some of the heavy packs that I have for sale, uh, a heavy pack means there's a hollow in it. If by chance there is something wrong on my end or something where there is no hollow in it, uh, you get a full refund for the pack. You don't keep the pack, but you get a full refund for your order. Miles says a tops one. Miles. Yeah, what's up, Miles? Coming out with a tops. You love to see it. Miles pushing P. We consider taking the PSA 9 Zard back and paying the difference for one of the slabs by chance. Uh, it's possible, Yash, but as far as trades go, I don't do trades at full value. I usually offer you 80%, and then you can just pay the rest in cash for it. That's what I did with Jeff. Uh, just because it doesn't make sense for me to do a trade that's just even. You know, what's the benefit in that? Usually it's because people want to trade for a cooler slab with a worse slab, and it doesn't make sense, you know. Venonet. Nidorino. Spiro. Wigglytuff, Zubat, and the Hollow. <gasps> Miles, that is actually nice. Charmeleon, it's got like a little debris on it. It's got a little pimple there. Hundred boxes of One Piece. Um, I've got a lot of them. I don't know the number, but I probably have at least fifteen. Miles P. That is really nice. Charmeleon. And honestly, that would probably come off too. That's probably just like a little piece of something. A piece of debris. Alright, I'm about to sell the couch. My wife will make me sleep on the floor, but it'll be a floor of cardboard. Worth grading. Ah, so for the tops... It's the problem with the tops are they are tough to grade. We have gotten some PSA tens out of the of the packs that we're opening up. They're so clean, but I don't know off the top of my head what that goes for at a ten. So I would advise you to quickly look on eBay. You know, look up PSA ten Charmeleon tops foil, something like that, and look up a nine too. See what the price is looking like on a nine or a ten, because that might not get a ten. It's really clean, but it might still get like a nine. Could be a 10, though. So I'd advise you to, like, kind of look into it, see what the price point is, because I don't actually know what that goes for, PSA graded. I know it's a good card, though. I didn't want to touch it, Miles, because I don't want to, like, get fingerprints and stuff on it, so I don't really want to touch it. it. It probably does come off. I can kind of tell. It just looks like a little piece of debris, so I think that would come off. But if you really are serious about grading it, we can explore further. But I don't want to touch it with my bare hands, because these ones are really glimmery, and it gets it's very noticeable. If that makes any sense. So first, I would say, Miles, do some research. See if it's worth it first. And if it is, we can try to look into it harder for you.
Miles with the Charmeleon. That is nice. Because I know the Charizard goes, I think, for like a thousand bucks. Okay, cool. Sounds good, Miles. If you're ready to ship out, uh, just request it like normal. I'll get you mailed out. Thanks so much, Miles. Congrats again. The Charmeleon's a good hit. It is a good hit. Ooh, all right. So Alex B sent in for the Lugia deck. So let's get that one rock and rolling as well. So we need two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, and 27. All right, guys, this is my last poker deck. I have no more of them, and I don't know where I'm going to find these again at a good price. So if you want in on the poker deck, this is a, probably our last round for a while. So if you do want in on the poker deck, last opportunity. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, and 27. Alex B. I was looking at a couch. You know, I've seen videos of people who like flip furniture on Facebook. They like go and buy like chairs, furniture. They kind of fix it up a little bit and sell them on Facebook again. It's kind of crazy. Nicholas says two spots on the next poker and three EV heroes. Nick Y. Uh, yes, Hannah, these are like the poker cards, like the playing cards, right? Uh, people call them poker, but I think other people call them playing cards, too. So there are two ways to, to identify them. But yeah, we opened up one earlier, too. So these are going to be very similar to this one that we opened up. Wait a minute. I have another Ho-Ho. Okay, I lied. I have one more poker deck. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. I lied. I didn't realize I had another one. Damn. Okay, so we have two decks. We have one Ho-Ho, one Lugia left. So we could do another one in the future. Because I do have one more. Forgot about that. Matthew! I thought it was open at first. He says, let's send the Ho-Ho to get graded. Okay, Matthew Z. Yeah, that was my bad. <laughs> I thought that was the open one, that, and I felt it. I was like, no, that's too heavy. That's got to be a sealed one. It's $30 for two cards. So one spot's 30 bucks, but you get two cards for that spot. Bro, Matt, you got some really nice cards, man. That's crazy. You got an Umbreon in there too, Matt. Holy buckets. So yeah, nice thing is, I mean, we probably won't try to do another round tonight, but at least I can kind of hold on to that for the future, you know? You can do it, pull it out on another night. It'll be, like, exciting. Matthew with the ho-ho. Uh, yeah, no, I think, I, I mean, it could. I mean, Neo Rev's almost done. The difference is, is Neo Rev's a box break, so you're not going to get your pack in if you win today. Deoxys, you get that the same day, so it's a little bit better. Or people would probably like it more. Alright, so Matthew, you are now up to three cards in this mission. Matthew C. Christian says four cards in the Lugia deck. Okay, cool. So, also, Christian, by the way, I'm not sure if you saw Christian. I should have just admitted it from the payment that I sent you today, but you still owe the 65 for the grading for the cards that came back today, Christian. I don't know if you remember that. So, Christian, I have you written down in the spreadsheet that you still owe the grading fee for the sub that came back today, Christian. So, if you could, please send in that 65 for it so I can get that mailed out to you this weekend. Oh, that's right, Nick. Sorry about that, Nick. You're totally right. I forgot your EV Heroes. So, that's for Christian. He's all set. And I forgot about the EV Heroes. This is a fresh box, too. We just took the cellophane off. Nicholas Y. Three. Also, why are you saying cold packs, Nick? They could be... This is a fresh box. That could be a freaking Moomerion. Really, it could be. Yeah, Bill, you got the Togepi. Yep. Oh, wee oui, wee, oui, mademoiselle. We got Jilteon. Okay. Alright, 
right? I mean, not like super cold, but I guess. <laughs> not super cold, but I guess you can say it's cold. Nicholas Watt. Okay, Christian, thanks. Yeah, no problem, bro. Thanks for paying us so promptly, man. Thank you. All right, so we already took care of the homie Christian. Alex B says Lugia. Alex B. Yup, Tops 2 was already gone. Tops 2 came and it was gone in the wind. I would say the best card we got was probably the clear cut uh, Bulbasaur. Corgi says another in the deck break. And she says, oh, sorry, he says, <coughs> he says, not another Sunflora. <laughs> Joseph R says one celebrations, one 151. Joseph. Can I get three opium sticks for store credit or should I send an order and include? Uh, yeah, for sure. So, uh, BD, if you want something else on top of it, you could place an order for a penny, get the same thing, or you can put anything on top if you want something else as well with it. Caterpie. But yeah, the order the order queue is really not that long, so it shouldn't be too bad. Or if you know, vice versa, if you want to wait till it's empty, we can get it for you at that point. Or if you want to secure your line, you could too. Damn, bro, these sellies be icy. I don't know. I think we got a Mewtwo recently, but we don't know about the lot. I guess it's hard for me to. Hard for me to say that we deserve a Charizard, but man, they've been kind of icy. Joe! How many packs left in the open 151 box? Um, not many, actually. Two, four, six. So yeah, not that much, just six. Oh yeah, I've heard a lot about Helldivers. How is that? Are people really liking it? Justin D says three slab hitbox, one spot on the Kabuto. Nice. Kabuto's got two spots left. Justin on 38. Two spots left on Kabuto. Holy moly. Anyone else grab one? Brendan got a spot. Yep, that's it. So there's one spot left for the Kabuto. One spot left. And I'll reveal the next slab. All right, Justin. Three slab hitbox. Let's see it. Magmar. Suck. Burmy. Sorry. Why to come to slab with the honestly not really for any intended purpose just so that way they know they have it because bd might not have been here when he was up so having that there is probably the only reason why bd knew he had a credit so i mean i guess theoretically i could put them over here just kind of a nice spot here especially when you know it's pretty much already sold out you don't really have to advertise it anymore because it's already kind of sold out but i guess to make a good point that could go there Jared says another royal pack and one Evo Sky. Okay, Jared, would you like to pick right or left? One more Evo Skies. We just got so many like energies and stuff on the table. I try to like keep things as separate as I can so I don't mix it up. Left. Okay, so take away the right. Evos. Zabdos! Holographic. Zabdos. Can you guys believe Evolving Skyboxes are at $700 now? Oh my god. Oh, 
Ooh, all right, and that's gonna be a tier one with the 151. Jared. I remember that, Christian. Yeah, bro, you got, I remember that. You got another suit of Wudo. I do not have a Phantom Forces box. I mean, I know where to find one. It's just not like a deal, though. The guy that's selling it, I know what he's asking for it. It's not a good price. But honestly, Mike, you're kind of picky with it. So I don't know if you're going to be able to find someone that's willing to, like, take photos, make sure it has no holes in it, this and that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. Nine sales. Which is not a problem. I totally get it. If it's a personal collection, you want it to be, like, nice and neat. But you're not going to find many people that are going to be willing to kind of do all that just for them to possibly like not buy it you know zatu especially big stores will definitely not do that new rev's gonna be a table for a long time honestly bro yeah i don't know if, if neo rev really takes that long to fill up maybe i'll just open it and you know, i get the people who have packs in it and i'll open it sell them as loose packs or something i don't know unweighed packs for the stream or something who knows i'll make it work Honestly, though, Christian, you and Corgi could tra probably trade. Trade a Sun Flora for a Sudowoodo if you want. I feel like you both would be okay with that. Yeah, see, Mike, I don't know the answer to that question. Is it in shape? I have no clue. I got no clue. Basa 2 is the way to go? Probably. Yeah, probably. Brennan says one spot in Kabutops. Okay, Brennan B on 39. One final spot to go. All right, yo, hey, Jared. Have an awesome rest of your night, dude. Have an awesome weekend. Thanks for stopping by, and thanks for all the orders tonight, too. Appreciate you. Bill says, using my credits, I'll take three spots in the Neo. Is there any way to get $100 back to me off my credit? Definitely would appreciate it. So, Bill, if you want a $100 refund from your credit, I can. The only problem is, is with PayPal, PayPal takes a 3% fee. So, if you want $100 back, you would only get $97 back because PayPal will never refund me that 3% fee they take from your purchase. So, if you want, Bill, I could do it, but you'd only get $97. So, if you want, Bill, that's okay with me. Just gotta let me know, alright? If you want a refund, you can always get it. Uh, you just don't get refunded the processing fee because that does not get refunded to me. I'll do Okay, sounds good. All right, cool. So, Bill, let me actually just pull up your thing real quick. And then, Bill, I'll have the $100 refund sent to you right now. Or, sorry, $97 refund sent to you right now. Gotta find that order from yesterday. And then, Bill, you're gonna have a hundred dollars left on your credit, okay, Bill? Uh, right, so Mike, that's what I'm saying, is I have no way to know if the box is mint. And the place that I know that's selling it, they're not gonna care enough to respond to an email asking for photos of it. So I have no way to guarantee that to you, so I'll just say I, I can't help you at that point, I don't think. Unless I find someone on, like, Facebook. Or the place where I know they're selling it, it's not a Facebook, dude, it's a store. It's an actual store. Alrighty, so Bill, you are all set. We refunded you $97. And let me also go mark that down over here because I need to know that for tax purposes because refunds are still, even if you refund a transaction, it still shows up in your 1099K. So you should keep track of your refunds because that number does not get removed in your 1099K for tax reasons. Alrighty, cool. So Bill, you are all set. You are left with a $100 credit. I've got you that refund sent. And you got three spots in Neo. Sounds good. Um, you know, that's a good question. I don't know if they re accept returns, actually. I don't think I've ever tried to return something to them. So I'm not actually sure. Sheesh, Bill. 
will be three spots on Neo Rev. All right, so Neo Rev's only got five spots left now too. Wow. Cool, Phil. Thanks so much. But I think their box, anyways, is way more than what you're wanting to pay for it. So probably not even worth looking into it, to be honest with you. Hector says, "Let me get ten vintage singles." Hector, so that's gonna be five from the front and five from the back. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right, Hector. Here we go. Mr. Fuji, recycle, energy search, recycle, fossil, energy search, horsey, 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 and we do get one hit in there. Uh, what were the numbers? Uh, Bill, I can show it to you. LEC weekend, dude, I haven't watched like any league in a very, very long time. Grab this one. All right, Hector, see what you got. Ooh, we got Wobbuffet from Neo 2, which then again leads us to the question of what is that? What is that on the Wobbuffet? Is that poop? Is that a Weedle? Is that a parasite? Is that a caterpie? What is what is that supposed to be? What do you guys think? That's a nice swirl on it too. Hector. Dookie, it's Weedle. Oh, you're a Yoss one trick? Alright, so you're going for that 0 and 7 power spike. Looking for that 0 7 power spike. Dominic is up. Whoa! Dominic with a $10 tip? Bro, Dom, you guys are being so nice to me, bro. We're getting a lot of gifted, a lot of tips, man. I appreciate you, man. Dom, thanks so much, dude. God damn, dude. Dawn says one English wings of a captain, one awakening the air. Let's grab a manga or something. Dawn, we've been trying, man. We've been trying. I can tell you that much. We've been trying hard. Okay, so both boxes are actually... At the same mark, they got two packs left in both. Okay. It's an egg. Yeah, right. So how can it be a dookie when it's got like a uh, an evil face on it? Oh my god, Matt. You're talking about the chocolate. I need chocolate episode. Oh, we got something. We got something. And we got a Pika. Not bad, Dom. That is a parallel. We'll take it. Pika. Well, dude, Dom, I appreciate you, man. I really do. Never, never require, never necessary, man. But I appreciate the fact that you're willing to do that for me. So I appreciate you, man. Vinsmoke Niji. Absalom. Done. Pika Pika de Gallo. Uh, Mango and Opio 7 is Boa. Opio, although Opio 7 is not out in English yet. Opio 6 is out in English, and this one's Zoro. Opio 7 is still only Japanese till it comes out in English. Done. Angry little turd. I can't help it. Yo, this song's actually a bopper, guys. I think it is. Christian sets the grading fee and five dollars for the shipping. Ooh, okay, dude, Christian, thanks. So, Christian, let me mark you down as paid for your submission. And that submission is all set, and everyone's paid up for it. Thanks so much. And Christian, you're all set. Thanks so much, brother. Tomu says, let me get one Paradox Rift Snipe. Tomu. 
Jake Paul canceled the fight. Did he really? What was the reason stated? Why'd he do it? Toad's cruel Sandy Shocks. He wanted to have a face? That's a good answer. <laughs> That's a good answer. He wanted to have a face. I mean, dude, I, I really started to hate Logan Paul. And I've been... Not that I like Jake Paul at all, but... My respect for him, or as far as the brothers go, has really... Just kind of moved towards Jake Paul. Like, Logan Paul's a scumbag. At least, at least not that I know, but at least Jake Paul's not out here scamming people. So there's that. I maybe he has. Maybe I never heard about it. If you guys know anything about Jake Paul and any scams, let me know. Hey, this is the Vine days. I can totally understand that, dude. You know, the, man, like, there's so many people that kind of, like, got into the whole, like, Vine, TikTok, dancing type of content. It's like, what the hell? Antonio says Royal Pack number one. Okay, Antonio, here it is. Antonio. Ooh, nice. Generations out of the Royal Five, Antonio. Nice. Jake Paul also scams the rest of the family. I would believe it. I would believe it. I haven't heard of anything with him scamming people, but I would believe it. Right, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree, and they're both apples of the same tree. Yeah, we're getting a lot of zero twos, man. This is nice. But Antonio, of course, you know the, the question here. Do you want to open it or like a mail to you sealed? Yeah, OPO7 just has one manga, right? OPO5 has three, but OPO7 has one manga and they have God Packs too, apparently. Oh, nice. He says we can open it as well. Sheesh. Charmander. Okay, so nothing too crazy out of the regular packs. So hopefully the Generations is really, really nice for us. Here we go. Now, I would say my favorite card in Generations would probably be the Pikachu Full Art. So that would be the card I hope we can pull for you. Not really Patrick here. Pettis. Energy. Geodude. Tangela. Diglett for the reverse. Oh! Oh, what a cute one. The Sylveon EX. Oh, bro. That's so cute, man. Nice. What else we got? For Pinsir, one more. And Chikorita from the Radiant Collection. Nice. Yo, Trumpin! Yo, Trumpin, brother. Thanks so much for the gifty, homie. Nice. Sylveon is looking cute as heck, dude. I like it. Diglett. Uh, Bill, we only opened up seven packs. I would say the best pull we got out of our tops two packs were probably the clear-cut Bulba. We didn't get a Charizard or a Gengar. We didn't get a single Gengar, not even a non-holo. Antonio. Well, for whatever reason, we got a lot of, like, Ponytas. I feel like I saw Ponyta in like every pack. Matthew says two more spots in the deck break and four slab hitbox. Matthew C. So I've been watching some Temporal Forces being opened up, and I kind of like the set, man. I'm kind of liking it. What do you guys think about Temporal Forces? To be honest with you, I'm liking that Morty Trainer card or the Gengar the most. But I, I kind of like it. The Raikou, the Entei, the Suicune, SIRs, they're not bad. Four slab hitbox, Matthew. It's all right. 
One, two, three, four. Madhu, Snowrunt, Cherubi, Nose Pass. Oh, all right, Matthew. That is gonna be a pump. Matthew C. Joseph R. Says, so let me get one celebrations, one 151, and one obsidian. Okay, Joe, you got it. One to celebrate good times. And one 151. I need more tops two in my life. We're gonna be getting more. It's it's just really hard to acquire them, Antonio, in a fashion where the packs are actually gonna be good. So I gotta be very picky with it. Claydol. Claydol. Obsidian flying. I just want the, really, you're looking forward to the A specs? That's good to hear, I guess. I've heard the A specs are gonna be pretty pricey because they're gonna be very playable, I guess. So if anything, this set might do kind of well if the cards, like the singles are going for a lot. Ooh, a War Turtle. Nice. So that might be something to look at. You know, if we end up doing box battles with it, which I'm sure we will, there might be some A specs that come out that are like pretty valuable to kind of either Pad the gift, you know, pad the value of it or win the battles even. But I'm sure they won't be the top cards in the set, no way, right? Can I buy a whole box of OPO7 or is there a limit we can purchase? Uh, there is no limit. You can definitely buy a whole box, man, yeah. If you buy 24 packs, you'll get your own sealed box of it. Eric S3 OPO7. I sold my ramen so I can get a sweet mango. Gotta keep the couch for now. Wait. Eric, you're not a true fan, bro. You didn't really sell your couch? That means you're not dedicated enough, Eric. We all know Boa's only gonna come out for the really, really dedicated folks. Tisk, 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 Eric. I'm shaking my head right now. I thought you were giving it all up for the Boa. But it turns out you were lying, Eric. Rob. If you live in the US, it is $5 for shipping. Yep. If you live international, it could be upwards of 20 USD for shipping. But in the US, just five bucks. The Prime Catcher A Specs is $38 on pre-sale. Damn. Is it like you get one or two per box? That I haven't really paid attention. I've just been kind of seeing the cards. Cyber Judge and Wild Force Grommy. Yeah, I can see that, man. I, you know, I am kind of liking the SIRs for the Legendary Beasts. Brennan says last spot. Oh, baby. All right, so Brennan, you got 39 and 40. The PSA 9 Shining Kabu Tops is complete. Oh, there's one spot here that I missed. All right, I lied. I did not see that. There is one spot left, number 16. <laughs> number 16 is still there. Oops. Kevin E says spot 20 on the Neo. Kevin E. I go back to back. Oops. Someone said something is open. Okay, then maybe I just didn't see it. Ah, uh, okay, who is that? Trevor? TP? Yeah, Trev. If you want it, Trev, you got it. So no one sent for that gauntlet. I think Trevor has already claimed the last spot. Brennan B says five slab hitbox. Oh my god. All right, Brennan B. Here we go. Cynthium. Cynthium is on the other playlist. So Cynthium was a Spotify playlist. We're now using Epidemic Sounds. So I don't know if I could easily kind of put it on here. Brennan B. The 
Brennan! Brennan B, five slab hitbox. Derek is up next. Spot for the Neo Gauntlet. My name is Derek Morgan. Alrighty, Derek, you got it. So, Derek, you were on the Neo Rev Gauntlet. We'll put you on the next available number, which is 12. Thanks for joining up. Derek M O. Cool beans. Neo Rev, three spots left for Neo Rev. Pump, 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 pump. Yosh, 10 slabbies. Oh my god. I need to max win. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Ah, uh, Kabutops has one spot left, but I think someone did claim that last spot. Bro, Yosh. I saw an energy there. Shit. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, Yosh. Alright, I'll put this under Alex's name. So now you guys ship together. Wow. Wee doggy dog. PSA 10 ho ho from Neo Revelation. Which, good plug, that is a card that you can pull out of this box right here. This is the Japanese version. PSA 10 Neo Revelation ho ho hollow. Beautiful. Alrighty, Yosh picking up the ho ho. Justin D says three slab hitbox. Justin D, here we go. Ghastly, Ducklet, and Mindfu. Justin D with the Mindfu. Antonio, four slab hitbox, Antonio. Full Inks, Poliwag, Zorua, and a Love Disc. Antonio. Cue the Arnold, dude. We got it. We got a couple people that signed up for the hitbox real quick. Matthew says last round of the slab hitbox. Matthew. Sableye. Gliger. And a Gumi. Wow. Alright, after all those orders, after the hoe, I think we can finally play this. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym, or the most satisfying feeling you can get in the gym, is the pump. Let's say you train your biceps. Yeah, I guess I could have played the salt meme. I guess that's true too. Trevor got the last spot on the Kabu tops. Let's pick the winner. All right, let's do one quick final check through. I missed it the first time. Yep, there it is. That is full. All right, let's do it. ATF says WTF. Well, you don't like Arnold, man? You don't like Arnold? Although, you know, someone was asking earlier, I think it was Alex, which we can quickly do. Look at this. So this is Deoxys. And it's got the Latios, Latios Gold Star. I guess Rayquaza is not showing up because it's so expensive. It doesn't have a price. Is it at the end? I don't know where the hell it is on this price guy, but Rayquaza is in that set. Where's the Rayquaza? Why is there no Rayquaza on the set list? Am I crazy? There's definitely a, there's definitely Rayquaza Gold Star Deoxys. So why is it not here? Hmm. Why is it not there? Yeah, it's not there. Oh. 
Okay, so it is in the Hawks. It's just not showing up on the price guide, which is weird. But yeah, that right there is the chase card on Deoxys. Not to mention the Ladias Adios, the regular EXs as well, but that is like the biggest card in Deoxys by far. All right, but anyways, let's get it ready. Let's pick a winner here. I just got to do list of numbers. Alrighty guys, here we go. Three, two, one, shining kabutops. That is 14, which is bro, bro, this guy, Matthew C is the luckiest person I've ever met. If you guys don't know, he pulled a Shining Kabutops in our Neo Destiny box break in English, and now he picks up the nine Japanese. Oh my god, bro. Matthew, you are going crazy, my guy. Look at that. 950 price tag. Alright, so Matthew wins a or picks up the Shining Kyle PSA 9. Everyone else on the list picks up an energy card. Wee! Beautiful! Gotta love it. $25 energy card. It's the best deal on the block. Our next lab going up is a PSA 10 Game Boy Dragonite promo with a beautiful swirl on it out of 20 spots. And there we go. So that is the next slab gauntlet that is going up. Game Boy D Knight. All right, we got Nicholas Y. He's going back in with two slab hitbox. Nicholas Y. Yeah, if you want the energy, let me know. I got plenty. We got plenty of energies to go around. Just let me know if you want it. All right, Nick Y. Nick really wants an energy in here. Oof, Nicholas. Trevor P. This is five slab hitbox. Trevor P. Clefairy. Lick a tongue. Slugma. Mareep. Trevor. Trevor. Hathim. This is let me get five rebirth as we're lane. Hathim. Yeah, dude, you got an English and in Japanese. And if you pulled it fresh out of a box break, that English one will probably at least grade a 9 or a 10. So you pretty much have both. Pushing 200? <clears throat> I didn't say that. I did not say that. I will not confirm nor deny that. But at them, let's get you the promo. You also ordered five of them. Let's grab you five. Okay, at them, here we go. 
So yeah, apparently one sign card for three cases for this set, which I did not know about, <laughs> but I, oh, this might be one of the stamp ones. That actually might be huge. Hussim. New Jersey and Enterprise? <laughs> you know I'm like that, huh? Yeah, Azulano is a nice set, man. It is still a pretty good set. And we got a Chibi for the promo. Hit them. The Chibi. Damn, bro. The Q is pretty much just all hitboxes <laughs> at this point. Oh, my God. That stamp is 50 plus? Oh, nice. Yeah, I had a feeling this was a stamp card. Because I think I saw this. But yeah, that's nice. I don't know what the pull rates really are for the stamp cards. I've heard the sign cards are one in three cases, which is absurd. Stamps, I don't know what the pull rates on those are, though. Antonio, three slab hitbox. Antonio. Gumi. Binacle. Snover. Snover. Antonio. Kevin E. to spot 18 on the D Knights. Kevin E. Yeah, dude, and that's one in three cases. Logan H. Five slab hitbox. Logan H. So that, that is pretty ridiculous. I think there's like 32 boxes per case, if I'm not mistaken, as well. There are only 10 pack boxes, too. Logan! Andrew D. 10 slab hitbox? Oh my god, you guys are going wild, bro. This is crazy, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Andrew D. Porygon. Roselia. Inkay. Is that 100%? Like, is that information 100%? I don't know. I just kind of did a quick Google search and some guy on Reddit was saying that. So he could be wrong, but I couldn't really find much data on it, to be honest. Wow. Andrew D. Oh my god, Andrew D. Jose says, can I get five slab hitbox and seven and 11 on Dragonite? Alrighty, Jose, you're up next. Seven and 11. All right, Jose, you got it. 7-11. Let's see how you do on the hitbox. I know you mentioned um, growing your brand would be hard, but have you thought of opening a marketplace where people can buy and sell for Pokemon cards with a fraction of the fees compared to eBay? Well, Mike, that's kind of what our Discord is. That's kind of what our Discord really is. And uh, we don't really take any commission out of it at all. So it's just a free thing that we do, our Discord. You can go there, buy, sell, trade, find your own buys. We just advise people to make sure that if you are buying through Discord, to make sure you're using like goods and services or something where you can protect yourself in case the person is a scammer. I guess for your idea, it would be more so like a middleman service, right? Kind of like, I guess like very swap is one that kind of comes to mind. Joseph R says one brilliant stars, one Paldean fate. So I guess, I guess what is kind of like that. It's kind of like a middleman service. I guess is what that kind of reminds you of, like a middleman service. But a website. Hmm. 
come to because I know there's a lot of businesses out there nowadays that are just consignment so you send them your stuff and they sell it for you um I'm trying to think I feel like there I feel like there's already a lot of people in the space that kind of do that oh Pidgeots well I can think of at least like two companies that kind of just have a website but it's mostly for them it's mostly about trading not really selling so as far as the selling goes as far as the selling goes, I guess the worry then is that, um, like, how would I compete with, like, eBay? You know what I mean? Because eBay is, everyone knows eBay. They spend millions of dollars every year in advertising, whereas I couldn't spend much on advertising, if any. Can I switch out the hitbox? Of course not. Yeah, so the hitbox orders are non-changeable, non-swappable, non-refundable. If you order the hitbox, you're locked in for it. Adam M says, let me get a Royal 5 pack. Adam. All right, Adam, would you like to pick a number? One to five for your royal pack, Adam M. I was kidding. Oh, no, Adam, I know you were kidding. I just wanted to say it out loud for people that might not have actually known that. One, okay. I mean, to compete with eBay, all you need to do is make a fee like 2%, not 30% as a seller. So as far as eBay goes, um, I think eBay is only 10%. That 3% is PayPal, which you can't really do much about. So like, let's just say we did like a 3% fee, it'd be 6% because eBay is three themselves. Uh, but then again, but that's the problem too. It's like, even if, even if the fees are less, you still got to have people on, you have to have eyeballs on your site, you know? If you're not having anybody looking to buy on your site, then you know no one's gonna want to use it. Tier one, Paldean face. But I, I totally get the concept. It's not necessarily terrible. I think. Oh, and a Quaquaval S I R. Nice. I just think it'd be a pretty hard endeavor to get into. I guess, but I see ya. Because I guess the question would be is like, if, if, you know, let's say like you sell a slab for hundred bucks on eBay and they take 30% and then you got to ship it, but then you sell one on my platform and it's 6% fee, um, you would definitely be saving, you know, like six bucks or whatever. But the question is, is how, how often does it sell? You might be willing to pay $6 more if your item will sell quicker than on my website or whatever my platform. Wimpod. Comsy.com. I've heard of that, but honestly, I don't really know what that is. I know I've seen, I think I've seen those those listings for Comsy on eBay. So if I'm not mistaken, that might just be like a, I don't know, kind of like maybe like a consignment thing too. I have actually, I don't actually know exactly what that is, to be honest with you. Yeah, right. Sauger Bay. We'll be, we'll be the next Pirate Bay. Out of it. You go to it and check it out. Take down the listing. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's tough. Like I said, I feel like if you're one person that's kind of conscious about the fees with eBay, you're most likely just going to try to sell on social media and not have to pay any fee. Matthew C says three slab hitbox. Matthew C. One, two, three. Like Napster? Matthew C. Matt, I was getting scared there, bro. You've been on fire tonight. I was expecting to snipe it. Joey D says three. Slab hitbox. Joey D. Ghastly. Litleo. And Ducklet. Joey D. The pump continues. Choo choo. Dominic's it's gonna get 11 on D night Dominic 11 is gone you want a different number Dom 11 is gone everyone wants 11 for some reason Brent asked for 11 as well bro what is going on 
All right, so Dominic, Brent, I owe you guys both a spot. I think Brent said two, right, Brent? Feel free to confirm. Dom says number eight. And Brent, you said number two, right? Two? Okay, perfect. You got it. Bro, everybody wants 11. What's up with that? What's up with 11? Is there a secret I don't know about? Why does everyone want 11? Okay, but you guys are both all set. Bill says, use my credit for three slab hitbox. Bill B. All right, cool, Bill. You got $7 left in credit. And let's get you your order. Three slab hitbox. One, two, three. No offense. Oh my god, Bill B. Striking at the perfect time. Oh my god. Oh my god. But no, Trumpet does raise a good point. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly busy as it is just trying to run this stream every day. And pack orders and order stuff. So that's true. If it's, a, if it's an endeavor, that's going to be a really hard one. Generally, rather not start and kind of go half-ass on it. You know what I mean? All right, Bill B. Oh, PSA 10 Pikachu from the Radiant Collection. So, Bill, that is a really, really nice and expensive slab that you just got there. Pikachu, PSA 10 from the Radiant Collection. Pretty cute. Bill always wins. If you play a lot, you win a lot, I guess. Bill B with the Pikachu. Logan H is up next. This is five slab hitbox. Logan H. Logan says, just pump me. You never know, Logan. Sometimes they're not always like, you know, $100 slabs in it. There can be some cheaper ones too. Oh, Logan. <laughs> I'm sorry, Logan. He said, just pump me. Will says, two slab hitbox. Logan said, just pump me, man. Get it over with. Bill, two slab hitbox. Brennan B says, 10 slab. Yo, you guys are crazy. This is nuts. Brennan B, 10 slab hitbox. How many you got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Me looking at my junk slabs feeling sad. Hey, man. Not, not every slab is a... Oh! Okay, Brennan B, you got something. Spirit 2. Okay, Brent, let's take a look. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, that's a beauty. PSA 10 Vending Series Articuno. Bro, that is such a nice card, man. PSA 10 Vending Articuno. What a beauty. What a beauty. That is from Vending Series. Which, if you guys don't know Vending Series, check this out. Can it know? It can't be peeled anymore. It was already peeled. Uh, but that's where these came from. So I have Vending Series 1 and Vending Series 3. I don't actually have Vending Series 2, unfortunately, which is where that one came from. And this one I gotta redo. Uh, but I do have a couple complete sets of Vending Series. Here's 1, here's 3. 2 is like the one that's like kind of hard to find. So 2 is really nice, but this is where these came from. Essentially, you just peel them right off this. So that's the Articuno was on one of these sheets for Series 2. So I do have a couple of full sets of them. John B is up next, and John, he wanted three slab hitbox and shipping. I think that's what he said. Yep, perfect. So John B, three slab hitbox and your shipping. 
One, two, three. So the gentleman just marked down here, $20 shipping paid. And we'll get into your hitboxes. Yeah, the poker deck is still ongoing. Yeah, this round doesn't seem to be as full. It is still ongoing. All right, John B. Milsery. Cub Chew. Oh, John, you do get something, man. John B., you do get something. Okay, so John, not like super high end, but at least you got something for your cash. And you actually got two slabs. That is gonna be Merlin 9 on the Ivysaur and Tops Foil 8 for the Venusaur. So just missing a Bulbasaur there. But honestly, for 30 bucks in, that is not bad. Not the high-end slabs, but still pretty cool. Some stocking stuffers, if you will. So it's kind of nice. I was able to kind of mix the two together, you know, kind of make them. Sunfan says one slab hitbox. <laughs> Sunfan. Shove it. Sunfan with the pump. BD Kicks has used my credit to give me spot three on the Dragonite. Alrighty, BD, you got it. So this is pretty much just spiraled out of control and has become a hitbox stream, essentially. Nicholas Y, two slab pumps. Let's let it go in again. Nick Y. Seal. And Bidoof. Everyone was thinking something was going to pop in like a 50. Alex M, three slab hitbox. Alex M. Machop. Roselia. And C Dots. Alex M. Uh, what's up, Brennan? Um, I could check for you, Brennan. I'm not 100% sure. I have to check for you. Adam M says, let me get a Royal 5 pack. Adam M. So Adam, let me know, do you want to pick a number one to four? And then Brian, let me just take a look on your orders compared to when we shipped you so I can let you know. Well, what's up, Sun fan? How you doing? I think last time we spoke, you said you were in, I think you said you were in Bangkok, right? Bangkok. Okay, so Brendan, it does not look like you paid shipping. Well, there's a lot of orders. I'm trying to go through it. We shipped you there. You got one pack hitbox. One spot in the gauntlet. Yeah, these all seem to be like spots. So I don't think the shipping was paid on these. Number two. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so Brendan, I don't think so. There's honestly a lot of small orders, so it's hard to kind of go through all them. But on the surface, it doesn't look like it. They all seem to be like 25, 50 bucks, which indicates probably exact amounts for like gauntlet spots. Adam. Oh, all right. Tier one, Paldean Fates. So how was the wedding? I've never been to Bangkok. Although I, I can't particularly say that I've ever been like, oh, I really want to go to Bangkok. But how is it? Is it a good place? Soul Rock. Hey bro, I sent payments separately. Can we open them at the same time? <clears throat> ah, yeah, Billy. You're actually your two orders are back to back, so we'll open them together. Yeah, sure thing. The queue is not that bad, and there's like four orders in the queue, so we'll open yours up together for sure. Gimme ghoul, come on. What was nice? Oh, oh, do we get something? 
Oh, no way. Adam. Adam. And you grab a penny. Nice, bro. Out of a tier one. Nice. That is good to see. Penny. Van cooked. Boa hand cooked. Should I buy some One Piece or some Volk tonight? <laughs> Dude, we're on, we're on freaking case 10. Case number 10 for One Piece. It's disgusting, man. Adam man. We'll take it. Tier 1 and we grab a penny. That's not bad in my books. Dylan C says five slab hitbox. Dylan. One, two, three, four, five. All right, Dylan C, here we go. Clink. Rock rough. Turtwig. Shinx. <clears throat> Dylan. Houston, we have a problem. Maximil, yo, Max, what's up? Max is 10 slab hitbox. Oh my god, bro. You guys are still going at it. Oh my god. Animals, I tell you. Hey Andrew, what's up, brother? How you doing, bro? You ready for you ready for spring, I guess? Ready for it to be kind of warm around here finally? Piplup. Halucha. Shroomish. Gibble. Come on. Whoa, Max. Uh, Max? Down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor's salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. And you breathe that in, and you can constantly taste the salt. All right, Max, that was, well, that was a pump. I'm sorry, Max. Billy says legendary treasures. Ooh, Billy. All right, Billy, what should we got? Also, I opened up a flash fire blister and realized I overcounted, so I just threw it in here, but that came from a blister. All right, Billy, do you want to pick a number? One to five. Billy, yes. One to five for legendary treasures. And he's also picking up five. One, two, three, four, five of the 151. Billy. Billy Jean is not my lover. And this is go number four. Um, the gauntlets are the Ruby Sapphire Blister out of 20 spots. A Neo Rev spot that has three spots left. That's for the box break. And then a PSA 10 Game Boy Dragonite out of 20 spots. That's this copy right here. Billy says three. Okay. This one. Oh, Billy. This is a nice order, Billy. Let's do it, man. I'm excited. Is the queue down? I don't think the queue is down. It was working earlier when I checked. I don't think it's down. Uh, what's up, Aaron? So, Aaron, the queue's not that bad. We got, like, three, four orders in the queue. Uh, there's also a link at the top of the description that shows you the queue, too. So, you click that link, I bring you to the website, and I'll show you the list of people in line. If not for property tax, I'd be all up in those gauntlets. <laughs> I'd be all up in those guts. Billy. But Billy Jean, not my love. Man, you know, I've been thinking a lot about the, um... So on Pokemon Day, remember, Pokemon put out that, like, whole video about all the stuff coming up. And what do you guys think about that new online Pokemon card game they're making? The digital version? I wonder if it's gonna be, like, 
you know, like you buy virtual packs, or it's not gonna be like that at all. Venusaur. Because imagine if Pokemon starts making like digital packs, you can just buy right on the spot and rip them. I don't know, man. That might. I don't know. I, I personally like the physical cards, but there definitely are some people that would probably rather it all have be digital. So kind of a weird concept. All right, and black and white legendary treasures, Billy. I assume that this thing is Master Duel. Yeah, I mean, it definitely could be, right? Because Master Duel, you buy the packs, too. Okay, there really is no pack tricks. Let's just go down it. All right, come on, baby. Show me a gold or show me a full art radiant. Mew or Pikachu. We saw a Pikachu slab come out of the hitbox earlier tonight. This is the set it comes from. Zorua. Piplup. Swaddle. Meloetta Reverse Rare. Seismitoad, non hollow rare. Our Radiant, come on. Oh, not bad, man. That is going to be an Eevee. A very cute one. And a Servine, also from the Radiant Collection. Yo, for real, I felt this way about Blu ray. I spent a ton of money on steel books thinking it'd be around forever. Joke's on me. Yeah, that's the thing, right? So sometimes, you know, society and the world moves in a different, you know, more. But to be frank, you know, everything becoming digital, like even with video games, right? That's a big controversy in video games nowadays, is everything's now digitalized. Physical video games are becoming less and less popular, and nothing's better than having a digital game or a physical game, man. You own the disc. If something happens, you could sell your disc. You can't be banned from it. You have the disc. You buy a digital copy of a game on Switch and your account gets banned, you lose all your games. Or you like lose your account information, you lose all your games. Billy! All right, Billy, that was not bad, man. That was not bad, Billy. Ha, ah, Billy says I should've went with two. You should've listened to Andrew, man. And I guess now you can make the same argument about cars, right? Cars are becoming more and more electric. And, you know, with an electric car, Tesla can just shut your car down. Like, if they want to, they can go beep beep in their system and your car can no longer drive. They can shut it down. Brennan B, two slab hitbox. And if you have a Tesla and it breaks down, there's like no chance you're going to be able to fix that yourself. How many of you guys know how to fix a car that runs on a battery? You could probably work on an engine a little bit, you know, change oil, do the regular stuff, windshield stuff, easy stuff, but, you know, electric cars is going to be a lot harder. Brennan B. With the pseudo Wudo pump. Just jailbreak your Tesla? Juicy B. Five slab hitbox. Bro, you guys are about to sell this box out tonight. What the F? All right, Juicy. Juicy J Productions. Juicy! Can you make it juicy for me? Mo says one slab hitbox and a royal five pack. Alrighty, Mo, would you like to pick a number? One to three. In the meantime, let's see what you got. Pet Lily. People took experimental drugs from the government. Tesla isn't my biggest concern. Oh, you're talking about the vaccine? <laughs> you're talking about the vaccine? All right, so Mo goes number two. Does anyone remember the SNES and N64 emulators that you could install on your PC? I used to be heavy on them back in the day. Oh, all right, Mo, tier one. So if you guys don't know what the Royal Five Packs are, essentially it's all Scarlet and Violet Era stuff. If you get a tier one, you get a 151 or a Paldean Fates. If you get a tier two, which is one in five, so 100 made, 20 of them have a tier two in it, uh, you'll be getting a more expensive pack in it. But it is about a 20% uh, chance you pull it. 80% chance you pull a tier one.
Soccer's got the inside knowledge from the farm industry? Not as much as you would think, man. Not as much as you'd think. Todos. Although, to be honest, at one point in my life, I thought about being an MSL. Be like a drug company rep. I've gone to so many presentations held by MSLs, it's crazy. So I can pick up UFC cards. So the problem with me in sports cards is, is I don't know. I don't know what kind of sports people want. So I need some suggestions for sets because I know nothing about it. So when I look at like UFC sets, there's all sorts of sets, all different years of sets. And I don't have enough knowledge to know like what people want to open because I have no I have no knowledge about it at all actually. I just bought a six hundred dollar football. Wow. I I saw today actually that apparently they're releasing this Marilyn Monroe collection. So it's like a sports s type of box, and it's coming out with old Marilyn Monroe cards. You don't have a PhD? I don't have a PhD. I have a doctorate. I have a doctorate. Which actually technically means I'm a doctor. <laughs> technically speaking. So no, not a PhD. I have a farm D, which is a doctrine. A doctorate. Mo! Oh my god, Mo. Toros and Kafarigas. My cat said you're gonna pull a Mew? Could be a huge opportunity. No, Mike, I totally get it, man. I, I guess the real problem is is the amount of effort it takes to kind of build that is a lot. And I'm not necessarily like 100% free to do all that. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not a bad idea. Don't get me wrong. Ronnie says Neo Rev. Ronnie on 16. You know, there's a channel out there that's called Pokey Pharmacy. And honestly, I just love watching his videos because he just reminds me kind of of myself. Nicholas Y. Two slab hitbox. Nicholas Y. Nick. Nickelodeon. Double pump. Double pump. Nelson to sign me in for the poker deck break. Nelson. I can't wait till some poor forces in, man. Hopefully Monday we'll have a new set. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 19. So there's still a pretty decent amount of spots left. 19 spots left in the poker break. Brennan B says one slab hitbox. Brennan B just testing the waters there. Pokey Pharmacy landed on my algorithm. Counting pills and making deals. <laughs> Kaylin says two vintage singles. Kaylin. One. And two. Oh, nice, Caitlin. Picking up a graveler. Nice. Okay, and then Caitlin, you also got a hit too, so let's grab you that hollow box. Let's see what you got. Let's grab you one at. Uh, that wasn't really random. Just stick my finger in there at a random spot. We got this one. Oh my god, Caitlin! Dude. Fooft. That is nice. Caitlin C. Beautiful. You should do pack openings of just opening packs of random meds. Well, I don't work at the pharmacy anymore. This is stuff that I probably could have done back then. Um, and I know at least when I was still practicing, maybe my feed was a lot of that because, you know, that's what I was doing, but I used to get a lot of videos recommended to me, like in shorts and stuff of people just counting pills, just counting pills at the pharmacy and people loved it.
Okay, so Caitlin, I think you might have a bag over here then. Let's take a look. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Caitlin, what you got in here? I'm kind of curious. Got some of the Pokemon waifus. Zekrom. Got an ZR in there too. Greninja. Nice. Alright, so that was for Kalen. Two vintage hitbox. Sniping out a Dragonite. Pharmacy techs are underpaid. They help a lot of folks too. Oh, dude, pharmacy techs are a lifesaver because they, <laughs> they basically do all of it uh, for you, right? They count all the pills and you just have to verify it. As well, especially where I was working, we used to do a lot of blister packaging. So uh, oftentimes, especially for like older homes, old people homes, uh, you know, a lot of times they have a lot of medications and what you'll do is you'll make a blister pack for them. So that's like a, it's basically like a blister, like a Pokemon blister, but instead it's like all different little dots and they can pump you know, punch it out on Monday, and all their pills are right there. Punch it out on Tuesday, all their pills are right there. Punch it out on Wednesday. And usually you make that for like a whole month's supply. And bro, when I was an intern, I hated doing that. When I became a pharmacist, I was so happy I didn't have to do it anymore. Because the techs were doing it at that point. Adam M says, give away $25 credits towards Pokemon packs only. And it must be used tonight. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so Adam gifting a whole $25 credit to one lucky member. He said, caveat is you do got to use it tonight to open up something Pokemon. So I'm putting some stipulations in there. I was a brand, they'll probably be five with a discount on a whole box. So they'll probably be $4.50 if you buy a whole box, five just for an individual pack. I think that's what we did for the release of the last set, too. But I'm sure as time goes on and the boxes just only go down, I'll probably be to make them four again. But on release, the boxes are typically more than they usually are after like a month. So they'll probably be 450 for a whole box or five flat if you buy a couple. Damn, Adam, that is really kind of you. So to sign up for the giveaway tonight, simply make sure you are, one, a subscriber to the channel, two, make sure you've liked the stream tonight, three, gotta be a member, and then last but not least, put a BR in the chat. This giveaway is sponsored by Adam M. So if you enjoy the $25 chance, uh, make sure you guys give Adam a big smooch, a big heart in the chat, and thanks again, Adam, for your kind donation. Seventeen months equals seventeen free evolving sky packs. Well, <clears throat> let's just put it this way, Mike. Let's just put it this way. Do a do a quick little update here on evolving skies because this set's been going nutty. Big smooch for Adam. <clears throat> Um, excuse me. Evolving Skies at $700 a box on TCG Player. So 700 divided by 36 is $20. So Evolving Skies via Booster Box is $20 a pack now. And to give you 17 of them would be $330 worth of Evolving Sky Packs. <laughs> Which, and I think our membership is like $4, $3 a month. That would be a crazy program. That would be a crazy program. Oh, is that Palpang? What's up, Palpang? I haven't seen you in a long time, bro. Nice to see your name again. Yo, Trumpin! Dominic! Man, thank you guys both for the gifties. Congrats to those who might have got those. And, yo, BD! Welcome to the round table, BD. Thanks for doing your membership, man. All right, guys, here we go. All right, guys, good luck. 
if you win the $25 gift card, you can use that towards these $2,000 blisters. That only costs you $19.75 extra on top. Not a big deal, right? <laughs> Not a big deal. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll do like a three-person break on one of these or something. Unseen Forces is pretty nice. If I had to pick though between Power Keepers and Legend Makers, I think I would definitely go Power Keepers. Because I think Power Keepers, you can get the Gold Star Evolutions in it. And I think Legend Makers, you can get the Gold Star Regis. Although, maybe Alexam's in that too. No, Alexam's in Crystal Guardians. Yeah. Wait, can I see that new blister? How's the condition? Uh, not like super minty, but it's not terrible. I've seen worse, way worse. It's not too bad, actually. Yo, Jesse Jess 16. What the hell? I won? All right, so now we got to redo it. So if you just joined, so Jess, you're in luck because we have to redo it now. So Jess, you got a chance to sign in for this one too. So we're going to redo it. Can I trade you mine plus a few hundred bucks? It's the same exact product, just in worse shape. Um, we can talk about a sword and send me a message. We can talk about it. Is yours a blister or is it like a, a like the, the three value pack thing? Alright, so if you missed it the first time, all you gotta do is make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you like the stream tonight. Put a BR in the chat. Bag your Pokemon on the screen, getting your chance to win a $25 store credit that must be used tonight. Um, yeah, Soren, we could probably talk about it, Soren, for sure. Because ultimately, I'm assuming we're gonna probably open that, so wouldn't be a bad trade for me. Alrighty guys, here we go. Let's pick a new winner because I obviously cannot win the giveaway. That'd be kind of ridiculous. Royalty rigged it? <laughs> it's all rigged. It's all an illusion. It's all rigged. Also, Sun Fawn was next in the queue. He wanted a Neo spot. So, Sun Fan, you were on 21 with one spot remaining. Thanks, Sun Fan. You cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Uh, Hector, an update for the anime products. I did order more. Uh, probably won't get them in, though, until I'm back from the Dominican Republic. So we'll have more, but probably not until I'm back. Speaking of which, for those who missed it, uh, next week I am going to the Dominican Republic because I'm going for my cousin's wedding. They're having, like, a destination wedding at the DR. Hector! So for those who do have stuff with me and you want to get shipped out before I leave, I leave on Thursday next week. Just remember to request shipping if you want to get your stuff mailed out before I leave, okay? So this weekend and Wednesday are the last two shipping days. If you do really want to get shipped out before I leave, though, this weekend is your best bet. Because Wednesday is going to be crazy because Temporal Forces release will be that week. So I'm sure we're going to have a lot of stuff to ship that week. So if you do have stuff you want to get mailed out, best bet is to request shipping for this weekend. So you have no chance of being missed out. Because Wednesday I might not be able to finish everybody if it's a lot of shipping on Wednesday. All right, Hector, you got a $25 credit, Hector. I'll leave it up here because I think it does need to be used tonight. Brennan B, two slabby patties. Bro, these are still going? These are still going? Brennan! Cut my pizza into pieces. <laughs> Bill says two slab hitbox, two spots on the gauntlet. Ask me in chat which gauntlet and shipping. Okay, cool. Um, so Bill, which gauntlets would you like? We've got the Dragonite, the Ruby Sapphire Blister, sealed, 
and one spot left on Neo Rev. So Bill B. And then Bill, that is gonna use up the rest of your credit, okay, Bill? Need more Azure Lane? We're out of the Weiss Azure Lane, but I do have this, the Rebirth Azure Lane. Okay, cool. So, Bill, do you want both on Sapphire or one on Sapphire, one on Neo Rev? Let me know. I don't think anyone is in the queue for Neo Rev, so if you want to get the last spot, you can fill it up for us if you want. You cut my life into pieces. Cut my pizza into pieces. All right, so, Bill, I know for sure you said Ruby Sapphire, but I'm not sure if you want both or just one. What's up, Kata? Uh, that is not from any set. That's from a Game Boy promo. So, um, not this exact box. Not this exact box, but this is like an example. So this came, this will you will where you'll get the Squirtle and the Blastoise cards from the Bulbasaur Squirtle deck. These come from the... I'm pretty sure you got this with a Game Boy. So some, some sort of product like that. It's not actually from a pack or a set. It's a promo. Uh, okay, Bill. Perfect, man. So, Bill, you were on four over here, and Neo Rev is now full. Sweet. All right, and Bill, before I forget, too, you also got two slab hitbox on that order as well. Let's get those for you. Growl it. And Bonita. All right, so Bill, that was going to be a pump. However, Neo Rev is done. Let's see who wins. Yeah, Hidden Fates, Spanish pack. Yeah, that's a really nice product. I actually plan to open it pretty soon to send out the cards to PSA that's inside of it. Three, two, one for the Neo Rev. So I've got a couple stuff that I plan to open pretty soon that I'm going to be sending off to PSA. I'm probably going to open up a poker deck, send those cards off. Uh, a couple of the Neo File Binders. I got some more of the Lamina cards I'm going to send off. I got some Neo File Binders. What else? Ooh, lucky number seven. That's Jose! Jose D, number seven. Awesome. All right, so Jose, if you are watching, Jose, you are all set. I've added your name down to the list, and you got a pack in our Neo Revelation box break. Congrats on the win. I just got in a couple cards I got from you a couple years ago to PSA, hoping to get some time. So let's not tell. Hey, good luck, man. Good luck. If it's modern, I'm sure you got this. If it's vintage, I pray for you. Because PSA has been getting tougher and tougher on vintage, it feels like, over the years. Adam. Uh, Adam P. Pesuius. Adam P. Says one slab hitbox. Adam pushing P. All right, Adam. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> All right, Adam. Worth the shot. But Bergmite is going to be a pump. Logan H says, let me get my revenge. 10 slab hitbox. Bro, this is nuts. This is all we're doing, huh? This is literally the whole stream. Slab hitbox. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know, there used to be a time where all stream, we'd just be opening up packs. <clears throat> AKA like last night. Now we got hitbox night, which I guess is all right. It's kind of cool to switch it up. Logan. Ooh, Logan. I think there's your revenge. You got something. I got two tickets to Iron Maiden, baby. Ooh, all right, Logan. God damn, dude. All 
All right, Logan, this is a really nice one. At least I think so. Logan, are you ready? Bing! That is a shiny Voltorb from Stormfront PSA 10. Very nice. Now, this is one of the, you know, I mean, it depends. Sometimes the Japanese 10s are worth less than the English, usually. But sometimes the Japanese can be worth more than the English in the case of, like, the Shinings. So this is actually a really nice card. Shining Voltor PSA 10. That actually comes from Stormfront, which, funny enough. Which, funny enough. Funny enough, I have a whole box of English Stormfront still sealed. So this, of course, is the Japanese version, but I do have a box of the English that I thought I'd just show off, I guess. <laughs> thought I'd just show off, I guess. Nice. Logan catching a nice reprieve of revenge there, Logan. And just to show you, that was the hit. Voltorb. Brennan B, five slabbies. It's listed for 500 on eBay. Yeah, and I have mine. I have the price at 400, right? So when I price these out, you know, I try to use like a mix of what's sold, what's available, how often does it sell, was it an auction, was it a buy it now? And when I looked it up, I came to the conclusion that it should be worth 400 bucks. Oh. So yeah, it might be worth more than that. Yeah, definitely, it might be worth more than that. What does that say? That's three of them. <laughs> okay all right so brennan um kind of one of those weird ones where i just kind of put some stuff together but that's gonna be nido queen nine alakazam nine and you gordy and then here's the prices on them too so that's just all of it combined all right so brennan grabbing a smorgasbord of different slaps you gordy But, honestly, I think it's better to get three lower-end slabs than to just pump it again. So, in this case, I think this actually kind of works out in your favor. Low-key. Can we crack out the Gordy? What are the slabs you got for sale? I actually got a lot of them. Danny B, this is three, Peldean Fates. Oh, hey, Danny, what's up, dude? Danny, check this out, bro. I don't think you were here, Danny, but check this out. Last stream, Danny, the Tops Chrome ran, and you were the winner. So, Dan, I'm, I don't know if you saw this or not, but you got a Tops Chrome pack. These are worth $500. So, if you want to open it, Dan, we can. If you want it sealed, we can, too. You let me know. But three, Peldean Fates. So yeah, Billy, I can definitely show off the slabs. Just keep in mind, though, I don't have that many, like, cheap slabs. I have a lot of expensive slabs in stock right now. Gym Heroes with the Misty Arts. Um, you know, Joe, I don't think I do right now, but I actually bought a collection recently. I don't know if they'll be in before I go to DR or not, but I think I have one on the way. Uh, okay, Hector, sounds good. I'm going to have to squeeze you in, Hector. There's The queue's almost empty, so I'll squeeze you in right after the queues are done, all right? Judge. What is the mix? Uh, Hector, it is all Pokemon. Yeah, it's all Pokemon stuff. So no Yu-Gi-Oh, no, like, anime. It's all Pokemon slabs. All right, Dan, Tops Chrome. Oh, Dan might be second guessing himself. Dan, do you want to open it? I had some One Piece, a couple of them, but they actually already sold. I know the other one earlier sold, the Utah sold. Uh, so I don't have any more One Piece slabs. I think they've already sold. Bust that Chrome, man. 
So Dan, let me know. Are you sure you want to open it, or are you second guessing yourself? Ooh, okay. He says let's wait. Okay. All right, Dad. No problem. We're gonna squeeze that back into your bag. If you do want to open it, let me know. Bill, dude, you Bill, you made him second guess himself. Bill, what the heck? Okay, then Logan was the last order in the queue. He said for shipping. Sounds good, Logan. Thanks so much. And Logan, if you're ready, or if you are ready to ship out, Logan, just request shipping. And thanks again, the shipping cover there. Uh, so queue's empty. Hector wanted to use his credit for a Unagaba. Hector. Have any other rare vintage box besides Diamond and Pearl? Um, no. Although I might have a box. If you look in the Royal Shop, I might have one box left on consignment. That's a Platinum Base. So I'm not sure if you're interested in that or not, but I might have a Platinum Base that I have on consignment sealed right now. All right, Hector. Lighthouse Adios. I don't have any more of those left. No. I'll sh we're about to be empty with the queues. So I'll show off the slaps right after this. Low end price cards. No. No, negative on that, unfortunately. Hector. Umbi. Oh, okay. We got a Flareon. Hector with the Unagaba Flareon using up the credit. Kess is a raging alcoholic. Don't listen to him. <laughs> I don't know about raging, but he definitely might be an alcoholic. He might be. Okay, so that was it. The queue's empty. If anyone else doesn't want to order anything, the queue's wide open. Let it show off the slabs as well. There are spots still available in the poker deck break. That's 30 bucks. All right, so let's see what I got. I really ought to be putting the prices on the front, but for the occasions where they end up going to the slab box or the hitbox and like that, it's nicer to have them on the back, I think. There's a PSA 10 Blaziken. PSA 10 Fossil Gengar. PSA 10 Base Set Venusaur. PSA 10 Web Magikarp First Edition. So like I said, I, I have a lot of heavy slabs, not too many low-end low slabs. Not bad, 135. That's not a bad slab, honestly. PSA 10 Japanese Expedition Weezing. Kind of nice. We got a really derpy web slowpoke from 2001. He's like, are you talking to me, fool? Are you talking to me? PSA 9 Base Set 2 Blastoise. PSA 9, base set 2, Venusaur, way cheaper than the Blastoise. Oh, beautiful card. PSA 10, Mysterious Mountains Arcanine. Beautiful. CD promo, Venusaur. As a 10. Level X, G, that's Team Galactic's Charizard. 350 and a 10. Oh, PSA 10, Aquapolis Steelix. Beautiful. 10 on the Espeon from Fusion Strike. 10 for the Special Delivery Charizard. 225. Red's Challenge. Full Art Trainer from Tag Team All Stars. PSA 10 Base Set Zapdos. That's not that crazy, honestly. 425 for a base set. That's nuts. That's like less than a pack cost. <laughs> That's nuts. PSA 10 Rockets Tyranitar. PSA 10 Charizard VMAX. Beautiful Shining Mew. In a 10. Yo, hey Dan, regardless of what people are saying, man, it's your pack. If you want to open it, we can. If you want to keep it sealed, brother, you can. Because, you know, obviously, like I said, it's a gamble. If you open it and you get a Charizard Techno, you're going to be rich as hell. 
you open it and get no insert, you're going to be pretty sad because that's a $500 pack. But obviously, you don't know what's going to happen until you open it. So it's up to you, but don't feel like you got to be pressured into doing it by the chat. That's the last thing I want you to think. Don't feel like you got to open it if you want to keep it sealed, okay? But I'm happy to open it if you want. PSA 10 Japanese Base Zapdos. Iron Hands 10? That's actually like a brand new card. 120, okay. Probably go down, honestly. PSA 9 Shining Mewtwo. 1.5k over a rack. PSA 10 Old Dark Rayquaza. That's 500, 5 bands. And a PSA 10 Reverse Hollow Charizard from Evolutions. Well, there you go. So there you go. That is all of the slabs that I got priced out. Damn, Danny. Oh my God, Danny B. All right, guys, this is crazy. All right. You guys, no, this is a crazy opening. These go for about $500. We are, the, and the odds of us pulling a Techno are pretty slim. But let's recap it here together real quick. So, Spectras are 1 in 2, Sparkles are 1 in 10, and Technos are 1 in 15 packs. However, if we do pull a Techno Charizard, any starter, those, I think the Techno Charizard... Don't quote me on this, but it's like a $20,000 card in a 10, something crazy like that. Oh, if we can do it tonight, that would be amazing. Here we go, guys. Come on, baby. All right, let's now look at the back, because the back will spoil if we got an insert or not. Honestly, this pack's already ripping. Let's just rip it the whole way. Ooh, I do see like a fire type, I think. Okay, so Nidoran. Come on, Charizard. Oh, not bad. Regular Nine Tails. Okay, that I'm actually happy to see. Clefable. Come on, show me a starter. Pidgeot. Okay, and the insert. Come on, Techno Sparkle Spectra. And oh, it's a Vile Plume. I actually do like Vile Plume. Is it an insert? It is not an insert. Okay, so we'll still take it though. So no insert there. So no Spectra, no Techno, no Sparkle. But I will say the Nine Tails. The Ninetales is probably one of my favorite cards. That's not bad at all, the Ninetales. Vile Blue. Pidgeot! Alright, so dude, Dan, thanks for letting us open that, man. I appreciate letting us actually see what's inside that pack there. Cool Fable. And hopefully these grade pretty well for you. I know it kind of seemed like they were sticky. They, they kind of are, right? Because the, the mat on these cards are crazy. But those packs came out of this. Those packs came from our box break. So we sold most of the packs. I think we had, what, like three left over? Yeah, I got two left. So these all did come from a box break. So these packs are in really good shape. But you're never going to really get around the whole stickiness just because... Uh, you know, these are all really, really glossy. You can probably tell. These are really glossy. But kind of crazy. I got two tops chrome left, and I'm fully sold out of them. Which kind of sucks. I just like having chrome. It's like chrome's just a cool item to have available. Danny B. Alright, so Dan, thanks for us open that. I can see in the queue Giovanni. Giovanni has a crazy, crazy expensive order coming up pretty soon. So if you guys like vintage, stick around. There's got a nice one coming up. 
Speaking of vintage, Dylan C says 10 of the vintage singles. So Dylan, that's going to be five from the front and five from the back. The Red Closet was $400 yesterday. You're talking about the PSA 10? It's possible, but they're not necessarily completely up to date, but I looked up those prices probably like a week ago now, maybe less. So I would say those are pretty up to date. Graveler. Graveler. What a see. And evolved into Cedra. And the other thing too is, you know, if you look at like an auction versus a buy it now, I try to price mine stuff off of buy it now solds, not auctions. Because auctions are always going to sell for cheaper. Auctions are when people really need money for their items. I don't really need to sell it. So I try to sell them for the buy it now solds. Mysterious Fossil. But it is very possible that it could be out of date compared to when I last checked it. It's not like those things are updated freshly every single day. Dylan! Oh my god, Dylan! I have a question for the god. Why? <laughs> say my name, say my name. So sometimes it works in your favor, sometimes it doesn't. But, I mean, I can't price check every single card every single day, so. Eric S. 3 OP07. Eric S. And actually, Eric, I think we need a new box. Yep. Yep, we do. Yeah, the vintage hitbox is definitely dwindling. Uh, is, well, if anything, we're just shuffling it even more. So there's that. Not, not a bad thing. So, uh, yeah, that's all we got left. That's all we got left for the vintage singles. Alrighty, Eric, here we go. Three, OP07. If anyone is interested in a um, the poker deck break, spots are still available at 30 bucks. I just can't wait, man. Temporal Forces. Ooh, nice. Big up the Bow SR. And the Wink Hollow Event. Eric is. Yeah, we probably will. So wait, Temporal Forces comes out Friday though, right? Technically, it's released Friday, right? So we could try to do battles. The real problem is though, man, is like with the battles, when it's not officially out, we don't have a good price guide to use. Because that kind of happened with the last set, right? Peldean Fates, I think. Jamie says five on the Game Boy Dragonites. Jamie. Awesome, Jamie. Thanks for signing up. What's the poker deck things? Uh, so that is the poker deck break. By signing up for it, you'll get two cards out of the deck at random. I'm just going to use John's bag because it's right next to me. The cards look something like this. So in the last one we did, he joined. He got the Slow King and the Cleffa. So these are what the cards kind of look like. Are right, you out of case? Damn, John, you got those hella early, man. You got some connects. You got some secret connects. Oh my god, Giovanni. Giovanni. Oh my god. Now that one I wouldn't sell to you because that one's probably damaged. So three gym challenge left, Geo. Do you want to pick a number one to three for the gym challenge? Rockets were running kind of low on two, but we got two, four, six, eight, nine. I got two, four, four, seven, two weeks ago. What? 
I guess having a distributor really helps with that, man. Two weeks ago? Do you think you get in trouble selling it early or like, no? Three and seven. Oh, wow. All right, Gio Juani. Gio, do you want to open both up? If yes, let me know. Do you want to do it in any particular order? Uh, I think we should save Gym Challenge for last, personally. He says, yeah. All right. All right, so Giovanni ordering a Japanese rocket and a Japanese gym challenge. And I love these sets because you're guaranteed a hollow in every pack. So worst case scenario, I guess you just get like a bad hollow, but at least you get a hollow. I'm like English, unlike the English sets where you could just get a non hollow rare anyways. Okay, so with these Japanese packs, the hollows are right here on the front. So let's pop that puppy out and sleeve it up. Always use protection. Oh, nice. All right, so you got Charmander, Rattata, Dark Jolteon's pretty solid, Persian, Slowpoke, Dark Dragonair, Zubat, Eevee. Kadabra. Kadabra. Okay. Come on. Show me Zard, Blastoise, Dragonite. We got. Oh, not bad. Dark Alakazam with a swirl. Nice. All right, I am digging that. That is actually really dope. That is a dark Alakazam with a really, really nice swirl on it. I remember buying a Japanese rocket pack of someone locally for 75 bucks about a year back, and I flipped it for 250. That's crazy. I mean, sometimes you can find people that just don't know the value of their item, I guess, but that's that's pretty lucky find. Especially a year back, because even a year back, these are going for a ton. Maybe like four years ago, you could get these for 75 bucks. But a year ago, these are definitely still way more than that. You got Kadabra in there too. All right. Geo, my favorite Japanese set that I have on the menu. Gym Challenge. There is a plethora of different band cards that we can actually get out of this pack on top of a huge selection of really nice hollows. All right, here we go. So again, the hollow will always be on the front, which, you know, kind of is like a poor design because if a pack's gonna get damaged, you'd assume the front and the back card is the one that'll be damaged first. So having it on the front's not ideal. Arbok, Porygon, Kadabra, Nidoran. Mankey. Trainer. Come on, show me a band card. Pidgey. Weedle. Team Rockets Grunt. And come on, Charizard, Gengar, Venusaur. And it is. Oh, nice. Giovanni's Machamp. Wait a minute! Giovanni's Machamp! Wait a minute, Giovanni, you pulled your own Pokemon! <laughs> you pulled your own Pokemon! Giovanni's Machamp, nice. Took me a minute to realize, but Giovanni, that's yours. That's your Machamp, literally. Sheesh, dude, Gio, thanks for the crazy order right there, man. That was nuts. Two of the higher at high shelf vintage packs we got on the menu too. Geo's nuts. Pulling out the Alakazam and the Machamp. Now the Alakazam has a really nice swirl on it. 
Machamp, I don't actually see a swirl on, unfortunately, but happens. Machamp. You'd be surprised, bro. People do undervalue their items all the time. Uh, all the time is the market in Florida is huge. So did you pick it up at like a, like a like a flea market or something? At a swamp meet? Man, Gio's always balling out, guys. Giovanni is always, always balling out, I tell ya. He must really be the leader of Team Rocket, because he's balling. Johnny, just pack at a garage sale for 65 pack during COVID. Sadly, open it all. That's nice, though. I mean, for 65 bucks and a guarantee hollow, it's like, can't go too wrong. Someone was asking to see my my stash of packs. So I'll quickly show them off here real quick, too. So Team Rocket Long Crimp, Jungle Long Crimp, Base Set, Base Set, Base Set, First Edition Rocket. Got a Gym Heroes Brock pack art. I know you're asking for Misty. There's a Japanese base set. Got a lot of rockets. Got a lot of them. First Ed Jungle. Got an Unlimited Rocket. Sandstorm. Hidden Legends. Neo Destiny. And finally a Dragon Frontiers. So there used to be a lot more stuff in this box. But a lot of it's getting bought. So it's actually like kind of empty. It used to be full and now it's like empty. Trevor P says, let me get 10 of the vintage hits. All right, so Trevor's going to be five from the front. And five from the back. Rock yeah, for sure. Just keep in mind, though, that Rocket is a pretty tough set to weigh. And most of those packs are just from random collection buys. So I have no idea about the history of it. I was in, like, what was the weight range from the box it originated from. Shelter. Base set? It depends. Is it the base set? How, is the crimps the long crimps or are they short crimp? If they're long crimp, they go for more. If they're short crimp, they don't go for as much. Ooh, we got a hit. We don't... Bill. What's up, Bill? It's $30 for two. $30 for a spot that gets you two fresh out of the deck. All right, let's just grab you at a random. I'll stick my finger in there. I'll stick my little finger in there, my little piggy. Oh, that's a first edition. Nice. First edition magazine. Actually, doesn't look too bad, actually. A little bit of whitening in there, but not terrible. Oh my god, that's decent. Nice. All right, Trevor P. That is actually like a decent conditioned hollow there. And that's first ed, too. Very nice. I'm out of top loaders. I want to put that in a top loader for you. Let me grab more. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. Clean my parents' house? No way! Wait, you found shadowless base set packs at your parents' house? Bro, that's nice. So, with the shadowless packs, they'll say, I believe the word, the terminology is 11 tradable cards, something like that. And it's at the bottom. That's how you know it's a sh potential shadowless. And if the crimps on them are long, then I think that means it's 100% shadowless. If they're short crimp, then there's a good chance it might not actually have shadowed cards in it. So the ones with the long crimp sell for a lot more than the short crimp. So it depends which one you have. Call me Zoro because I'm lost. That was actually a pretty accurate One Piece reference. Trevor P with the Magneto. Yeah, 
Yeah, must have came from Florida where it's so humid. I've heard of people putting cards in like a, a cigar humidor and like putting like um like silica gel packets to kind of do that, I guess. Never tried it though. Danny B says, let me get a legendary treasures to open up. All right, Danny, I've got four left. Let me know if you want to pick a number, Danny B. One to four for your legendary treasures. Yeah, the good old silica gel. Danny says you pick. Hmm. Well, if it's up to me, I'd probably pick one that we have a duplicate art of. That way, if someone comes in wanting a particular art, we'll still hopefully have it. And it's down to Genesex. I'll go with this one. Here, I'll pick this one for you. That's crazy, though, man. If you got Shadowless Base Set Blisters, do you got anything else? All right, Danny B. Picking up Legendary Treasures. Here we go. A gold would be ideal. A full art new, a Pikachu would be awesome. Tepig. Tangela. Gothita. Oh, we got a school of Magikarp. Glade. Alright, Radiant, come on. And, oh, we got Superior from the Raiding Collection. And also a Teddy Ursa from the Raiding Collection as well. Superior. Superior. Where did the Mewtwo pack come from? Yeah, you know, it's funny because I think Casey was asking for a Mewtwo, right? So maybe I should go in there and swap it for him. Danny B. The snake. Yeah, the snake. So two Radiance per pack. We got Superior. We got Teddy Eris in there. Magikarp and then non hollow Rare Galate as well. Superior. Danny B. With the LT. You know, considering we also opened up a, a top for you today too, Danny. We opened up some crazy stuff. A loose unlimited base set pack and two jungle packs. Oh, wow. That's pretty dope, dude. I can't believe you had those. I can't believe you just had those chilling. Alex B says, let me get a spot on the Game Boy Dragonite. Okay, Alex, I'll put you on number four. All right, so Game Boy Dragonite's actually almost halfway there. Yeah, I think 11 spots left. Bill B says two more spots on the Ruby Sapphire. Okay, cool. So, Bill, we're going to extend this one down. You're going to have four all the way down to six. There you go. Bill B, four, five, and six now as well. What's up, Billy? Honestly, brother, probably not. Just because I only have three left. And I got to be honest, they're pretty popular packs as it is. So, even if I just let them sit there, I'm sure they probably sell. Adam M says, let me get a Royal 5. Adam, you're thinking right, you're thinking left. Yeah, Dizzy Chrome is sold out. Uh, okay, Joey, sounds good, man. You got it. I received my package today. Thanks for the good packing. Hey, good. No problem, brother. No problem, man. Thank you for rest requesting shipping. Right, okay. All right, Adam. Show me a tier two. Ooh, Adam, tier one. So yeah, Joey, I'm debating whether or not I should even buy more of the Disney Chrome. Because the boxes have skyrocketed. So the boxes for Disney Chrome just kept moving up and up and up. 
So luckily I bought a ton of boxes when we had them in stock, but now that they're out of stock and I gotta buy new ones, I'm debating if it's even worth it. Because if I did buy more, they would not return at 55. They'd be more. Which I'm kind of hesitant to do it anymore. Lie Noon. Add a little toothpaste, a little lick method. Dude, I can't believe I gotta go to the dentist, bro. Hopefully it won't be too bad, though. Oh, we got Tandy Mouse. All right, Adam, nothing too crazy like the penny from last time to kind of dig us out of the hole there. Tandy Mouse and a leg rope. The Disney cards look really good. I just bought a base set. Wait, you're saying you bought a whole set of them, Bill? You bought a whole set? Adam M. Danny K. Yo, Dan, what's up? Is this the same Dan? I think so. Danny K. What's up? He says, four hidden fates. Oh my god. All right, Daniel. Four hidden fates. Which means that is enough to actually get you a full seal tin. So, Danny K, this is for you. Well, Dan, I hope you're doing well, brother. Still on the hidden fates grind, I see, right? Hint of Fates is a really great set. It really is. It's a shame, though, that I feel like the pull rates have just gotten worse and worse and worse. So, like, getting that Charizard is not as easy as it used to be, for sure. All right, Danny K. Four hidden gates. I should have done some too. Uh, well, if anyone does want Hidden Fates, if you buy four, you'll get a 10. If you buy 10, you'll get an ETB. Or you just buy loose ones too. Come on. Oh, we got a shiny. Got the Dartrix. Oh, and a nice rainbow to birds. Hell yeah, we'll take it. Where's the charge I go missing? True, but honestly, I'm assuming you kind of probably made out like a bandit for that. I was looking at that maybe like a like last I don't know at some point I was looking at it too and almost every single card that I paid people out for maybe with the exception of a Blastoise that was pulled in a box break which I think I paid Alex out at PSA 9 price might have actually been better for you because I think the price on that card raw was like 500 at the time and now they're going for less but then again I guess if it was to grade a PSA 10 then maybe not but I didn't know for sure. All the people that had the Brilliant Stars Charizards in that sub, they got paid out like 200-something bucks. And those Zards are like 70 bucks now. So, kind of crazy. But yeah, that sucks. I mean, I'm not happy with it either, man. I lost a lot of money doing that. Come on. Brock. And Schnorlax. Yeah, no, for sure, Dan. I, for sure. If I remember correctly, I just think it was off center too, but I totally get you. Yeah, I don't I didn't want it to go missing. But the only thing I could say, Dan, is I covered you for it, right? So on my end, I did everything I could. Accidents happen, shit happens, I guess. I wish that package didn't go missing, because then I would have been not losing three thousand dollars, but <laughs> but you know. It is what it is. It is what it is, I guess. Daniel K. It wasn't too expensive. 125 for 100 cards. Nice. Yeah, so that's probably just all like the base set regular non-inserts, I'd imagine. Okay, and then Joe F sent in 110 for the Disney, but that's out of stock. So Joe, you're gonna be getting pushed up to 135. 
Joe F, 135 on credit. Rogelio says, let me get two of the Wahoo and two OPO7. What's the new set right now? Uh, the new set's P uh, Paldean Fates. And the chase is a Charizard, of course. Of course it's a Charizard. Uh, but yeah, it's the shiny Charizard from Paldean Fates is the newest set. And then next Friday, or this coming Friday, the new set is Temporal Forces. But that doesn't have a Charizard in it. Ooh, Rosalina? Mario playing basketball, some b-ball. Cheap, cheap. Green shell. Puzzle piece. Red Yoshi. Another puzzle piece. Down in stock. I do. Yep, I do. So it doesn't have any booster boxes. It was a specialty set. So it's just kind of like ETBs and like tins and that kind of stuff. But yeah, I do have it in stock. Those are seven a pack for the Paldean Fates. Oh, we got Toad. Bowser with the bat playing sluggers, I guess. Yoshi with the apple. Hammer Bros, I think. Blooper. Baby Mario and Luigi. Birdo. And Princess Peach. Damn, I don't think we got a single gold in two packs. Crazy. I think your Toad might actually... Whatever you do, don't look up Bowsette. What, is that like Bowser's daughter or something? A female Bowser? Okay, Rogelio. Also, 2 OP07. Old news? I actually don't know what the hell that is. Maybe, maybe I'm too young. I'm too young to know old news. <laughs> Bro, Helio. Damn, dude, Bro, Helio, that Nami card in your bag is kind of nuts. Okay, Rogelio, here we go. What is it supposed to be? Is it like, uh, you know, is it like some corn type of thing? Danny B says, let me get a Royal Five Pack. All right, Danny B, here we go. So Danny, I usually let people choose a number, but this is the last one out of the handful that I grabbed. So let's get you this one. Danny B. Haldane Evolved. <gasps> Ooh, Danny B. Black and white base. Nice, actually. Nice. All right, so Danny, uh, as a rule of thumb, I always kind of let people do it if they want. Uh, you can swap your pack out of the box just to prove to you that I just pulled one randomly out of the box. You're more than welcome to switch if you want. But let me know if you want to open it or get a mail to seal. That's a black and white base unweight. Fresh out of a booster box. Rule 34. See, I've heard what I've heard about that, but I don't even know exactly what that even means. Oh, he says we can open it. Nice. Did you want to switch your num switch your pack or open the one given? Oh, and we got a Rika Fuller. And he says, no. Okay, cool. You got it. What a wavy. Uh, I won't tell you like the single most expensive pack in there just because uh, if I do, that just kind of puts a target on it. As in like if that gets pulled really early, people might not want to buy it anymore. So I won't say exactly what it is. But there is some really good stuff, man. There's black and white. There's heart, gold, silver. There's some diamond and pearl. 
X and Y, like Flash Fire is in there too. All right, so Danny, just a Rika from the regular packs, but now we get into the black and white drop the base. Zeb Striker for the pack art. Oh, no way, Danny. Oh, maybe I'm just seeing the code card. <laughs> Okay, maybe when I was seeing the border, it might have been the code card. So I take it all back. Let's see, though. Oh, I did the back trick wrong! No way. The code card effed me up. But we did get a hollow. I'm <laughs> sorry, Daddy. I messed up. I'm such a rookie. I blame the code card. I do. Oh, my God. But we did actually grab you a hollow. That's a superior hollow from black and white base. Nice. Oops. Hot ball. Oops. Um, yeah, Alex, a little cardboard's here, so if you want to talk with anybody, you can. I want to answer questions on his behalf. Clink, clank. So I don't know what I did there. How did that get in the front, but the reverse still on the back? Well, that's going to be a clink, clank. Rare reverse. Clink, clank. Cardboard got tired of having a partner for his store, I think. Yeah, Yeah, you know, dude, I'm nearly think about it, Dan. You've opened up some crazy stuff tonight. Black and white base, tops chrome, legendary treasures. You got some pretty nice packs open up tonight. Danny B. And for that I am grateful, because it's nice content for sure. Let me run the shop. <laughs> Don't let Richie run the shop, bro. You you leave for a day, cardboard, come back, and everything's already open. Danny K says, let me get a Royal 5 pack. Ooh, okay. Run it to the ground. All right, so Danny K, would you like to pick a number one to five for your Royal Five Pack? Hey, Isaiah, what's up, homie? How you doing tonight? Dude, even if Rich opened up all your Crown Zenith, he's still not going to get a gold card. No, there is, uh, well, Dan, I mean, I could go stand up and grab you more, man, but you just want to pick one from this, one to five? They're, they're, I can promise you they're all random. Three. Okay, Dan, you got it. So that's going to be this one. Two, seven, nine, nine, seven, six, five, five. You missed it, bro. It was Pi Day a couple days ago. You missed it. Oh, all right, so that's going to be tier one, Scarlet and Violet for the hit there. Scarlet and Violet, 151. Stop the cap. Dude, I got to get some new memes on my board. I got a lot of space for it. Dunsparce. Stop the cap would probably be a good one to put on there, I think. He said I'm not capping. Oh, really? I, I believe him. I believe him. Stop the cat. There is a meme for that too, I think. Stop the cat. Deoxys. All right, Dan. Come on, brother. We need something out of these packs. Oh, there we go. We got Iron Valiant. We'll take it. My biggest, my biggest flex is I know all the numbers in Pi. That's my biggest flex. Mr. Mime. I can recite every number in Pi. It's my biggest flex. It's how I pick up all the chicks. 
Danny K. Iron Valiant. It's gonna go to grading eventually. Uh, what's up, Isaiah? So, Isaiah, I think your two orders are, are just, like, one order in between. So, it really shouldn't be that bad to just do them separately. I like to do them separately just so that way no one, like, kind of cuts in line in case someone ordered it. I can see no one ordered the EV Heroes before you, but just to kind of keep it streamlined, it's not going to be too bad. I think there's one order in between your two orders. Adam M says a Royal 5-pack sigh. Adam! You can do it, Adam, I believe. A number 1 to 4. Three. Okay, Adam, you got it. Number three. What's up, Nathan? Uh, that is our second deck of the night. I don't know if it's going to fill up tonight. doesn't seem like it. It's tier zero. Adam. <laughs> All right, Adam is just clean sweeping all the tier ones for you guys. Adam. Okay, we'll take that though. We got Crocolor. New Moon Triam Microscopic Silico Villaconosis. Something like that. I don't know. Yup, Rich. Yup, that is what's happening. So we'll be live Monday, Tuesday again. And then Wednesday is the last day that I'll be here. And then I leave like Thursday morning. So Wednesday, I'll just be trying to like finish everything up that I got to. Tinkatov. I C U P in public. No, what is it? I C U P rainbow colors. What is up with that one? I'm remembering that one for some reason. Via blue. There's got to be, like, something there. I see you, P, rainbow colors. Is that making sense to anybody? Anyone remember that? I feel like there was some extra layer to it. Adam! Adam says, I give up! So, Rich, I'm going to the DR. I'm going to the Dominican Republic. I'm actually going to be staying at, like, some sort of resort... Which, honestly, I'm kind of excited for. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. They got a casino in there, too. They got, like, a spa in there. I'm going to try to have a blast. Uh, uh, Nathan, it's 30, and you get two cards. So, yeah, we were doing one spot before, but we just kind of simplified it. So, kind of like the box breaks. Two spots per entry, and it's 30 bucks. You get two cards, basically, for one spot. Danny B says four hidden fates. All right, Danny, another 10 coming up. Let's see if we can do a little bit better than Danny K's 10. Alright, well, I think I just got a reseal tip. <laughs> well, there you go. For curiosity's sake, let's see. Of course, I'm going to get you a new tin, but... Yep. Oh, there's a rare. <laughs> there's a rare. Oh, there's another rare. They, they didn't even want the rares? Oh my god, these resealers are so lazy. They didn't even take their rares. Wait, they took the code cards, though. Yo, dude, these guys took the code cards and the hits. They were down bad for the code cards, but I guess not the rares. Okay, well, that is not ideal. Hopefully, hopefully, these others are not. They all did come from different places. Oh no. Oh no.
damn, dude. I got these tins from so many different people, too. I don't even know where I got that one from. And I put them all on the shelf, so I don't even, like, know whose it was. Ugh. All right, let's see. If these are also resealed, I'm going to be in for a world of pain. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Uh, they're leaving the rares behind, so it's definitely the same guy resealed me. Dude, now I gotta go back and try to figure out where I got this from. Arbuck. No, I don't buy shit on Amazon. Damn, some of these I've also had for a minute, too. It's gonna be really, really hard for me to trace back. But honestly, I'd rather get these opened up and gone with before it's sitting there thinking I have stuff. And this is why you buy for ripper shippers, right? So you guys are always protected. If this stuff happens, you guys know I got your back. I had to handle this on my own, trying to figure this out. But damn, that's not good. That's already two of them. This was the second one. I'm trying to think. Did I get these on? Where did I get these from? All right, let's see. I'm gonna keep going with the Gyaradoses. I got Raichus too. Is there anyone to tell it's resealed without opening? Honestly, I don't know. I think one thing that resealers do, maybe, yeah. So I think that's what they really do, is they just slide it off, and they probably reseal it, and then they slide it back on. So it's honestly a really poor design from Pokemon to do something like this, because look. Look at that. Look at that. So, I, you just saw me. I could have resealed this myself if I wanted to. You just slide it off and slide it back on. So, it's not that the seal is anything wrong with it. It's fully sealed. You can just slide it off. Oh, man. I'm nervous. Whew, I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. All right, I think we're good. Three tins it took. Oh, no. Well, all right, so that kind of sucks for me, but, you know, I'll figure it out. It's all right, I'll figure it out. I'm a big boy. But, yeah, so let that be known. Look, I took all the shit out of it, and you can just slide that wrap right back on. So, even if it looks good, you never know for sure, because, like I said, you just can slide it right up. Let's take a look at these packs. They look to be in good shape. And I've had that happen where I got like a resealed tin before. And it was the same thing where the packs are just opened. I feel like if someone's going to go as far to reseal it, they're not going to care to actually reseal the packs. But it does look good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I think that's an authentic tin right there. But I guess on the bright side, you get three Gyaradoses. Okay, and can we get a Charizard after seeing two? Now I'm scared of my other tins, man. Oh my god. Giovanni. And Adabuk. Come on. Pettis. Oh, and a full art da birds. Pre-recorded for real. Yeah, now I now I feel like I gotta check my other tins, man. Cause I'm not trying to have someone buy a tin and then I'm like, oh, here's your tin, and then it's resealed again. So I don't know, maybe I just open them up for loose packs or something. Just to double check. Oh, uh, we got the fire energy. Oh, and a Mewtwo. Better than a resealed condom? Come on, give us a shiny though. Oh, okay, I'm in a full art shiny, but we'll take it. Cartana and Jolteon. 
All right, so those, I feel like the, the, the thing that I noticed on those is they had like a little thing. Hold on. So Dan, let me get these in your bag firstly, and then let me actually go grab all the tins that I have and kind of do some inspection on them real quick. Because now, um, before I forget, I got to go check these out too. Man, they got it. Where'd I get this? Alright, so luckily, luckily for me, I don't actually have that many tins left, and most- Oh, they're all ride shoes. Okay, cool. And these ones have that, but I think I've opened tins with these stickers on them before, and they were good. Yeah. This one doesn't, though. Well, let's see. So two, two tins won't break my bank, but let's see. Can I even slide this out like I was saying? Ah, uh, you know, maybe not actually. This one, oh, I ripped it. You know, this one's actually like more kind of wrapped around it. So I don't even think you could like remove this one. Yeah. Okay. But if anyone else does want to get a hidden face tin tonight, uh, like I said, if there is anything fraudulent with it, don't worry, I always got your back. But if you do want to kind of just test it with me, sure, I'm down. All right, but Eddie, there it is. That's for you. I am out of Gyarados tin, so that's that's good. That's good. I'm out of Gary tins. That's good. Brennan B said, here's for the shipping. Also, let me make a timestamp. Kind of embarrassing, but that might like be an okay short to talk about. People might want to watch that. So uh, this was from... 316, 315. So this was 314 timestamps that I got sent to Sav, and this will be from 315s. That was at five. Oh, I'm gonna laugh for five hours. That's not that long. Isaiah says 10, 151, and the shipping. Isaiah. Alex Zay, if you buy four packs hidden fates, I'll get you a tin. If you buy ten, I'll get you an ETB. Okay, so I actually bought these 151 boxes from a different source. Not that it's like, I mean, I guess I'm always sus about products nowadays. I mean, you just saw the scam right there. But I don't know. I mean. You never really be too sure nowadays. I've even gotten resealed 151 product too from eBay actually. So you never really know. But of course, one thing that always remain true is if there's anything wrong, I always got you guys' back. But let's see. So like I said, new source for some 151. Let's open it up. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And four more. Perfect. All right, Isaiah 10, 151. You copy the Deoxys pack and I'll get... <laughs> yeah, if we can get a Charizard, man, that would be fantastic. Especially after that. Ooh, Gengar, not a... Ma Double Gengar. Nice. Double Gengar. Be Drill, Dodrio. Psyduck. Hey, the really sad part, too, about resealed stuff is it's very possible that the guy that sold it to me also thought those tins were legit, you know? So that's the problem. Especially if you're a sealed collector, it's always nerve wracking because you never know what you're setting back in your sealed collections resealed. <laughs> and then. Years later, you gotta sell it, and they're like, wait a minute, this is resealed. It's been in my closet for five years, I never knew it. Dragonite. Because Hidden Fates is old now. Hidden Fates is pretty old now. I can't believe those bastards took the code cards. They took the- not the code cards! How am I gonna get packs online? But then they left the rares behind, which, honestly, this is kind of weird, too. Nido Queen, Nido King.
Pidgeotto. Weezing. Oh, Ivy Sword. Nice. Yeah, well, the problem really is, Dan, is I'll buy stuff from everywhere, man. I buy stuff from Discord, from eBay, from Facebook, from Instagram. You know, people message me. So I buy a lot of stuff. Sometimes it's a lot of stuff in one. Sometimes it's a couple stuff at one time. And if it looks good when I get it in, I'll just put it on my shelf. And then it kind of gets mixed in. I forget who I got it from. I got to, like, go back through my messages, go through my orders. It's honestly kind of a pain to go back and try to hunt it down. Isaiah with the 151. Yeah, I, you know, I don't even know if MetaZoo was around at the time he may have resealed those. Remember that happened? I don't know when it was done, but. There was an Indian named Laxman that scammed me out of four heavy base set packs from a box that I sold him on eBay for 2800 how, like, how did he scam you? Like, he basically forced a refund on you or something? That's crazy. Isaiah, thanks for your order, man. Danny K says, let me get 10 Paldean Fates. 2, 4, 6, 8. Dale's grab you some more. Brand new set, Paldean Fates. Yup, so TF and Crimson Haze. Yup, next week. Frigabex. Also, let me know, Dan, do you want your hollows? Or are you good on them? I ask for the Scarlet and Violet a lot more now because every pack comes with a guaranteed two of them, which is just kind of like crazy. Paldean students. Vicky, you're up past your bedtime? Oh. Oh. Danny K, what do we get? What do we got? Charizard? Not two. And. Oh, we got another penny. Hell yeah. Nice. All right, Danny. That is going to be an SIR penny. Nice. Honey. Oh, we got shiny baby Luxray. Penny's a good one. Uh, so in this set, what you're chasing after are the SIRs. There's a, quite a few of them. There's Charizard. There's a dude. There's a really nice Mew. The Mew's probably my favorite. Uh, Charizard, Mew, Iono, Penny. Arvin's a really bad one. Penny's not a bad one, though. Arvin's pretty bad. Penny might be, like, I don't know, like the fifth best one. SIR's maybe the fifth best one. Oh, we got Palfin. Now these, this set's brand new. So if you're getting resealed Paldean Fates, that is nuts. <laughs> that is nuts. I can't believe it, bro. Those tins, man, that's nuts. I The last time I got resealed Hidden Fates tins might have been like years ago. So I guess in retrospect, I guess I should consider myself lucky that I've gone like a year or two without having any reseals going on. And Cyclozar. Cardboard left me on red. It's all right. He can leave you on red. I'll hit you up pretty soon for the new phone anyways. So, Dan, just, just to kind of point it out to people watching, that was only 10 packs. That's like a D. That's a lot of hollows, man. That's not even counting your hits. So, like, look at all that. Back in the day, Sword and Shield, you open up 10 packs. It's basically as big as that stack. 
and he could. So Dan, I know that was only 10 packs, but what do you think of the new set so far? It's got baby shinies. Awesome, Dan, thanks bro, I appreciate that, man. I'll keep the Hidden Fate ones for you, just because Hidden Fates definitely is, you know, like, harder to come by. Isaiah, two Korean EV heroes. Isaiah. Our house in the middle of the street. Okay, Isaiah, we got a pretty fresh box of Korean EV heroes. Let's see what we got. Aroma Lady and Florges. Florges. Isaiah. Young G. Bill B. Says three. Azure Lane Rebirth. Bill B. I can't help it, baby. I can't help it, baby. I have no investments in any crypto. No investments in anything crypto. Oh. Did we just get a... Is that a stamp or... No, that's a triple rare. Yeah, that's a triple rare. Or a GRE, but not a stamp. That is a triple rare. Oh, and a hollow. Bill B. Three. Rebirth Azure Lake. I ordered a pack art set of XY Evos off eBay and they're resealed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot out there, man. You know, I'm sure we could probably, like, go around in a circle and everyone will have a story about getting scammed in Pokemon. It's true. It happens a lot, man. That's why, like, when you find someone you can trust, you, know, you try to really just do business with them. Same thing with my Japanese guy. Like, ever since I got a Japanese guy, I almost never buy Japanese stuff from anywhere else. Cause it's just too risky. Dylan C says 10 hits from the vintage single box. I'm looking for a Japanese hollow. Okay, Dylan, let's get your five from here. One, two, three, four, five from over here. Sucker's Japanese guy is actually French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Oh, we got Golem. Seedra, first dead slowpoke. Krabby. Tentacle. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I've heard that they're pretty low. Like, I heard you get one sign card in every three cases. Got a hit there. Abra, first dead Hypno Rare. Pretty dope. Quillfish. So from my small, like, five minutes of Google searching, it says one in three cases, which honestly is kind of nuts. Okay, and then one of the random hollows. Ooh, grab this one. Okay, not Japanese. I'm sorry, Dylan, it wasn't Japanese. But it is going to be... Oh, it's a Hypno! <laughs> All right, that's actually going to be another Hypno, but this time a hollow. Hypno from Fossil. Dylan C. All right, so the vintage hitbox might have, I don't know, like... 200 cards left, maybe 150, 100, I don't know, something like that Double Hypnos for the homie Dylan C You know Dylan Because your last name, I almost want to call you Dylan Chan Dylan Chan Am I side confusing? Do all sets have Oh, that I don't know about. Uh, I'm still pretty new to the whole Rebirth stuff. The only set that I carry is Azure Lane. Isaiah says, let me get a Royal 5 pack. All right, Isaiah, do you want to pick number one to three? Oni Chung. Dang, 
two. All right, Isaiah, you got it. Middle one for you. How do I get that PSA 10 Kabu Tops? Wait, Dan, are you talking about the one that already went? The PSA 9 Shining Kabu Tops? Adam says this is definitely a tier two. Abby Flames. Peldeida Vol. <gasps> no way. Hard gold, soul, silver, triumphant. That is really nice. Isaiah, I love the hard gold era. That is fantastic, man. Woo! All right, now Isaiah, from the supply that we have left, the triumphant, if you do want to switch your pack, you sure can. These are all unweighed. If you do, and I just grab one at random to throw in the royal packs. If you want to switch out, you can. These would be your options to switch to if you want, all right? If you want to switch, let me know. If you want to open it, let me know, or we can mail it to you sealed. Oh, it's in the thumbnail. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, so Dan, that one basically already sold. So the Kabutops 9 already sold. Nice. I like Heart Coastal Silver. I'm a huge fan of that era. Open that mug. Tingaloo. Golden Go. Damn, all right, Isaiah. Not like too crazy, unfortunately, on the regular packs. Hopefully the heart gold. Hope we open it. Hopefully the heart gold has some juice. I want to open it, but I'm gonna keep it. Okay, Isaiah, sounds good. Do you want to keep the pack or do you want to switch to one of these? Is my next question. I'm sad the poker break won't sell out. It's possible it won't. I think we still have at least like 18 spots left, so. So Isaiah, if you want to switch, you can. Uh, just to prove to you that it's unweighted, just literally grab one randomly out of the supply we have. Okay, sounds good. You want that one? All right, this will be returning back to me, and you get this one. Sounds good. Awesome. Isaiah with the Tier 2 Hard Gold Soul Silva Triumph. Make a booba coin. Make a waifu coin. Eric S. 3. OP07. Buy two more spots, Corgi. The people need to see it going. Alrighty, Eric. Here we go. Uh, also, I can see in the queue that Danny B is trying to start a Paldean Fates three-pack battle. We're not like super late in the stream, but I know we are like five hours in. Um, is anyone here interested in doing a Paldean Fates three-pack battle, which would be 21 bucks to sign up? Because if no one's interested, Dan, I'll let it be up to your discretion if you want to just open them or create a sign-up. I don't mind either way. But there might be. I mean, it's Friday after all. It is Friday after all. Eric gets. Sure, I'll do it with the hell me. Okay, wow, all right, sounds good. So there is a three-pack Paldean Fat Fates battle going on. If you want to sign up, it's 21 bucks. If you want to sign up for it. Danny K, he says two Royal Five Packs. And a hidden fates tin that's not he said hold the reseal. Oh my god. Hold the reseal. Alright, you know what, Dan? Before we open up your Before we open up these for you, Dan. Oh, we can do that for you, Dan. Yeah, hold the three. Okay, sure thing. Before we open up your royal packs, though, let's see if this tin's resealed, man. I don't think you could really pull this off. So I'm thinking this one's gotta be good, right? Seal looks good. I don't think this is one you could just kinda. Yoink off the tin. I mean, I can't. I'm scared, bro. I can't lie, guys. I'm kind of scared. Please. Okay, looks good. So far. Oof. 
Okay, nice. But, you know, the awkward thing, too, is some of the Gyarados tins were not resealed, though. There's only two of them. Because one of them we actually opened was real. So, I don't know. Okay, nice. So, these look good. We'll save these to open up last. Just want to make sure it's <laughs> not resealed. And let's see what's in your two Royal Five Packs. Oh, okay, so tier one, that's Paldean Fates, tier one. Next bag. Ah, Danny boy. Double tier ones. Double tier ones. So there's 100 bags made. 20 out of 100 have the tier two in it. So tier twos are basically a 20% pull rate. Or one in five. But it's okay. We still can get you some huge hits out of the normal packs as well. I've seen it before many times. Yugi boy. You're making me want to spend more money. Dan, you started the battle. <laughs> you started the battle. <laughs> so yeah, if anyone does want to battle, it's 21 bucks. Feel free to sign up. It's Paldean Fates. I'll take care of the rest of the tier ones next week. Oh, we do grab a full art iron hand. Danny B wants the Royal Five bags. They can't be really juicy, man. They can't be very juicy. Pidgeots. Can it fade to the Royal Packs? They're both good options, really. I mean, as long as the Hidden Fates isn't resealed, it's a good option. And Royal Fives are always good too, obviously. If you, well, you know, as long as you try to hit a tier two. And Nimona. Got a very good tier. You know, Adam, that is not far from the truth, bro. We've got any, what, Charizard out of there? I think we did at least. The 151 one. Some SIRs and stuff. So yeah, that's actually not, that's not far from the truth. All right, so Danny, that was the two Royal Fives. And we got a decent amount of hits in there. But the real creme de la creme here are the Hidden Gates. We need to see a full art. We haven't seen a full art just yet. Gotta fully inspect these packs now. Make sure you see no glue. Which I don't, so that's good. Eevee! And a hollow brock. I haven't heard the music all night except for, is it really low? Someone said that earlier too. Let me know guys, is the music really low? Let me know, is the music really low on your end? Let me know. Because I know I increased my mic volume, so Malamar. So maybe that kind of like retrospectively made the music lower because now my voice is higher. Boss says, yes, it's low. Press is no. Music's low for me. Charmander. Oh. And we got a Fisherman. Oh, and a Charizard. Okay. Full art Fisherman. Fisherman Mon. It's better on low. Well, let me try to tune it up just a little bit. Let me see. How's that? How's that, guys? How's that volume now?
Yeah, as long as the code card is there, you're good. And a Mew. Ah, we haven't gotten any full art shinies though, my god. Okay, yeah, daddy, no problem, man. Sounds good, you got it. What's up, Billy? If you buy four packs, you get a tin. If you buy ten packs, you can get an ETB. BD Kicks is 10 Wild Force. BD Kicks. Five of these. One, two, three, four, five. BD Kicks. I'll make this face. <laughs> Dumb, we gotta get per we gotta get pink hair, man. We gotta get some pink hair. I'm here for my bi-monthly Pokemon addiction. Dud pack, kinda accurate, man. To be real, kinda accurate. Ooh, nice to pick up Ghastly. Also, why is Gengar licking Ghastly's bottle? Hmm. Interesting. I feel like I've made that joke before. <laughs> I've made that joke before for sure. Wow, alright, so old duds besides the gassy, so we'll take it. Gassy's not bad. BD kicks. Yeah, I'm ruining the cards for you. Hey, man. Pokemon made it, not me. Danny B says three pack. Peldean Fates Battle. Danny B. How is Ghastly throwing it back? I'm sure Ghastly probably has some, at some butt cheeks. Danny K, 20. Holy moly. 20. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Danny K, 20 of the Paldean Dates. All right, Danny. Come on, baby. Zard. Dude, honestly, Dan, I know you like Zard, but I hope we pull you the Mew. And my, I mean, obviously everyone's opinion is different, but I think the Mew card is the best for sure. So hopefully we can pull it so you can see what it looks like. Nimona. <laughs> it starts with Hidden Fates, yeah. It's the nostalgia, Dan. The Hidden Fates nostalgia just keeps riding you back in. I mean, I get it though. Hidden Fates is a great set. And if you really think about it, Paldean Fates supposed to kind of be like a Hidden Fates-esque kind of set, you know? Oh, there's a regular Charizard X. Charbar. Tinkatuff. Come on, we got Shrudel. I think this one evolves into... I don't even know. Maybe it's the Giraffe? giraffe or maybe that's the... Spider guy. Pomo. Corgi, I got a commission for you. Draw a Gassy with butt cheeks. I can see that being like a popular short, honestly. Ah, 
Halucha. Palafin and the Wug Trio. WTF? You don't think it'd be popular? I feel like it would be. Like, if you kind of animated a short where Gassy got some butt cheeks, I feel like people laugh at that kind of kind of silly stuff. Or maybe I'm just silly. Cyclozar. Make some ghastly stickers. Oh, nice. We pick up Mimikyu. Got another one trio. And the thing with Paldean Fates is the pull rates are extremely high. So it's like about a, you know, hit in every other pack, really. Electro. I think it's funny. I can, like, already envision it kind of, like, with the aesthetic of kind of, like, Adventure Time. You know, like a thick ghastly. If people, if people, if, if, uh, like, Brodal went viral and that's just, like, a swole, you know, Bulbasaur, then I'm pretty sure Gassy with butt cheeks would go viral, too. Squawk, a Billy. Collide. Nanny, couple more packs left. I want to see Mew or Charizard. We got Oren Corio. Hey, Jesse, what's up, man? Dan's like, eek! I think the SIRs, I think people rumor it's around like 1 in 50 packs-ish. So they are a little bit harder to pull than you probably assume, but I think they're around like 1 in 50-ish packs. For like the penny card you got for you early, those are about like 1 in 50 packs apparently. And we got Alakazam, and if two wasn't enough, we got three Wug Trios. The Wuggy. Okay, so Dan, that was for you. We got you the total 20 packs, and we did not put you in the battle, all right, Dan? Thanks so much for the order tonight, homie. Again, kind of a uh, kind of funky with that hidden face tin, but hey, it happens. Shit, <laughs> like we were saying earlier, shit happens, right? Shit just happens. But you know, when you really think about it, for 20 packs, that was two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 hits. So that's like almost 100% pull rate, which is kind of nuts. Now, granted, some have two hits in it, but still, that's crazy. 20, 18 hits of 20 packs. Okay, cool. Then I think a lot of the rest of the orders are for the battle. So let's grab some energies here. Do I need to start hoarding code cards? Apparently, dude. I, I just think it's funny that they resealed it. They left behind the rares. So they took anything that was shiny and the code cards. Like, that is kind of funny. Isaiah is in for the battle. Adam is in for the battle. Connor is in for the battle. And Danny B is it. Wait a minute. Nope, sorry. That's just to be opened up. Not for the actual battle. All right, so we got three new players in there, pushing us to a total of four. If anyone else would like to join us, 21 bucks. And Danny B, this is three. PF to open. I'm looking for the Mew. Part of me is thinking like, do I even bother? Do I just take the L or do I really bother trying to like go back and figure out where it was from? I don't know.
All right, Danny B. It's $21 for the PF battle. 21 bucks. Iron Trips. If you guys want, I can make sure all the packs are coming from bundles. <laughs> I've got so many bundles that I'm like, don't really want to open now that the first ones are kind of poo poo. Magmortar. Yeah, Richie, that's kind of what I'm thinking, man. I'm just kind of thinking, like, do I really want to go back and start, like, MacGyvering and figuring it out, or do I just take the L? And it's not a small L by any means, but... Danny B! With a Iron Treads, the best Pokemon ever. People buy code cards? They, I think they do, man, but... I'm pretty sure code cards are like no more than five cents a piece. Maybe. I don't actually know. No bundles, please. Um, question. I've been seeing a lot of those old made Pokemon cards for sale. What's your take on those? Uh, they're cool. They're really cheap though. So you can buy the decks of them for fairly cheap. So they're not really like that crazy. Uh, but they're cool. I have a, I have a decent amount of them. They're, they're cool. They're just like a cool cheap card. You know, they're cool cheap cards. BD Kicks is in for the battle. Sithon is back and he also wants in on the battle. Oh, Billy is in for. Damn, we got a lot of battlers right now. Sheesh. Look into weekly increments, that way it doesn't feel so daunting. Wait, weekly increments for what? I'm curious what you guys are talking about. Weekly increments for what? All right, cool. So Billy was the last order in the queue. If anyone else wants to join, feel free. We're at seven right now, which I guess is only 21 packs. So it's not that crazy. Uh, but if you guys want to do it with this many, we can, or we could wait to see if anyone else does want to join for tonight. I don't want to touch any more PF bundles. Bought a case and got no golds, no SIRs. Dude, we got a lot. I, or I bought a lot of bundles, which, albeit we could have got unlucky, but who knows? Who knows? And now, and now I got to start asking myself, are my Hidden Fates ETVs legit? <laughs> I think they are. But now, now I got to start asking myself, how about the ETV? I think it's time for an OP order. Time for my bulk. I mean, bro, we haven't got a MOA literally, period. Joe F says PF battle. Okay, cool, Joe. Just remember, you do still have a, um, a pretty hefty credit with me too, right, Joe? So don't forget about that. You can also use that. Hector! PF battle at an OP07 box. Damn, Hector, I thought you went to sleep. Hector's like, it's the weekend, baby. I'm chilling. Let it face Tim's like you're paranoid. Yeah, no, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was kind of nuts. Hector, you took a little napski? <laughs> Dude, the problem with me and naps is I, I can't really take a nap right without, like, just going to bed. If I lay down for a nap, it's over. It's over, man. I'm sleeping. I'm not napping. I'm sleeping. Which is why I kind of think I wanted to stay up all night today. Because I got to go to the dentist at 1030. So rather than trying to sleep and then risk missing it, I might just stay up. Because I'm a deep sleeper, man. I'll sleep through an alarm like it's nothing.
side bets on if he gets a mower or not? The pull rates for PF have been tougher. Well, I'm still getting my packs from ETBs. I feel like ever since like the bundles, the tins or whatever started to come out, I feel like a lot of packs are now coming from there. And they might have like kind of whack pull rates, but the ETBs have been pretty good to us, man. I gotta be honest, they've been pretty good. We pulled an absurd, an absurd amount of Charizards thus far. Well, the thing is, is I, I'm down to stream like as long as we can tonight, but you know, there's no orders, there's no orders. Uh, but what I will say is, I also gotta clean up around here, cause I gotta take a bunch of stuff to the dump. Cause the dump is only open from like, I think like 8 to 1. So it's like a pretty early time slot, and usually I'm sleeping during that time, so I'm not able to take it to the dump. So I might try to use today as a, as a nice way to kind of like clean up around here too. Bonnie. Because since I'm going to be going to DR, I kind of want to make sure my house is not a mess when I come back. Yo, Sir Brandon! Have an awesome weekend, my friend. I'll see you on the next one, homie. Thanks again for the help. Oh my god, I forgot about this. We got a slappy giveaway tonight, too. Oof. So we'll do that as well. So we got a lucky memory giveaway for the PSA 8 Duraladen. And we'll do that right after this. I totally forgot. Mo don't into that, by the way. Foxy. Oh, we got Otama as a parallel. Otama. Broly, have you opened up a lot of uh, OP07? Because if you, if you want to hear it, Broly, I'll tell you. We've opened up... This is our 10th case. We haven't opened up 10 cases yet. We're on our 10th case. We have not gotten a mango yet. Or a god pack. I don't even know if the god packs are real. People say they are, but... What is the biggest order you've seen? I've seen some really big orders, man. Uh, freaking Tyler Limehouse back in, like, 2001 was going nuts. Sunfan's gone nuts. Anil has gone nuts recently. Um, yeah, I've had some really big orders, man. Some really big ones for some vintage pack break or from vintage box breaks and stuff. That's some huge ones. Ace. Geo throws some pretty big orders in there too, man. Giovanni, he goes pretty ham too, actually. Yep, Kyle W, Anthony B. Frankie. CK, yeah, CK did too, but I don't, I wouldn't really consider CK like a normal customer. I think he just kind of came over because of them. And he probably wanted to open it for them, if anything. I was going to years. Why do you say yikes? Ha, a little bit. Why are you saying yikes? Oh my god, Hector, bruh. How many more of these we got left? Right, we still got like half a case. My god, dude. This stuff's impossible. This is the impossible, impossible, impossible card, man. I, and that's a good question. I don't actually know. I, I didn't pay attention to the names that were being called during that break a lot, honestly. Can I get the leaders? Uh, sure. I don't know exactly where it ends, Hector, but I'll... I think that's like a decent amount, right? To look through. I can usually get like, I don't know, like two to three liters, sometimes four, I guess, a box maybe. Maybe more. Maybe I just grabbed everything we had. Well, Hector, it's a lucky day. I'm just gonna grab you a bunch. Oh, he did? How'd he do? What'd he get? Okay, cool. They're actually all different ones, too. Nice. I'm doing good, Panther. Yeah, I can't complain, man. I'm doing pretty good. 
Honestly, dude, if I see CK, I would not be scared because I'm, I'm more scared of people who are not like if they especially if they're going to send in big orders. I'd rather be somebody who have like seen around so I know they're not like trying to scam or run like a chargeback type of fraud. You know what I mean? So I'd rather see him place a big order than like somebody else that I don't know. Just because you never know, man. It's a scary thing. You could take in a huge order. It's great, but you also could lose a lot if it ends up being fraudulent. You could lose a lot if it ends up being fraudulent. So, Grizzly says three for the battle and three to open up for me. Grizzly! Oh, yeah, I forgot to do the giveaway. Okay, we're this. Esparta. Anyone buy Japanese One Piece? I pulled a. Uh, Law Leader from OPO1, don't know why I even bought the box. I don't know if the Law Leader is going like a good card or not. I mean, I like Law as a character, but... What's up, Joe? Uh, I want to say there's like seven. Pommy. Pomo. Pomo. Grizzy. Three. Peldea and Fates. And Grizz, we got you a spot in the battle as well. Time to kick back and relax. Grab a brewski, kick off your boots. It's time to relax. I don't know what it is, but as of late, I've been like really getting into watching videos of people like recycling like aluminum, gold, and all that stuff. And I've been, I started watching this guy's channel and he has like a whole room just full of like bars that he's smelted down himself from like Soda cans, bottles, that type of stuff, and it's kind of nuts. Grizzly. Although, I don't think it's like a crazy, crazy endeavor. I feel like it's also kind of dangerous to be inhaling all those fumes and stuff. Inhaling like liquid metal particles, smoke slash vapor or something. Trump in it says give it to the people okay cool so hold on all right so we got two giveaways coming up the first one is going to be courtesy of Trump in this is just going to be for anybody that is subscribed to the channel and that is going to be a free entry into the Paldean fates battle this is courtesy of Trump in so to sign up for this, just simply make sure that you are one, a subscriber to the channel, two, make sure you like the stream tonight, three, put a BR in the chat. If you win, you'll get an entry into our Peldean Fates battle. Dude, Abby, it was crazy. Yeah, the hitbox got crazy today. Oh, is he alone? Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah, I mean, good for him. If he's able to do that, good for him. Yeah, that means he made it. He's done. He's done with life. What if you're already in? You know, that's actually a good question. If you're already in the battle, I think you just win a $21 credit. I think that'd be fair. Because I don't think you should be excluded from the giveaway if you bought a spot. If you win and you're already in the battle, I think it just makes sense. You just get a $21 credit. I think that's the fairest way to do it. No, I don't think you can just get two spots in the battle. Just because, like I said, I don't want that to become like a theme where some people are just grabbing hella spots. Others aren't. Oh, you're cool. Trump says he agrees. So I, I think that's a good, good idea. Alrighty, so let's pick this winner. This is for... This is for the PF Battle Entry. After that, we're going to do a members-only giveaway, and that's going to be for the PSA 8 Duraladen. Let me actually just switch this out for the time being. Yeah. 
Yeah, true. Or you could just take three personal packs. That's true. Right. Either way, or credit. Whatever. Trevor says, this ain't pay to win. Yeah, I guess not pay, but you at least gotta be subscribed. So I guess it's click to win. It's a click to win. Oh, Andrew with the Lugia. Nice. All right, so Andrew, I don't think you're in this battle already. So Andrew, you are now in it. Andrew D won the entry for the Peldean Fates battle. We're now going to run back a second giveaway. This one will be only available to members, and that is for the PSA 8 Duraladen. Okay, Andrew, you're all set. You're in for PF Changs. And now this one, same thing. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like the stream tonight. Put a BR in the chat. But you also do got to be a member to have a chance to win this slab. You also need to be a member for this one. Tony, how you doing, Tony? Yo, Sun Fan, who are you blowing kisses to, bruh? Who's getting kisses from Sun Fan, huh? Where's my kisses? Alrighty, here we go. Let's see who wins. Also kind of trying to clean up around here and I put together one of these uh, this is just full of a bunch of like goddess story esque type cards so if anybody is interested in this whole ETB full of it I would do $20 shipped so that's that's like crazy after fees and shipping I'm probably getting like five bucks so if anybody wants these just because I'm either gonna throw these away or send them to somebody if anybody wants these for $20 shipped in the US let me know these are just all cards from Goddess Story. If anyone's interested, let me know. If not, these will end up going into the bin. Because I need to start cleaning up around here, man. But that is an ETB full. I'll take them. Okay, cool, Bill. You got it, man. You send in 20 bucks, and I'll mail this one separately from your bags. I'm just going to throw this in a flat rate, right? Yo, Isaiah, I would give it to you, but now Billy owns it. Oh, Preston. Nice. All right, Preston, picking it up. Picking it up, picking it up. Nice. All right, Preston, there you go. You're picking up the Dura Laden. Now, it is only an eight, but it's still an old dart, so it's still a nice card to have regardless of the grade. And honestly, I think the grade got an A because it's so off-centered. So, not bad. Okay, cool, Billy. You got it, man. That's all yours then, Billy. You got it. I'll have it mailed out to you this weekend, all right? Thanks for picking up that ETB. That goes over to Preston. Bradley is in the building. Says two fusion strike. You put them in Connor's back. All right, Bradley. Two fusion strike. Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> Look at, oh my God. Bro, that card is mega damaged. Well, 
We did get Deoxys and Panseer. That's nuts. How does that even happen? <laughs> I want a refund. It's all right, Bradley. Your best card, the Deoxys Hollow, is in pristine shape. PSA 10 condition. It's all right. Someone, I don't even know if they got hungry because that it wasn't even like fully gone. They just messed it up. They just scoop, scoop, scooped it. Arcanine. Arcanine. The dude's stealing the hits. Yup, he wanted a snack. He wanted a, and actually I think we gotta make Connor a new bag, but he did just pay for shipping as well, so that's all set. Thank you for that. Fusion strike. Sports cards, Connor. If anybody else is interested in the uh, Peldean Fates battle for tonight, it's 21 bucks. There still is room for those who might want to join. Oh, Billy says, let me get a legendary treasures. Oh, damn, Billy. All right, Billy, I've got three packs left. Do you want to pick a number? One to three. I've only got three left. Billy. And then, Billy, let me also get you a name tag. That way I can get that shipped out to you as well. Number two. Oh, okay, picking up the Mewtwo. Yup, yup, he changed his name and he'll never be forgotten, man. He is Sports Cards Connor. I don't know who else you're talking about. All right, cool. So, Billy, you're all set on that ETB. Thanks again for picking it up. And... Mewtwo from Legendary Treasures. Okay, absolutely ripped that pack up. Alright, Billy, come on. Show me a gold. An amazing Radiant card would be awesome to see. Sawaddle. A Wooba. Oh, Lucario Reverse. Glade, non hollow rare. Oh, we got an <laughs> we got another superior and Elsa from the rating collection. Nice, we'll take it. Superior. I don't do sports cards, just Pokemon. That kind of sounds like something someone who sells sports cards would say, honestly. Superior. Sound suspicious. Gully. Billy. Yeah, no, the superior is nice. I just think we actually pull that card today as well for somebody else. Kind of funny. But it is a nice looking card. It is. Billy. Superior is one of my favorite Pokemon. You know, I am kind of happy to hear you say that because I feel like I've never heard someone say that before. <laughs> so I'm happy to hear you say that, honestly. It's crazy to think that I'm pretty sure sports cards have been around for like, my God, bro, is it like over 50 years? Something like that. Something crazy like that, I think. Danny G. Ooh, 10 of the hero. Longer? Damn, bro. Like 75 years? All right, Danny G. 10 of the hero. We haven't opened up like a lot. Like at all, went once like this in a while. Danny G. 
four, six, eight, ten. Baseball cards were in cigarette packs in the 40s? I didn't know that. Over a hundred years? Wow. Can you guys imagine if Pokemon goes... Because Pokemon's at what? Like 26 years now? 27 years? Could you imagine if Pokemon goes for that long, man? That'd be crazy. And honestly, we're gonna do Dan because I don't want to show the back of your cards. Let me just cut them. That way I can just slide them out without showing your QR codes pretty easily. That's nuts. You know, the one thing that like it would always that always kind of like freaks me out about sports cards is it's been around for so long and so many different sets, so many different everything. Like, how do people even keep track? Like, as a new sports card collector, like, how do you even learn about how sets that came out in, like, 1970? You know? Eclipso. The Atom. Black Atom. Panel number two. Uh, Grizzly, there's 16 in the Weiss Pixar. And Top Series 2 sold out already. It sold out like first thing in the stream, really. They only had seven packs, so they sold out like pretty fast. Cyclone? Oh, this looks sweet. Shiva versus Nightwing. You don't, though? It's like, really? Hmm. Like, so. Like, you want the early, early sports stuff, but you don't want, like, the middle sports stuff? I've heard of, like, Junk Wax era. Hawkman. It worth so much, only a limited amount. Didn't want to be associated with cigarettes. Hmm. That's, like, an interesting fun fact. Makes sense, though. Back then, cigarettes were huge, man. They were, like, in every movie. Adds everything. Panel 5. Back in my day, I smoked cigs on the plane. Oh, we got The Rock himself, Black Adam. I think about getting some woman NBA cards. The, is that the new waifu cards? The WNBA new waifu card alert? Panel number six. Are you any still signature? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the reprint ones? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but those that don't think come out till June. So that is a while away, though. Oh, Ocean Master versus Aquaman. I feel like Aquaman would win. Of course, Superman, Batman, and all of them are just down there being useless. Wonder Woman. Leaving Aquaman to do all the heavy lifting. Bizarro. I remember when Six Flags uh, made the Bizarro roller coaster. Ooh, Batman versus the Joker. Dude, these cards look so nice. Adam Smasher. Steve Trevor versus Killer Frost. Invisible Jet. Adam Smasher. Adam Smasher. And Cyclone A368. You know, the Black Adam movie was really critically acclaimed to be really bad. Uh, I watched it in theaters. I thought it was all right. Like, I kind of liked it. I guess that one got a good taste in movies. Because I know critics were saying it was, like, the worst movie ever.
All right, cool. So, Dave, that's going to be a brand new bag. Critics are tards. You know, I wonder, how does somebody get to the point in their life where their critiques are, like, looked at as, like, the gold standard? How do you become a critique? How do you become a critic? I mean, obviously, everyone has their own critiques, but how do you become a critic, like a top critic? What do you got to do to be the top critic? You got to rate a thousand different movies before your opinions start to matter. Like, you know, how do you even figure that shit out? It's crazy that we're over 100 boxes, OPF7. No, man, that's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm freaking saying. That's nuts. Connor K says one paradox rip. Yeah, I guess, I guess you got to be very critical of everything. Connor K. Play the sport, then you can announce, but who listens to critics? Sports cards, Connor. One paradox riff with the double age of slash. Connor. <laughs> What's up, Tanner? Tanner's like, let's go. The trio is back. Connor. Holy moly! Dylan! Two sealed boxes of OP07. I'm trying to get a parallel ult art. Holy buggets! Alright, Dylan, we got two boxes coming up for you. Which one do you not want? Left, middle, right? You gotta remove one of them. Take away one of them. Holy buckets. Remove the right box, okay? Well, we'll see if that was the right choice. But I'm... Um, no? Okay. <laughs> funny? Not funny? Okay. All right, Dylan. Two boxes of bulk coming right up. Come on, baby. Moa, Moa, Moa. If we don't get a Moa, I'm gonna blow a something, something. Will this be it? It better be, bro. It better be. Or Bandai's gonna get some explaining to do. If anyone else does want to sign up for Peldean Fates, it's 21 bucks. There are still spots open for it. Dylan Onichon Foxy Zarkashan is trolling out two boxes of bolt. Well, I mean Dylan makes that joke himself, so I'll just copy him Not saying anything that Dylan hasn't said himself at least Bro, can I have more money for some victors instead? Yeah, yeah rich for sure, bro Zen Goku. I think I only got three Supreme Victor packs left. I think, well, I shouldn't say, but I think one of them was used for the Royal packs. So I think I only got three left. Hawkins. Chris says, no, Rich, not allowed. Dylan, all I see is bulk. Come on. Poke my eyes out or something. This is painful. You cut my life into pieces. Done, card. Frankie. I always ask for some reason. No, I mean, I appreciate you asking, Rich. Yeah, I mean, that's, I guess, the polite thing to do. So if anything, you were raised right. You know what I mean? 
Come on, Dylan. You know, the really funny thing, too, is I'm just kind of going ham on these packs. Eventually, one of them, we're just going to pop it out and boop. Mango. Ah, I love it. Are you shipping next week or this weekend? Uh, yes, Andrew, I'll be... Oh, we got a Luffy SR. Um, I will be shipping this weekend, and I will be trying to ship again on Wednesday. However, next week, we're going to be getting in the new set, Temporal Forces. So I can only imagine there's going to be a lot more orders than normal because uh, of the new set release, and therefore also more shipping than normal next week. So if you have a bunch of stuff... If you have a bunch of stuff and you want to get shipped, I would say this weekend is your best. Are all these sleeves like that? Bro, they all are. What happened? They like got melted or something? All right, hold on. Very gentle. Let me just get a new bag of sleeves at this point. Yeah, they're all kind of like that. Okay. Um, but yes, anyways, what I was trying to say is that this weekend, you will never be missed. Because this weekend, I'll have plenty of time to still get everybody shipped out that wants to be shipped. Wednesday, I'm going to be on a time crunch because I got to ship everybody. And I got to drop them off. And I got to get make it to my airport to make my flight. And got to make sure I'm all packed up. So Wednesday is going to be a lot more busy for me than compared to this weekend. So if you request shipping for this weekend, it'll be shipped, no questions asked. If you request it for Wednesday, it might be a chance that it still gets missed. If I don't have enough time to ship everybody. So if you want to play it safe, I'd say just ship this weekend. If you want to order again next week and request on Wednesday, hopefully I'll be able to get both out. But if not, at least everything you have right now will still get shipped out this weekend. That would be my advice. Trumpin', you got work! Boo! But you're trumpin'. If you are heading out, man, as always, thanks as, as always, trumpin'. Yeah, sorry if that was like a long-winded response, but yeah, I'm shipping this weekend, shipping again Wednesday, but this weekend for sure is your best bet. Plus, if more people get shipped this weekend, that means less I gotta do on Wednesday, so better chance I can ship everybody on Wednesday as well. Damn, dude, we're in lawless lands? No mods right now? Oh my god. Oh my god. We really might need to start considering getting a mod from, like, you know, the west side. The west side. Part time in the work to <laughs> I wish. I freaking wish. I would say the worst part about this gig that I have is the shipping. That is hands down the worst part. If I was, like, charging, I don't know, like, $10 for shipping, and I actually, like, made a buck or two every time I shipped a package, I would feel better. But I actually lose money on shipping, and I lose a shit ton of time, and it's just boring to do it. So shipping's got to be the worst for me, period. So if I could get someone else to do it, that'd be, my life would be so much happier. So much happier. If only you guys all lived here, could come pick up your own cards, I'd have to ship it. That'd be nice. But, you know, I do actually know, like, a couple people that live here in Mass. I wonder if I offer them, like, a part-time gig just coming in to pack stuff, like, twice a week if I'm gonna be down. Frankie. Bunch of lingerers, you think so? Nah, I'd have to be, like, ironclad about it. Pick up your stuff and leave. <laughs> Pick up your stuff and leave. The exit's that way. Because it's not like you're coming to a, a brick and mortar. You're coming to my house to pick it up. It'd be like door delivery. Although, you guys are doing the delivery? I don't know. I volunteer as tribute.
Wait, you got 25 sealed cases of what? I lost 400. Won 350 back on Baccarat. Baccarat. Oh, Dylan, come on. Chopper. Literally last pack of the box. Oh, don't say it. Oh, don't say it. Dylan, don't look, bro. I... Dylan, don't look, bro. I think we just got you another Luffy. Yep. Twenty-five cases of Scarlet Violet base. Um, Dylan, I may have been joking around about the bulk, but maybe I shouldn't have joked around because we got you dupe hits from both boxes. Oh my god. Oh my god, Dylan. All right, Dylan, this is the best I can do for you, man. Here, just for you. I have a question. Oh God. Why? <laughs> All right, Dylan. I appreciate you picking up two boxes. Although, <laughs> Dylan, I'm gonna blame you, Dylan. You got it. You needed to pick a different box to remove. I like the card. No, the card's nice. Yeah, don't get me wrong. This is better than some of the other other stuff we could have got, but. Two of the same card. I don't know. Maybe you don't care about the dupe, though. That'd be true. It's a good card. I don't know if that one's like... It is Luffy. So maybe that one is like particularly better than the other ones. Price-wise, too. Asteroid Boy Luffy. Kind of true, right? Kind of true. This boa doesn't exist. I guess that's what I get. For being a good person and making sure all my boxes come from sealed cases but i guess yeah i guess you don't want to do that adam m says let me snipe a unagaba uh dylan i think you might be on a three i think you might be at three possibly four but i guess dylan case in point wouldn't be a bad idea to ship this weekend if you want we do have quite a few bags now Yep, Billy, only two left. Yep, LT, two left, and I'm sold out. Adam. But yeah, I mean, we got... I think we got like four more boxes of OPO7 until it's sold out. Oh, Adam with the Vaporeon. I have faith. I'm hoping, bro. I'm hoping, man. I've never had a manga chase be this tough. Never. Like, OPO 5, it took a 77 boxes, but it came out eventually. It came out eventually, at least. Oh my god, Rich says PF Battle. And then he's swapping to two Supreme Victors. Holy crappy. Damn rich. Okay, so Rich, what I got left... I've got Garchomp, Charizard, and Rayquaza. So, Rich, I guess I'll let you choose which of the pack arts I guess do you not want, or which ones do you want. Woo! Rich, he's going crazy!
Now, Supreme Victors can pull the level X Charizard. I have one in my slab stack that's Japanese, but this is where you get the English one from. Ray Ray and Zard? Okay, good pick. So, Garchomp, I'll probably put that one in a Royal 5 pack. Now we got one left eventually. Okay, Rich, would you like to weigh anything? Just open them, or how would you like to go about it? Because Char Charizard pack art's pretty. I mean, Rayquaza and Charizard pack arts are both freaking solid. I think the pack trick is three for this set, if I'm not mistaken. Richie, going ham. I don't have any info myself, Rich, but if one weighs more than the other, that's at least a pretty good indicator that one will have a hit and one might not. So if you want to weigh them, we can. If they both weigh the same, that means you either got two lights or two heavies, but if they weigh differently, then at least we kind of know this one probably has a better chance of having hit, the other one probably doesn't. Okay, so he says he's down away. Alright, Rayquaza. Weighing in at 18.25. Let's let me put it on there. It's kind of half off. 18.25. Oh, okay. So 18.10 on the Charizard and 18.25 on the Ray Ray. So if I was a betting man, I would say Rayquaza might have a hit in it. Charizard might not have a hit in it. But then again, you know, weights are no 100%, you know, meaning anything, really. So not bad. So if we are going to open Rich, I would say start with the Rayquaza, because it's the heaviest. And that way, if you want to keep the Charizard sealed, that's not a bad idea either. Okay, cool, Rich, let's do it. All right, Rayquaza. Bro, such a nice pack art, man. Platinum Supreme Victors. Can we get a level X Zard? That's the question. So, level X's are what we're looking for in here. In particular, like I said, level X Charizard is the one we really, really want to see. Okay, we're going to cop three to the front. Ooh, it does look light blue, so that's a good sign. I think. Masquerain, Numel, Floatzel, Cordfish. Oh, bro. Mudkip, hands down, my favorite starter. Fight me in the chat, fight me in the comments. Mudkip, favorite starter, period. Growlithe, Roselia, Baltoy. Reverse VS Seeker. That actually might be worth something. I think it's playable. And the rare. It's a non hollow. Soul Rock. Ooh, Rich. <laughs> oh, okay. Then what the hell is going to be in the point 11? VS Seeker. Ooh, all right, Rich. That is going to throw me for a loop. Charizard point 11. Hmm. I always confuse Supreme Victors with Stormfront for some reason. I can see why. I can see why. Okay, damn, bro. Rich is crazy, guys. Rich is crazy. All right, so this one weighs less, which... I guess makes you wonder, if that doesn't have a hollow in it, why is this one so less? Is it missing a card? Man, I was really hoping we got a hollow in there, bro. That Via Seeker's 12 bucks? Oh, not bad for like just a random, random card, honestly. Gibble for the culture. One, two, three. Ooh, Skarmory, Falconer, Skarmory, Masquerain, Numel, Gibble, Magnemite, Zubat, Turtwig, Cherubi, Hippo, 
Come on. Oh, and that's a non-holo. Man, I thought that was gonna be a holo there. Corfish as a non-holo rare. Or sorry, Crawdon. What am I saying? Corfish. Crawdon, which is the evolved form of Corfish. Wow. Dude, this pack really kind of pissed me off because I'm just gonna show this off too. So it might be hard to notice with the sleeve on it, but the card on the front is lighter. So this card is lighter, which means usually when you open up a pack and one of the cards is lighter, that's because it came from a different sheet, aka it's a hollow sheet or a hit sheet. But this one right here is way lighter than these two. So I was really, really, really gunning on this one, especially it being a heavier weight. I like it. Oh, man, sometimes the weights just don't even matter, I guess. That's the crazy part. Rich. Sheesh. Dude, Rich, that was kind of crazy, bro. Two Supreme Victors. Less ink? I suppose. Pose, that could be it too but i don't know like from whenever i open up like vintage packs usually as soon as i see the hit card in the back i can tell by the color of the back if it's a hollow or not so i was hoping that'd kind of be the case here with the supreme victors as well it's not over damn rich you're going nuts Grizzy says, let me get a box of Pixar. Rich is going crazy, guys. All right, Grizz, would you like right or would you? Oh, he says left. That was quick, Grizz. Okay. What kind of playlist should we use for the, for the later night stream? What do you guys think? I guess we could keep the Sam one, but. Dude, yeah, a Luxo would be nice. I pulled a Steamboat Willy. I have not yet pulled a Luxo, so that'd be ideal. Pixar. Camel course with late night vibes. I don't actually know what that is, Dom. I'm assuming that's an artist, but I don't actually know their music. If I if it was up to me right now, I'd probably play some some old little Wayne. <laughs> play some old little Wayne, you know? Grizzy. Come on. Great. Rips is going heavy. See, I don't actually know what that is. Is that what kind of music is that? Forever? Yeah, dude. Forever my ever my. Yeah, dude. I used to listen to that all the time growing up. Forever, Ransom's a really good song too. Ransom's a nice one. Steady Mobbin. Millie. Old 50 Cent. Kind of a vibe for it, you know? Spork. Oh, we got an SR from Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Demolition Freestyle by Lil Wayne. He murders it. Not many people know about it. That doesn't sound... I know a lot of Lil Wayne stuff, but that one does not sound familiar to me. Was that like a, a freestyle he did on like a, a talk show? Like a radio show? Because I know all the Carters. I am President Carter. I also like a lot of Lil Wayne's like off the, the rap kind of genre too. Like Prom Queen. Power Revolver, the album where it was like, the one, the album that he had, I think it was called Rebirth, actually. Ooh, Finding Nemo Pixar Rare. I 
I'm pretty sure they are on DS. Really? Are you sure though? Wow. I used to use a playlist on Spotify that was supposed to be copyright free. And then years later, I started getting, oh, and an SR from Luca. I started getting hit by copyright strikes on all my old videos. So I try to be like very, very sure about it because my channel has a lot of like copyright stuff already from all my older streams. So I try to be very careful with the whole copyright issues. I don't want to get my channel like demonetized or deleted or whatever. I've heard like people tell me that like apparently like video game soundtracks are usually non-copyright either. But I just I just stick with the stuff that I like know for sure is good. Grizzy with the Pixar. Hey, I don't like my single orders. You're actually up next, Abby. Yeah, I think we got three orders in the queue. We've got Abby, Nick, and Adam. So you're actually up next, Abby. No, Grizz, thank you for picking up a box today on me. Thank you, man. Let's start a riot. You know, I remember... I remember when, like, every single video on YouTube was using the same song. Let the bodies hit the f- Let the bodies hit the- t t Ah! <laughs> Abby says a 151 snipe. Abby. Let the bodies hit the- Ah! Parasect, and Paris, and Gengar, and the energy. Abby. Not a fan of ST Anger Panther, Saint Anger. Just energy for me? Okay. Abby, with the energy. How many swirls we got? Yo, no swirls. I think it's rarer for your card to have zero swirls on it than to have like four. There is not a single swirl on that one. I don't know. Maybe there's some anti-swirl people out there that might pay a premium for that. <laughs> Just a joke. Because everyone's always like, oh, there's a premium. Nicholas Y. says, so let me get six OP07 and three of the EV heroes. Okay, uh, so Nick, I think you might have overpaid. You said six OP07, three EV heroes. It counts out to be 39. You sent 51. So maybe, maybe you wanted... Eh, I don't know, actually. It's like I bought the Espeon deck because you weren't taking Espeons anymore. Yeah, Rich, no longer taking the Espeons, man. Um, I mean, bro, look at this. I got so many. I bought three of them back. And they just don't look like tens. So, and I already got three of them. So, I don't think I need any more, really. Yeah, Rich, you sold them back to me. I think someone else did too. Uh, okay, so Nick, let me take a look. So, three of you heroes, that's nine bucks. Minus 51 puts us at 42. So, 8 OP07 and 3 EV heroes? Credit? Ah, uh, sure, sure, sure. Alright, so Nick, you got a $51 credit then, okay? Biggie uh, Matama remixes, you should have to check it out after the stream. He was saying it's non-copyrightable. Do you think that's true? Like, is that correct? Adam says, let me get another Yunagaba. Adam. Scratch the Eevee heroes and get an Evolving Skies. If he says so, he's probably right. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. I don't think I want to play it on stream just in case, but I can definitely take a look at it. All right, come on. Show me an umbi. 
Ooh, Jolteon. Okay, we are still seeing some new ones. That's nice. Adam M with the Jolty. The answer is always Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith. Oh my god, Rich, dude. Yo, Rich is nuts. <laughs> Rich is nuts. He says SB on deck and an LT. All right, Rich, I've got, how many decks do I have left? I got three of these decks left. And two LT. All right, so Rich, what are you thinking? Do you want Genesect or uh, Reshiram? Is that wrong? Man, I've only got two LT left. Holy buckets. Fresh? Okay. That leaves one Genesect pack left. That's it. And then, by the way, these three are the fossil packs that I bought off the guy. We're supposed to have one heavy, two lights. And it does check out. So these I'm kind of saving for the royal packs. That way I can put two lights and a heavy in it for the fossil, which is nice. All right, and then three for the deck. That's going to be this one. Man, I had a whole case of those. I had eight of those at one point, and now I only have two left. All right, Rich. We'll open up the pack inside of here last, but let's just open up. Let's see what your promo and stuff's looking like. Bro, that hitbox went crazy today, so I gotta refill that as well. Ooh, Jolteon pack art. I will say, though, this is packed in a pretty nice way to the point where... Okay, a little bit off-centered, it looks like. Got a little corner thing going on here. A white dot in that top corner. Hopefully, a, like still a nine. I mean, this might be an eight, but it'll be like a nine because nines of these still go for like hundred bucks. So nine really isn't too bad. Cynical coin. Factory F. Yeah, dude. I mean, the, almost all of these are kind of like that. It seems like really. Okay, let's grab these out too because I want to grab the Espeon and stuff out of here. All right, and those are just booklets, uh, damage markers, and, and etc. Like that. Yeah, they they seem really tough. Um, I know Matt said he's opened up a bunch of these like years ago and didn't get a single ten. I think he said so. They're tough. Maybe it was a little bit, maybe I was a little optimistic on how well they would grade just because I, I like the card a lot. So I was hoping it'd be easy, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be easy. So Rich, I'll send you all the bulk from your two if you'd like it, but I do just want to pick out the good ones and get those sleeved up for you too. And the rest we could just send in like a team bag. There's the Mac Daddy, the rare non-holo SBI. So what do you guys think? Should we do, I think we should do Undaunted last. What do you guys think? Got a Togepi. There should be one more Eevee in here that I'm looking for. There it is. Sending a hundred at once. Dude, to get a hundred of these would be crazy. 
If you own a hundred of these promos, like, oh my god, especially to get them now. Because you gotta remember, these came out years ago. So, like, maybe at the time when these were out, I'd be like 15, 20 bucks in the stores. But nowadays, to buy a bunch of these and open them, that'd be nuts. Alright, Rich! Well, let me know if you want to weigh anything as far as Undaunted goes. Just keep in mind, there's like a little bit of like a glue mark kind of left on the pack. And, starting off with Legendary Treasure. Okay, Rich, you got it, man. Sounds good. Not too. Dino. Tangela. Gothita. Oh, that is sick. Yo. Nice. Mewtwo. Oh. Oh, and a Reshiram. Nice. Can we get a Radiant as well? Oh my god, that's not a bad one either. Piplup. And Audino. Wow, that was a great pack, Rich. Holy buckets. There's only seven Espeon 10s and only four. Um, what? That could be why they're worth so much. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> only seven of them? Oh my god. And four Umbies? I wonder how much the Umby goes for. I guess back then, grading stuff wasn't really a, a popular option. Hey, Six. Ah, uh, there is. It's 21 bucks, three packs of Paldean Fates. Wow, that was a great pack, Rich. That was a really good pack, actually. I don't even know which one I like the most. I kind of like that Mewtwo, bro. The Piplup's really nice, too, but I really like this Mewtwo, actually. And you'd be surprised. Sometimes these hollows actually go for it. Especially the popular Pokemon, kind of go for a nice chunk of change. Okay, and can we do it with the Undaunted now? Primes or Legends? Come on. Bro, the Zard is like rare as heck, man. I've only pulled that Zard like once, maybe twice. What's up, Blaine? It's 25 bucks and it's out of 20 spots. <gasps> oh my God. Rich. All right, guys. I saw something. I oh, you can see it. Matang. Larion. Togetic. Stunky. Beldum. Rattata. Oddish. Murkrow. And come on. Oh my god! Bro. Oh my god, dude. This is insane. Oh my god, this is insane, bro. No way. No way. Umbreon Prime! And a non hollow rare. Oh my god, Rich. Dude, this card is sexy as heck. I think I turned to a furry now. Oh my lord. Umbreon Prime. That is the best pull in this whole set. Nice, dude. Okay, first, before we top, let's do, let's do some condition checking here. So, centering is not picture perfect. It's like a little bit thicker on that right side there by a teeny bit. white speck in that corner there other corner looks good all 
Okay, so Rich, centering's not picture perfect. I do see a little white dot down there. If I had to give a pre-grade to this, I'd say probably like a, assume like a PSA 9. Oh my god. As an Umbreon fan, this card is ridiculous, man. Oh my god. This is so nice. Whoa, Rich, that was, dude, this opening was great. The LT was great. The Undaunted was even better. I am, fa I'm, I'm fainting. Fain, fain. Wow. Okay, Rich, that was great, dude. We're at 6.56 for that timestamp, too. Wow, Rich, that is so nice, dude. Chris, congrats on the hit, man. That's fantastic. That really is. Nice pick on the deck, man. Nice pick on the deck, Rich. If you picked a different number, I think Grizz gave you the number too, right? They seated the Umbreon with an Espeon, huh? Hey, dude, honestly, yeah. Got an Umbreon, or sorry, an Espeon promo and an Umbi. Whew, bro, that card is so nice. That is awesome, Rich. I'm happy for you, bro. That's a great looking card. I love Umbreon too. Let's take one more look at it. Ooh, that's sweet. That is sweet. Okay, and Legendary Treasures is sold out. I believe Billy bought the last pack. So Legendary Treasures is sold out. Okay, Grinch, sounds good. Rich, keep in mind, this month it's $10 cheaper. PSA is doing a discount this month for $10 off, so I'm also able to give you guys $10 off just for this month only, though. So I'm planning to send it all when I get back because uh, it's not really that big. I don't know if there's a limit, though. I got to see if there's a limit, but I am charging only $55 this month because it's $10 cheaper for me at PSA with it because I got a deal going on. All right, let me just take LT off the menu first because it's sold out. And we will definitely try to get more of it. It's just really hard to find packs that are not, you know, tampered with, etc. So it's hard to really find good, good quality packs. Okay, but LT is sold out. Still got a couple of those undaunted theme decks left. And Goki says five for the MOA. I can't help it. A gold Tina would have been better? You're crazy, dude. You're crazy. All right, Koki, here we go. All right, now to match that Umbreon, we need the MOA. That is the only way to match the Umbi. Koki, Cokester, come on. Chopper. Otama. Oh, and we do grab you a Frankie parallel. Frankie. Not bad, Koki. Five packs. Put on a parallel. Not bad. Frankie. Dude, yeah, Rich. I'm with you on that, man. Absolutely. Especially after the... I'm still so kind of upset by the Supreme Victors, man. It looked really good. Like, as, it fooled me. Because as we were opening it, I'm like, oh, here, we're going to get a hit. The color was, the weight was higher. The color was right. I felt really good about it.
The Mewtwo Rich Pull is worth $17. And that's raw, right? That's not even like a graded copy. Did the mango ever happen? No. Not yet. No, I'm not gonna say no. I'm gonna say not yet. Because I'm hoping we still have a chance to pull it tonight. Sag is right, brother. Sag is right. Peter! 10! OP07, Peter L. 6, 7, 9, 10. Peter! Dude, we gotta do another heart gold break. Those, I love that set. 4, 6, 8, 10. I love Undaunted, I love Unleashed. Triumphant's kind of alright. Base is great. Like, Heart Gold Soul Silver doesn't have any bad sets. And you gotta remember, Call of Legends came out during that time frame, too. So, in my opinion, Heart Gold Soul Silver is probably the best era to have been a collector. That Those sets are fire as heck. They're so nice. <laughs> yeah, Undaunted is my favorite now. <laughs> alright. Now that that was a really great pull, man. I've seen that Umbi before too. I remember I was almost gonna buy a copy, a graded copy, but I was just like, eh, it's too much. The tens go for thousands, man. Ace. Lowercase. The lowercase EXs were great too. They're just so hard to get nowadays because the freaking EX arrows are so expensive. All of them. Peter Pan, Corina. Ha, a little bit. Peter! Man, Boa. Boa, 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 where art thou? The Hollow One Ghosts are so much in the 10. Are you talking about the Mewtwo? The Upper Room Prime is hard to pull. And the clean one is even harder. Yeah, so that's the thing, right? Is obviously, Pack Fresh gives you the best chance out of 10. But even then, it's not necessarily guaranteed, right? So, it is tough. On the occasion where we actually do get a 10 on a Pack Fresh card, it's so nice. It's so refreshing to see. Nicholas says six OP07 and seven of the EV heroes. Okay, cool, Nick. That is how it broke down. Perfect. You got it, Nick. All right, let's get your fresh box. Dude, I want I want to do a Call of Legends break. That'd be nice. Four. Six. The Call of Legend boxes, man. I'm pretty sure the last one I saw when it was like nine grand. <laughs> Which is still pretty high. Two, four, six. Seven Eevee Heroes. Two, four, six, seven. Coming to Call of Legends, if it ever happens, I have to find a box that I think is like decently priced when it comes to vintage i really only pull the trigger on it if i find one that's like kind of under market that way if i hold on to it and i never needed to sell it as a seal box at least i can still move it with some motion bro we opened up so many pop fives you opened up almost well i guess that's not true because we had 10 i bought 10 i think abby got one sealed i think someone else might have got one sealed too so we didn't actually open up all 10 of them, but we opened up a decent bit of it. Just look at them for, yeah, I guess so, right? I guess one way to kind of 
get that feeling is to watch someone else pull it, I guess. It's true. But I don't know. Whenever I watch someone else pull it, it just leads to me like, damn, bro, now I really gotta go pull it so I can do it too. Boston will win? Well, I'm from Boston, Billy, so I'm a little bit biased. I'm gonna say yeah. Just because I'm from Boston. Ha, a little bit. I just went and bought the Mewtwo on eBay. Oh, nice. There you go. Yeah, that Mewtwo card's really nice. And Sanji Nicholas Wall. I got an L-Play one for five bucks. Nice. Some people are picky about what they put in their binders. Some people aren't picky. I think I'm more probably along the lines of one of the pickier ones. Oh yeah, bro. Legendary Treasures is fantastic. I've been opening up that set for years. I'm gonna try, Rich. It's getting more and more dry as the years goes on, I've noticed. People that have... I there, there are some people that have, like, hundreds of them. And usually what I'll do is... I, I know who they are. They have they've had them for years. There's a really big chain of... Like, a you know, chain... Of like legitimacy with them, they're unweighed. We pull tons of news of Pikachu's out of them. They're just asking so much now, because like a year ago I used to be able to buy them for cheaper, and then you know six months ago cheaper. Now it's like when I ask, they're like, "Yeah, I want this much for it." I'm like, "Bro, are you serious?" I'm asking like double what I used to pay you guys for them. But you know it makes sense because as the price on them go up, you know they're gonna ask more. It makes sense, but it's just like tough. And I hate restocking something and it's not the same price. Obviously it's the way the you know the way the world works, but I hate that feeling where I'm like, man, I gotta buy for more charge the more I hate that. So we'll see. If I can find some good stuff, I'm always gonna pick it up. I'm always looking. That's the, that's the thing about me. That's how I have so much stuff, Rich, is I'm always looking. Always. Six is in for the PF battle. So I know a place to get them where they're nice untampered with they just are asking a lot nowadays billy said my last legendary treasure so it kind of takes some macgyvering a little bit all right billy this is it my last freaking pack this is it no i don't get them poke your rev no boost box of LT yeah I would say so around four grand I mean uh, you know you always get stuff a little bit higher or lower depending where you buy it from but all right so Billy I'm sure you don't care but I didn't mean to show your code sorry about that it was just the back it was backwards in there Magikarp Wubat Dwebble Zoelius for the reverse Empoleon non hollow rare <gasps> And a Meloetta! Oh yeah, Billy! Very nice. Alright, last two packs. Really pulling out with the magic there. I'd like to see it. That's a Meloetta Full Art from the Radiant Collection. Number 25 out of 25, too. Nice. That was our last pack magic there too, so we'll take it. We need more LT, I know. <laughs> I'll work on it, man. Like I said, it's tough. Because if I do get LT, you know, I gotta make sure I'm doing my due diligence and I'm not just buying a bunch of dud packs, you know? So it's not easy, trust me. 
In a world full of scumbags, it is not easy to navigate and actually get good products, especially with the vintage stuff. As it starts to dwindle, 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 it's tougher. Billy! Johnny. So I think um, the last door in the queue is our boy Rich who's sending in for the grading. So I think it'd be a good option to do the battle at this point in time. If anyone else wants to join up, it's 21 bucks to get three packs of Caldean Fates. And if anyone else does want to play some for tonight, you sure, sure as heck can. Uh, because I think I'm going to be up for a long time tonight. So I'm totally cool with streaming hella late. If it's, you know, feasible. Okay, and then Rich says, let's grade the Umbreon. And the Machamp, okay? This one is the bag that doesn't have the top layer in it. It's not this one. I don't love you anymore. That bag doesn't have it. Are you sure, Rich, that we didn't ship out your Machamp? I don't think we did, but just double check. A just chatting stream? There's the bag with the umbi. Look one more time. But Rich, I didn't see any more in the little extra area here. So it's possible we ship it out to you, really. I think we just shipped you not too long ago. And this is just the common bulk from the deck box. Yeah, dude, Rich, we might have shipped it out, man. We might have shipped it out already. So, Rich, I don't know if I have your Machamp here still. Wait, let me check. That's the bag that doesn't have it. That ain't gonna have it. That ain't gonna have it. I only watch Asian ripping ships. I guess that makes sense. I am technically Asian. Technically. Uh, it's possible, Rich. Maybe I'm just not finding it because I'm dumb, but I look pretty hard. I'm not seeing the bag. So let me just take a look, Rich, when I last shipped you. Real quick. So we shipped you on 3-7. 3-7. And three seven was Shining Legend. Okay, so three seven and three eight. What do we want? Tribal Blister, Undaunted. Okay, Rich. No, I think it should still be here. So I'm gonna look a little bit harder. Maybe I just didn't see it. No, he got two of them. Mo got two of them. So Richie got two of them. He got two of them. One we did send out, one should be in a bag. Alright, sure. So I'm gonna look one more time through all of these bags. I 
guys got so many over here that are not alphabetized. So let's do these one more time. Also, let's get these. They're all slash with people. Yeah, Rich, I'm not seeing another bag, man. Um, I shipped you out on 2-7. Let's see, is that showing movement in transit? Yeah, okay, that's what I'm having here. Two seven three seven because that was the night you bought the rocket returns. I didn't remember that, but I think I should still have it. But did I put in the wrong in the wrong alphabet? Maybe? Oh, that's what it was, Rich. I got your freaking ETB here. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. That's what it was. I have an ETB of stuff for you. And I was looking in the... <laughs> Alright, well there it is. It's gonna be in here for sure. I got all your stuff in this ETB, so it's definitely in this one. Okay. No problem. I was going crazy. I'm like, bro. There's, I'm like, there's no way I lost it. There it is. So instead of being where the regular bags are, you had a, you're up at this kind of like area that I got people have a lot of bags I make them like an ETB of it okay cool what's in here oh the magnemite for rock returns perfect okay cool and the cool thing is is these will just go right back in here as well all right perfect so Rich, there we go we found the answer to the question All right, cool, Switch. We are all set. Would it possibly require as the cost of my bag for you prior to your trek across the ocean to the DR? Uh, yeah, sure, Nick. I mean, I know for sure you have that Rocker Returns pack. So that I know for sure you have. So that alone, I think, is if you, if you don't plan to open it, I think that alone is worth getting sent out to you. But I can show you your bags, too, if you like. Someone is feeling verbose tonight? What's that vocabulary, man? That's impressive. I don't know what that word actually means, verbose. Wow, Rich, you are going to have two Machamps coming back. That is actually... <laughs> That is something. You're gonna have two of those with champs coming back. All right, so Rich, let me just make sure I add you here to the spreadsheet. Mark it down for two cards and you're all set. All right, so Rich, you are all set. You're all tacked up in the spreadsheet. And here's the current sub, actually. Got a lot of poker cards in there. Got a lot of Umbreons in there. Which have look like a nine, you think? So a little bit thicker on that side by a smidge. Not by much, but it is a little bit noticeably thicker over here. And I do see some white dots. Yeah, 
Yeah, Rich, I, I would probably say nine. Just because the centering's not perfect. It's like a little bit thicker over here on the back, too. A little bit thinner down there, a little bit thicker over there. And then I do see two white dots. So I'm, I'm going to hope for, like, at least a nine. I say if you get a 10, the grader was blind. If you get a nine, I think that's worth it. If you get an eight, I think you got shamoozed. But I would say probably a nine on the Machamp. And probably a nine on the MB2, if I had to guess. But you never know, man. We've seen cards that look like crap get PSA 10s. A good example was Grand Zapdos from base. It got a 10, and that card looked like crap. <laughs> so you never know. If it's a valuable card, I think it's worth kind of tossing the dice a little bit, in my opinion. Nicholas Y. 6. OP07. 4. EV Hero. I got the new toilet paper with big words, figured I'd put it to use. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that's like a real product. Toilet paper with vocab on it, learn while you poo. Learn some new vocab words while you poo. Alright, Nick. Grant's always the example. Bro, because his Zapdos was the craziest thing I've ever seen, dude. That card getting a 10... Essentially is, like, just nuts. Like, if that could happen, that means it could happen to any single one of us. And that's a blessing, I guess. On the caveat, though, you could have the reverse happen. Grimmsnarl. It's funny too because you would assume the Japanese base set card to be better condition, usually. Frankie. I love that there's so many people with the name Nick. That open stuff makes you feel like I'm included in the majority of the stream. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Bro, what's up with these? They're all backwards. I'm opening it up backwards. Otama. Otama. And we got Foxy as the leader. I mean, dude, I, I've owned a lot of slabs, man, and I've seen a lot of 10s that are like, bro, are you serious? I guess a good example, man, I can show you a really good example right now. And it could be very possible because it was super early, but look. So this Zapdos is a really, really early cert. So you can see, that's before PSA even had the Lighthouse logo here on the front of it. So this was a really early copy graded of the Zapdos. I mean, bro, you can tell right away. It's super off-center. It's really thin over here, really thick over there. There might even be like a little... Some, I mean, you could argue maybe that I got damaged while it was in the case already graded, but I mean, there's like another one right there. That's a PSA 10. Now, like I said, granted, this was really, really early on in the company when they were probably, you know, still a little bit more lenient with things, but that's a 10. That is a PSA 10 right there. That is a 10. Juicy it says four vintage singles. Can I also check out my bag? Juicy. Yeah, honestly, bro, you've hated on Helen Keller a lot, man. What did she do? She was born like that. She got no choice in the say. She got no choice in the matter. Tentacruel. 
So Juicy, I believe you also have a Neo pack with me still, if I'm not mistaken. Let's grab you that random vintage hollow. Go like this, grab you this one. Ooh, Magneton Hollow from Fossil. Magneton. Juicy. All right, so Juicy, as far as your bag goes, uh, it's not too big. Yeah, not too big, Juicy, but you have the Neo Pack, Juicy. And that's really the most important thing that you got in your bag. So you got a Neo Pack. It's not going to be in here because those are kept separately, up nice and safe from anything. But that's what's currently in your bag, Juicy. And I think you got a Neo Destiny pack in you still, too. Nicholas Y, six more. OP07. Helen Keller was a beast. They made us watch a documentary about her in school, man. They made us watch it. Rock oh, okay, maybe you got both, or maybe it is the rocket, maybe I'm mistaken, but I know you got a vintage pack, at least one, at least. Because I know I keep seeing your name in that box when I go to ship people. And the Louvie. Bro, we keep getting Otama! Tony Hinchcliffe talking about important people that have come from Alabama. Sweet home Alabama. Bonnie. The slip, uh, no, Juicy. Whatever is here is here, Juicy. The problem is, is everything is kept kind of separate. The slabs are kept where I keep all the slabs. The vintage box breaks are kept separately. The normal stream bags are kept separately. So, you probably got stuff in all these different things, Juicy, but I can't, like, grab them all for you because they're, you know, they're all so far away. So, whatever you've ordered since your last shipment, Juicy, I definitely got for you. And if those have not shipped yet, then they're definitely still here. Kind of ironic. Honestly, I was just singing a song. Does that have to do with Sweet Home Alabama? So we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 13 players. Okay. So, I think it's going to be time to get into our Betel. If anybody else wants to sign up for the Peldean Fates battle tonight, it's 21 bucks. And is the last call for new participants. Okay, yeah, Juicy. Feel free to send it for it. We can still got room for you. I'm gonna quickly go grab some packs. Sweet home Alabama. Now I gotta wait till Monday for more poker cards. It's very true. And who knows, maybe it doesn't fill out on Monday. All right, but let me keep these separately. I'll put these in this box. That way nothing gets mixed up. enough packs yep nick 21 for the battle yes sir man 
what a string. We got, we had saw some vintage, some Umbreon, some poker goodness. We saw some resealed hidden fate tins. What a what a roller coaster. Juicy is in for Peldean fates. Juicy. Reed is in for the battle. Reed. Okay, we well got some new players. Kind of randomly throw you guys in there. We'll shuffle it again. All right, Nick, you got it, brother. Feel free. Nick is in. Nick is, <laughs> oh wait, okay Nick, I think you want the battle, you said 6 with Ropio 7, but I'm pretty sure that's just for the battle, yeah? This could have been poker spots, true, but people wanted to do the battle. Oh, wait a minute, AJ is in as well, oh damn, we got a lot of last minute players in there. Anybody else planning to sign up before I shuffle again? Any other one? Anybody else planning to sign up? AJ is in as well. AJ came with the perfect time, bro. What's up? Less risk, but definitely higher reward. I don't know, I guess, because... What's the risk in poker? You get a bad poker card, which could still easily get your $15 back. Risk in this one is you're just completely out your three packs. So I guess they're true. That's true, actually. Okay, so I think that's everybody. Let me pull up the price guide real quick. And we'll get it rocking. Ooh, Mew's gone down a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot of it. Charizard down like a little bit, but Mew's down quite a bit, actually. Bro, Pikachu's almost at Iono price. Oh my god. All right. So that's good enough for me. I'm just going to grab a little bit more packs, just in case, because we got more people that joined up. So I'll put some... All around here. Alrighty. This is it, everybody. No one else joined. We got our final title count. We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 players. So what? It's like 52 packs. 18 times 3. Nicholas Y is up first. Nick. Great Tusks. I can't think of a Gen 1 Fire Pokemon three stage other than the Zard lineup. Yeah, I mean, you got Arcanine, but that's only two stage. You got Rapidash Ponyta, that's also only two stage. What else? Paladin Stutz. Um, Magmar, but that doesn't even evolve. What other fire types are there? I guess Eevee, but Eevee into Flareon is only another two stage. There might not be Grizz. There might not even be a third stage other one than Charizard. Andrew D is up next. Andrew D. <laughs> I should have joined the poker. Yeah. I think you were right. Solo's right when he said less risk for sure. Luxray. Palafin. Okay, so Andrew D, Luxray, and Palafin. We got Billy. All right, Billy, you're up next. 
So hopefully if you guys are in the poker, I know I didn't go off tonight the second one, but hopefully you'll be going off on Monday at the very least. Speaking of Magmar, there's a Magmar. Um, Billy. <laughs> Billy got nada. Juicy. All right, Juicy. Here we go. Come on. Arboliva. Arboliva. I feel like I haven't seen Arboliva in a very long time, actually. Imagine if the OG3 was like Butterfree, Polaroth, and Magmar. You think people would go to love them though? That's the funny thing. Like, cause now we know the, you know, we know the OG3 as it is. So I guess we're already kind of full of the idea of it, but. Have we done Connor's packs yet? Uh, what's up, Brad? I think Connor ordered a, um, he ordered the fusion and he ordered one paradox. And if that's what you're talking about, then yeah, we open those. All right, Juicy. Connor, oh, Connor, there you go. You meant for the battle. Gotcha. Connor, you're actually up next. Sorry, Brad. I didn't know what you were talking about. But yeah, Connor's battle, he's actually up right now. Funny enough. Golden Goat. Right, Grizz. That's what I'm thinking, man. But at the same time, ooh, a Slowpoke. I wonder if, like, we would have just kind of grown accustomed to it, you know? I'm in all right with it. Because it's very possible. Paldean students. Connor. Sports cards, Connor. Six. Alrighty, six. Here we go. Char Cadet. Okay. Kind of like the Costco Charmander. Six. Cycles are. Fortress. All right, six. There we go. Fortress and Char Cadet. Still no SIR out of the packs just yet. Danny B is up next with three packs. Danny B. Oh, wait, Max, you, you overtook Eric? Oh, snappy. Yeah, I think Vulpix would have been a cute starter. Like, I think people would have been happy to see that. Yeah, I think that would have worked. To be frank, I think the whole idea of Eevee evolving into, like, what, like, seven different Pokemon or nine different Pokemon? Actually, it's not a bad idea. They could have made it, like, a plot point. You know, like, every everybody starts with an Eevee and then... <laughs> You pick which one you want after that, maybe. I don't know. Adam M. At the top. Hey, I like it like that. Well, <clears throat> you know what I mean. Now, nah, I like that. It's it's cool how you and Eric got a little competition going on, you know? Although, I would say, I feel like Eric... I feel like Eric gets his crowns through dueling people. So, Eric takes the risky approach. And you get your crowns through building connections with people. Relationships. Collide. Magikarp is a starter. Grizzly, could you imagine if your starter was Magikarp and it only knows Splash? Because I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly in Pokemon games, if you caught a Magikarp, you usually had to like start the battle with it, trade it out. Swap it out and then kill it with a different Pokemon. That way you kind of share the XP, right? Because I think Magikarp just no splash. Heat Rotom. Oh, Grizzy. Grizzy. Nothing. Okay, we still haven't even seen an SIR, man. We gotta pick it up. We gotta freaking pick it up. Oh, 
All right, Grizz, I would say you're in the loot, but there was no loot to be had there. Read. <laughs> I do it the right way? You can say that, Max. I like that. That's a good phrase for it. Doing it the right way. Eric's thing is a little bit weird because it depends on his luck. So if he's lucky one day, he could just rack it up. I think that's how he eventually got above you at one point. Fortress. Hey, Ash, what's up, man? Oh, wow. Yo, Solo, if you're still here, Solo, I think your payment, that pending order, might have actually went through finally. Wait, did I just... Where did I grab this from? Hold on. Let me review the tapes. Did I just grab that out of the pile, or was that for somebody? <laughs> Let me review the tapes. Alright, so we had Reed with three packs. Where did I grab that one from? Oh my god, I did. Okay, so this is going to the next person. Oops. Alright, so that was not for Reed. AJ! AJ, you're gonna get this pack as well, because that was I'm not supposed to grab that one. Sorry about that. AJ! Double right. Chin Chow. Yes, the Kabutop, the Kabutop's gauntlet did go through today. Um, it wasn't you, Ash, that won. I'm trying to remember who it was, though. AJ with the Sparta. Sithon. Come on. We need an SIR. Come on. Barboach. What are you going to name in blue? For the mods, we generally keep it pretty simple. Tanny Mouse. I usually have my current mod team vote on who they think they'd like to see be a mod as well. So I guess if anything, Max, you gotta start sweet talking Trump and Sir Brandon Brian, because they're gonna be the Koki, because they're gonna be the ones that vote on who's gonna be next. Paldean students. Come on, as I are, where you at? Isaiah. All right, Isaiah, I know you're going to save us, Isaiah. Come on. Not th I know. I'm sorry, Ash. I'm sorry. What'd you do to piss off Jeff? You pissed off Jeff? Wug trio. Measle. Oh, come on. We need an SIR like a Pikachu. Joe! Alright, Joe. Three packs for you. Here we go. Donde esta? We pulled a couple pennies today, but... A Wingle and a Wuggy, the double W's. Nothing I just doing well enough to just say F that guy <laughs> in a nice way though, right? In a nice friendly, like, oh he's my mate type of way. Caps again. Sneezler. All right, all right, man. We got maybe like five or so players left. We really got to pick it up. We haven't gotten anything like in the top five or so hits of the set yet. No SIR either. Hector! Three packs, Hector. Oh, okay, Max, that's nice. Yeah, I think I remember you saying, mentioning something like that, right? Wug Trio. Oh, come on, baby.
and a fortress. Fortress. Nicholas H. Nick. At this rate, the poker deck break would have definitely been a smooth move at this rate. Come on. Executor. Oh, Nick. <laughs> oh my God. Rich. Come on, Rich. I, I don't even know who's winning right now. We're gonna have to go back and double check. Sonover? Unless someone pulls like a fat hit. Come on. Yo, Maggot, dude. Thanks for the 15, Mag. Says, who's making breakfast? Honestly, I'm kind of hungry, man. I could go for some breakfast. Some eggs? Some toast? Something of the sort. Electrode? All right, BD Kicks. This is it, man. Come on, please. Hey, Dom, have an awesome, awesome weekend, my friend. I'll see you when we're back on Monday. Yeah, this battle ain't, ain't battling. Come on, it ain't doing too great. Oh my God, in the last pack, BD Kicks. I think you're gonna win by default because of this. We'll double check, but thank the heavens, bro. In the last effing pack. No way, bro. No way. And it's the Iono. Oh my god. That is actually perfect timing. It was almost too late for us. The last flipping pack. Nice. All right, well, BD, that actually means you win because no one else pulled an SIR, and I know I was pretty high up there on the price guide. Nice. Just like the PF bundles. I can promise you that these are not actually from bundles. Still pretty shitty, but these were not from bundles. Who knows? Hey, maybe if we did bundles, it'd actually be better because the last one is so cold for the bundles. All right, so BD, let's see how many total pulls we got for you. One, four... Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, and thirty-two. Thirty-two hits. No, I think I own like thirty something bucks. I mean, Iono's number four on the set, so I mean, no one pulled Guarded War, Mew, or Charizard, so it's got to be the winner for sure. Are you closing now? Uh, well, we're about to be at eight hours. I'm still happy to go stay live and open orders for people if anyone does want to order, but I think the queue is currently empty. Uh, but if anyone does want anything, you can definitely place an order. We'll still open it for you. I got to go to the dentist at like 10, which is in like six hours. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to go to sleep tonight. I'm just going to stay awake till I go to the dentist or else I'll miss it. Because I'll, <laughs> I'll probably oversleep if I go to sleep at this point. BD Kicks. Very nice. My God, that was anticlimactic. I can't help it, man. I can't help it. What's in the packs are in the packs. I can't help it. Play Ru I haven't played RuneScape in forever, man. If I was going to play some RuneScape, I'd probably just go go to the Rev Caves, kill some farmers, just kill some PVMers or something. We haven't really opened up too much, Max. It's a really o it's a really overpriced set, so we haven't opened up too, too much of it, honestly. Ha! <laughs> 
play some Fortnite? I haven't played Fortnite in probably a year, actually, which is kind of funny. All right, so Solo, your $55 payment did actually clear. So... Let me take that card and take away that pending mark. Yeah, of course, Solo. No problem. Just give it. I just want to put a check there so I know it's cleared. My little system there. Solo wants four spots. Oh, okay. Ash actually picking up a royal five pack. Ew. All right, Ash, what are you thinking? One to five. All right, Ash says one. Honestly, so one thing that's really been crossing my mind is I'm kind of contemplating opening up one of the decks and uh, sending them all off to PSA, too. It's kind of something I've been contemplating. I think I might do it. I think I might do it. One fifty one. He was number one. Well, Max, they sell, um... So, Max, I'll show you these. Love it, So, Max, these are called, um, Tarot Sleeves. So, I mean, I'll just pull one out as an example here. And these are called Tarot Card... Uh, tarot, tarot Sleeves, Tarot Card Sleeves. And they fit the vintage packs especially really nice. So, I usually keep mine in these. And then if you really want, they also sell like display, like magnetic holders, etc, etc. That you can put them in like little acrylic pack boxes too if you really want to go the extra mile. But those are nice. That way the pack guards don't get scratched up. Uh, yes, Alex, we are. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll go as long tonight as people want. Like I said, I got to a dentist at 10. So, I mean, I'm not going to go to bed anyways. So, I'm down to stay on longer. Sticker. Oh, the Royal Five Pack, the original prototype first ever Royal Five Pack Armor Rouge. You know, the really cool thing, Max, is even if that Royal Five Pack doesn't have a hit in it, even if you wait like five years, the actual packs inside of it, which I think are all Sword and Shield, will just continue to appreciate. So that's kind of nice. A chop, gloom, get a dos, and a triple swirl leaf energy. Think of putting in a vacuum seal bag? <laughs> I mean, the black bag itself should. Con I mean, if you're trying to protect the bag, yes, but I think the black bag itself, it's like a heat seal waterproof bag, so it should be protecting the packs. But if you want to protect the packaging, then maybe. No, the Lugia deck did not finish. I think there's still like 15 or so spots on it. So I don't think it's going to end up finishing tonight. Ashley. Adam says, let me get three. 151 to three. Paldean face. Yup, that's the OG Black Sack. Which... Obviously, it's not a name that I coined, but OG Black Sack.
annihilate. Kinda looks like it's going Super Saiyan, really. Right, like a memento. Yeah, no, I mean, dude, even if you got something that's a memento, it doesn't mean it can't go up in price. That's even better. That's kind of like collections, right? You kind of have them as a keepsake, mementos. You just enjoy looking at them, and who knows? Five years from now, they might be worth more. The best type of memento you can have, really. Twinkle Lounge. 151. Venusaur. Venusaur. I gotta refill the slab hitbox pretty heavily too. Oh, we got a gold! And it's an energy. Energy. I gotta start thinking about a show that I gotta download to watch on the plane. Not leave until Thursday, but it's kinda good to kinda have some plans for it. Out of M with the three and three. Black Glow Manga Ace, get bear with me. Dude, yeah, that's a nice card, man. That is a really nice card. Where are the marbles? Oh, that's actually a good... Yo, Max, that's a good one, bro. Yeah. My holdup with Overlord, I've kind of come to find out, is that I, I just don't remember se uh, Season 1, like, very well at all, actually. I, like, forgot all about it, so I don't even know what the hell happens. So... I think the reason why I am kind of going a little bit slow to watch season two is because I don't even like remember the storyline anymore. So maybe I'll download one and two and rewatch it too. I feel like I tried watching Mashal. It's not bad, but I just, I'm watching my girlfriend currently. We're on the first episode and he's like getting into the academy or something. So I'm actually watching my girlfriend right now. So I don't, I don't want to watch that on my own. Gotta wait for her to watch it with me. La, la, la. Alrighty, so if anyone else does want anything for tonight, let me know if I can be of service. Uh, if not, I mean, it is getting pretty late. We could definitely wrap up with the Enderstream giveaway. Had a pretty wild stream tonight, man. Can't believe that Umbreon was gorgeous. That was a beautiful pull, man. I can't watch sub anymore? Dude, welcome to my world, man. Yeah, I, I stopped watching sub like a year ago, bro. All I watch is dub now. If it ain't got a dub, I don't watch it. Yeah, welcome to my world. I'm the opener, the shipper, and the janitor. Alright. So, let's... Give away some obsidian flames. One piece I will watch duh. I will watch sub. Yeah, one piece I will definitely, definitely watch sub. Uh we pulled for Rich tonight, we pulled a Umbreon Prime from Triumphant. Uh, sorry, Unleashed. Undaunted. There we go. Heart Gold Soul Silver Undaunted pulled the Umbreon Prime. Oh, Corgi, I haven't watched that yet. I haven't watched that yet. Ashley says, let me get one random PSA slab and two slab hit books. Bro, look at this thing. It's almost empty. Way that Garchomp pack. So the problem here, Darius, is I'll tell you this. If I weigh it and it's heavy, I'm going to ask more money for it. If I weigh it and it's light, I would ask less money for it. Because as is, it's 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 unweighed. So if I do weigh it and it's a heavy, I'm going to ask more for it. It's not going to be the same price. If I weigh it and it's light, I could definitely ask less for it. So I, I don't mind doing it. It's my last one. But to be frank, I'm also okay just kind of keeping it unweighed. That way I can put it in a Royal 5-pack too. But once I weigh it, I can't say it's unweighed anymore. You know what I mean?
So, I don't know. But then on top of that, if it's a heavy, then it's like, all right, well. And it doesn't have a hollow in it, then it's like, all right, well. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So, Ash, if you want, pick a number one to eight. That'll be for your random PSA slab. Let's see your slab hitbox. Scyther. And Stayu for the double S. One. Okay, so Ash, you want this one. But, Darius, I know you do got a huge credit, so I know you're kind of looking out to see what you want to spend it on. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I do have another LC one. I can show you some new stuff if you want, Darius. I don't have too much new stuff, but I can show you something. But I think Soren said he might want to buy it from you, so I don't know if it's already sold or not, but... Oh, nice. All right, I like that one. That is a PSA 9 Stained Glass De Birds. Very nice card there. Ashley! I want to see it. I'll show it to you. I'll whip it out. So, Darius, I also have this. This is also 2000. Comes with two Power Keepers, one Unseen Forces. And then I also have this. This is one Unseen Forces, two Legend Maker. So, the same exact price. This one just comes with Power Keepers. This one comes with Legend Maker. And this actually has a really nice Mew promo. Although, I would imagine that it's probably somewhat damaged in there, like old promos are. So, I wouldn't really count the promo much as value because it's probably going to be damaged. But I do have both of these. They're 2K. And this one has Power Keepers. This one has Legend Maker. All EX era. All hail the EX. Two, four, six, seven, and Nicholas Y. That was a card I had in the first slab I purchased a couple years ago. Ended up trading it and some money for a 10. Love that card. Hey, what's up, Habit? Are we talking about the stained glass birds? Yeah, yeah that card iconic, man. Stained glass from the Hidden Fates ETB. Raichu. Umbreon. Well, Cobra, maybe you can buy it. If someone opens it, maybe you can buy it off them or something. Yo, why are there yellow borders? <laughs> why are there yellow borders? Espion. Gordy. Gordy. Nicholas Y. Why are there yellow borders? Yeah, why are they yellow? Are they supposed to be yellow? No. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah, I hear you. The yellow, the yellow borders were pretty nice. I mean, some cards, it looks better on it as yellow. Some look better with the silver, the gold, whatever, not the gold, but the silver gray, we're going to call it. Nick says seven more. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, that's the whole box. Nicholas Y. Isn't Ghost Stories like kind of raunchy? Right, Ghost Stories is kind of raunchy, right? All right, Nick, let's see what we got. I feel like this box has been pretty. Oh, shoot. Like that, huh? Oh, we got a secret rare full art of Vaporeon. 
I was gonna say, I was like, we didn't really get much out of this box so far. Oh my god, we got a double banger there. Sylveon and Glaceon. Yeah, potential, right. That had potential. And a ribbon badge. The dub cast had a challenge on who can say the dumber things while keeping the story relevant. <laughs> Because I feel like I've seen some clips, man. I'm just like, is this like a spoof? Like, is this real? Or like, did someone just make like a meme video? But I think it is real. Oh, nice. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Ash, thank you so much, Ash. Have a great rest of your night and weekend. Billy, what the hell? Billy, 10 slab hitbox? Out of nowhere. God damn, Billy. Swine up. Swine up. Cosmog. Got a random Unified Minds common in there. Schmeargle. Billy. <laughs> oh no. Billy. Billy, you just started a war, man. Billy. The Japanese team told them to do what they want as long as the story doesn't change because it tanks so bad in Japan. Check Discord. You never know. It might be too late for the pump. It might be too late for a pump. All right, there we go. All right, if anyone else wants to order, last call. We're about to wrap up with the giveaway. Nathan G, four slab hitbox. I had a feeling someone would come in. Nathan G, one, two, three, four. What's up, Terry? Nathan's lurking. He's lurking and he's watching. Nathan. Nathan. Nicholas Y. Two slab hitbox. Nicholas Y. Bro, it's getting so small in there. Halucha. Weasel. Dude, is a slab hitbox really gonna sell out tonight? How many are left? Well, here, what I'll do is I'll, I'll check off screen just so I'm not leaking anything. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. There's only 19 left. There's only 19 cards left in there, man. Jeez. Well, I don't want him to send more than what's available because then he has to get a refund or a credit. So if he's interested in buying all the rest of the box, I mean, shit, might as well. Nathan G says three more. Nathan G. Gullet. Quarterfish. Oh. God damn, dude. Grizzy says three. Slab hitbox. One, two, three. Grizzy. Oddish. Oh! Grizz! Grizz! Oh, damn, Grizz!
All right, so the hitbox is fully sold out. Hitbox is fully sold out. Fully, fully sold out. Jeez, Grizz. PSA 10 Galarian Moltres Old Art. Grizzy! Galarian Moltres. Billy says 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Billy! Yo, Max, have an awesome, awesome weekend, bro. I'll see you Monday. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Billy! Billy Eilish. Hey, Paul. Lick a tongue. Slugma. Sl oh, Billy, come on. No, Billy. Billy! Not twice, Billy. Not twice in a row, man. Nick says nine more slab hitbox. All right, so Nick, there's three left. Which means you are... The box is empty. You are going to be getting a $60 credit and whatever's left in there. Yeah, you, you could switch it to the pack hit box if you want. You could. Alright, so here's the hit. Let's see what you got. Oh, nice. Ain't too shabby, actually. <laughs> Nick says, no thanks. Yeah, not a bad choice. Let it let it see how it goes first, you know. Nicholas Y snagging a PSA 10. Japanese Dark Ampharos. Yeah, I'm sorry, Billy, man. I'm sorry, bro. That was kind of rough to see. I'm sorry, brother. You were in the wrong place. But also, Nathan kind of did too, so don't feel like you were alone in there. Nathan also kind of hopped in there and pumped it too. It looks so see. You know, honestly, sometimes when I buy these slabs, I don't even like look at the card. That is a 10. Yeah, that is a 10. Not terribly OC. Oh, it definitely is. Look at the top to bottom and look to the right to left. Definitely OC. Definitely OC. But hey, it's a ten. It's a ten. That's PSA's job, not my job, right? I'll leave it to the. I'll leave it to PSA to grade them. I agree, honestly. I do think that the older cert numbers were graded way easier with way less scrutiny. Yeah, I'm totally aboard on that. Yup, Billy, I know. I'm s Billy, I'm sorry, bro. It was a dangerous game to play right at the end, Billy. The queue was empty. When the queue is completely empty, Billy, I think it's like one of the riskiest things because if people order right away, bum, 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 it comes in right away because it's, the queue's empty. So I feel like the slab hitbox is, is best to do when the queue's pretty full. When it's like end of stream, there's no orders in the queue, that's when people can really try to snipe you. But to be honest with you, anyone that's been in the hitbox has kind of been in that position where they missed and someone next got it. It's the same thing with opening up booster boxes. You know, you open up a couple packs, you might miss. The next guy going on opens a couple packs, he might pull the seeker or the old dart and you didn't. So it's a pretty similar concept. Yeah, no, Billy, as long as you had fun, man. Like I said, it's all, you know, it's all just a dumb risk. Just a dumb fun risk. It's kind of like taking the 100 and just throwing it on black, you know? Could be red, could be black, you never know. Alrighty, but I think that might be all, unless we got any orders coming in. I think that's it. We're at 8 hours and 15 minutes. I think we're ready to do the end of stream giveaway. The slab box is empty now. So I'll have to renew that one. First time seeing it sell out. Well, people, it sold out before a couple times in the past. Uh, people have suggested to me that I should... 
that I should make a backup box. The only time, the only problem with me making a backup box is that if I do make a backup box, and let's just say like a month goes by and the slab hitbox hasn't got any love, well then that second backup box, those prices are going to be completely out of date. They're going to be like a month or two months old, which could be good or could be bad, right? Maybe the slab goes up, so the price is under. Maybe the slab goes down, and the price is up. So that's the only problem I have with making a backup box, is if we don't actually got to use it, or it doesn't come into play for a while, the prices could be pretty, pretty out of range. Are you going to refill the vintage singles? Uh, no, Dylan, these will not be getting refilled. These are on consignment. So these are actually on consignment from Soren. So what's left in here, these are all the hollows, these are the bulk cards and the energies left, this is it. And there's honestly still quite a lot of cards in there, to be honest. So yeah, these will not be getting refilled just because I don't actually have more. This is kind of a one-time item. And then I think the next item that we're working on as far as the vintage hitbox goes is every, it's going to be more expensive, but every hit's going to be a hollow. So there won't be any more bulk. It's going to be more expensive, but you're always going to guarantee yourself a hollow. So I don't know if you guys will like that or not, but that's the next iteration that we're working on. But yeah, once that's done, it's done. I like it too. Yeah, I like it too. It's been pretty fun, actually. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's do our Enderstream giveaway. That way I can go start breaking down some boxes and getting the car loaded to go to the dump. <laughs> At like six in the morning. So to sign up for the end of stream giveaway, simply make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you like the stream tonight. Put a BR in the chat. That get your Pokemon on the screen and give you a chance of winning the Enderstream giveaway for the two Obsidian Flame Packs. Hey, Billy, have an awesome night, Billy. If you want to get shipped out this weekend as well, Billy, just let me know, all right? If you want to get shipped out, just DM me or uh, post and request shipping. I'll get mailed out this weekend if you want. Kanye West disses Kai Sinat? Huh? Bro, I can't believe the hitbox. That, that went crazy. It sold out. It doesn't happen every night, but occasionally it does. That thing went tam. I bought the red alcove box for 13 bucks. I, I honestly think that's still pretty crazy for a deck box. I got that as a gift from Vin. And I'm pretty sure you probably bought it on Amazon for like 20 bucks or something. But uh, that was a gift. That's the only reason why I have it. I feel like the deck boxes for the most part are just kind of like a waste. Alrighty, guys. Five more seconds to sign up for the giveaway. As someone who doesn't have a deck, well, wait, the MSRP is 40 for those deck boxes? Oh my god. So great, it's pretty full. We opened up a new box tonight, so pretty full still. $40 MSRP on those? Yeah, I would never. Are you kidding me? For a deck box? I'm in Boston, so I'm in EST. So for me right now, it is almost 5 in the morning for me right now. Giovanni on the Bulbasaur. Yeah, no, they're nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to have the box. I mean, low-key, for the purpose that I use it, I might be willing to pay 40 bucks for it, but that's still crazy. Like, 
Oh, nice, Geo. Pidgeot S I R. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice double hit there, too. We got Dragonite as well. Dragonite. And that is Giovanni B. Make sure I got a few things. What other things did you grab? I'm kind of curious. What other kind of, what other things were you like? I can't pass up on that. You might be out like two bags. So, G, if you want to ship this weekend, I don't think it's a bad idea. You got like two full bags. Giovanni. Yeah, a nice quick two pack snipe, right? All right, so guys, I think that's going to be it for tonight. We streamed for eight and almost a half hours. We did the poker deck, the first one. Slab box sold out. We pulled an Umbreon from Undaunted. Yeah, we have a lot of vintage. I think it was a pretty good night. Yeah, I can't really complain. That was pretty good. Tempest, in six case, the Temple of Forces. Preserve Tempest, 120. Oh, nice. 120 for Lost Origin. Damn, maybe I want. <clears throat> you don't got the distributor anymore, huh? <laughs> That's not bad. But, um, alrighty. So, guys, there it is for tonight. Uh, as, as you guys know, tomorrow won't be live. I mean, maybe, but probably not because I got to the dentist, so I'm sure my mouth will probably hurt. Uh, but if anything, I'll see you guys again on Monday. And that should pretty much be it. So if you guys need a contact, reach out to me. Best way is through Instagram, Discord. Uh, both of which are linked down below in the description. That's pretty much it. So have a great rest of your weekend, everybody. I'll see you guys again on Monday at the latest. And that's not everybody. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And most of all, stay silky smooth. I'll see you guys again on the next one. Until then, everybody, peace out.